Okay. I think we're good to go. In three, two, one. Let's begin. I'm gonna David Arquette, aka Dewey. I'm gonna move my camera all the way to the left side. I don't think I'll be blocking anything. Ivan Ivagoria. Ivagora. These are all celebrities, right? I woke up to an I do have streamer mode on. This Wrapped up in my lover's I do have a, I do have streamer mode on. I feel it in my weary clothes. AKA WCW champion. What? Ted. Oh shit, Ted Raimi? Oh damn. I know I have stream mode on. I know I do. I know I do. Please tell me this is safe. I'm already freaking out. Even simply. Might want to double check for your sanity. I don't want to press escape. I might skip a whole cutscene of like nine hours. And then we're at the ending. Fuck. The graphics are insane. It looks really good. Holy crap. Actually, it looks really good. Wow. June 24th, Laura. Thank goodness for streamer mode, though. Oh, thank you. You just saved my channel. Why'd you kill the music? I think you know why. Um, <laughs> I don't think I do. It begins with an L? Like the L word? Lesbians? Lost, Max. We're lost. We're just, <laughs> we're in geographic flux. Right, so, lost. That's debatable. Damn, it looks really good. What the heck? <laughs> oh. Quick time events. Oh yes, everyone knows the quick time events. Moment to consider the following, as it will guide you through the various twists and turns that may appear during your stay at Hackett's Quarry. What you see here are quick time events or QTEs. Oh, it sounds like the, the narrator to Twilight Zone. Watch your step. Hackett's Quarry can be a dangerous place if you're not paying attention to your surroundings. Take your eye off the ball, and it could spell disaster. The path you tread is yours to choose, but that doesn't mean there won't be obstacles along the way. Okay. Oh, heads up. Oh. What? 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 Wait, what? Nice catch there, hon. It had, no, it had nothing on it. Pot Was that press any key, or? Well, maybe the pothole hit us. Never think about that. But Wow, it was that blank. is like Olympic level goalpost moving. Thank you. Very impressive. Thank you. <laughs> it's freaking blank. Yeah, still totally lost. <sighs> you know what, Max? It's okay. It doesn't make you any less of a man. You know, if Columbus hadn't gone lost and landed on these golden shores, there would be no United States of America. Goodbye, hot dogs. See you later, apple pie. Columbus never actually landed in North America. What are you talking about? Didn't even know he wasn't in Asia. Are you serious? Just another guy who didn't want to admit he was lost. Well, just another guy who's got a whole day named after him, so put that in your pipe and smoke it. Oh my god. Okay, just get us to camp already before I roll my eyes out of my head, please. <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Dude, the graphics are nutty. What the hell? This is looking real. This is looking way too real. Pick leaf leaflet? Pick map. I should probably pick the map. Uh, voila. What is that? Yeah, yeah. No, but seriously, how do happen to the, the normal map? This is the normal map. The one on the phone. No bars. Of course not. Thank you. Okay, let's 
see, so we are... Well, I guess they don't put summer camps on maps. Have you seen any signs for it? Eyes on the road, mister. Eyes hey, on the eyes road. Eyes on the road. Oh. That's what I... Oh. <laughs> you idiot. Oh, what the heck? You see that? Oh, okay. That's my mouse. Man, that is very unforgiving. Did you see that? Something was in something was in the car. Huh. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. I mean, still in one piece. Jesus Christ, what do you think that was? A bear? What? No, no, Max, it wasn't a bear. What was it? I think it was a person. Oh, are you serious? Do you think we hit a person? I don't know. I mean, it was really cl close, like really close, but maybe we didn't. What is it? I really have this car up. Well, maybe it looks worse than it is. Uh, I should check out the damage before we try to start it up again, huh? Could you grab my, uh, the, the toolbox from the trunk? Yeah, yeah, okay. I guess I should have my hand on the mouse at all times, just in case. Oh, I should get the move. Oh, nice. Wow, I love the camera angle. Can you imagine Silent Hill with these camera angles? This actually looks really cool. By the way, I'm, I'm not controlling this at all. This is just her being confused. I'm still waiting to have full control in this game. I don't know when it's going to give it to me. It's not okay. so bad. All right. My mom's going to kill me. Get out of here. Let's, 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 let's get out. Oh, we gotta go check the trunk. That's right. Oh. We actually have camera angles, fixed camera angles. Uh, quick time events, we already, we already, no, we already did all that. We already did. Can I, oh, damn it, do I gotta watch this whole thing again? Oh my God, I have to. Take have I done? a moment to consider the following, as it will guide you through the various twists and turns that may appear during your stay at Hackett's Quarry. What you see here are quick time events, or QTEs, which will help you to act at just the right time. Watch your step. Hackett's Quarry can be a dangerous place if you're not paying attention to your surroundings. Take your eye off also, keep in mind if if uh, if anyone has already played the game and has even the path you and is slightly choose, uh, posting spoilers in the chat or hinting at spoilers in the chat, the mods will ban you for probably 24 hours. So please don't try it, okay? I myself won't be paying too much attention to chat at all, but you know, mods will be, you know, whichever mods available will be looking at it. Okie dokie. The don't breathe mechanic. Oh, interrupts. Here we go. This is what I have to see. At certain times throughout the night, opportunities will present themselves, giving you the chance to take matters into your own hands. It is worth noting that they are only suggestions. You don't have to act upon them. Damn. In fact, sometimes it's better not to. <laughs> I just can't get over the fact that it's the Twilight Zone uh, narrator, a host. 
Okay. Snoop around. Well, I mean, he did say to go check the trunk, so we might as well check the trunk. Oh, got rejected. Max. Why didn't you tell me? That sucks. It's just like a big rejection stamp. That's. Yeah, that, yeah that'll make. Anyone feel a lot better? Thanks, huh? Yeah. Do you need a hand? Yeah, actually, if you could just shine a light right here. There you go. Perfect, thank you. The sooner we get out of here, the better. Just picture yourself curling up in front of a big old fire pit I just campfire sing along. I just heard I don't like think footsteps. Curl up right in front of big old fire pits. Why not? Uh, I don't think we don't want to catch on fire. Then. Picture yourself going up in front of a big old space suit. Oh. Well, anywhere's better than here. Yeah, I just... Yeah, I heard, like, something walking closer and closer. Let's just go back to the trunk again, I suppose. Here we were delighted to have her uh, read your application. Not among those that were able to send me Bridget. Okay. Yo, Mad Mini, thank you for the 25 months. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. I feel like something's about to happen. I feel like something is going to happen. I heard a lot of footsteps. I know it's, I guess, whatever I've already checked. Yeah, like, that's blinking over there. I'm gonna check over here. No? I say you need a light, but... Let me see here. Oh. What's that? That's a really strong flashlight. Where are you going? Just over here. Just... Stay there for a second, okay? I'm almost done. Are you my boss? Hurry up. Um. Compliant. I'll just say hurry up, you know? Just, uh, hurry up. Hurry up. God, Max, hurry up. What's going on? I'm worried that there's somebody down there. Are you serious? Yeah, they could be hurt. I don't know. I didn't think we actually hit anyone. Well, I don't know. I just, I heard something, okay? Like a, a woman. Do you think we hit her? I just want to check it out. Okay. All right. Just don't go too far, okay? Be careful. Yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, it's, it's good that we have, uh... Yeah, maybe the other one... The other choice is going to be me, like, going by myself. <laughs> But, uh... Okay. Oh, never mind. I'm still going by myself. Never mind. I hope it doesn't have those type of decisions where it doesn't matter what you pick. It's like it's going to be the same outcome no matter what. I really hope it's truly different. Because Until Dawn had a lot of, like, QTEs, but in reality, a lot of them basically led to one thing, right? So a good example was Detroit Become Human. That had a million different outcomes, which was insane, which is awesome. Oh, the hell? The fool? The fool? I can find Zawardo around here. Hold on, I wanted to take a look at that. I guess I can't anymore. Man, what I would give for a Silent Hill game just like this. With these graphics, that's that would be just on a whole different level. Too bad. Too bad no Silent Hill news was made. Rip. I kind of figured. Har harem. Does it say Harem Scarum? Uh, 
Hiram Scarum poster. There's a poster for a traveling sideshow. It looks like it's been here a while. Left forgotten in the woods. Are those burn marks around the edges? Interesting. What's it doing out in the middle of the woods? That's cool. My mouse kind of like controls the uh, the flashlight while the WASD lets me uh, turn my character. Let's go left. What's this? Escapeology trunk, trunk filled with strange devices. Devices that a, that of an oh, an escapologist. Oh, okay, a relic of a traveling show that must have gone through the area. That makes sense. It's kind of weird. It's in the middle of the woods. It's a little weird. It's a little weird. That's where I came from. Wait, is there something on the tree there? Oh, what's this? What the hell? Interesting. Broken cage. Silas the Dog Boy. This decrepit cage has been engulfed by the woods over time. It looks like an animal has nested here. Yikes. Maybe hmm. Maybe I shouldn't click on that this anymore. Is too weird. Just to keep the flow of the game going. Because I feel like I am kind of interrupting the game just to read a piece of something. I don't know. But yeah, it looks like a big cage. Is this where Carnival starts? Oh my god, I freak out. This is what? Whoa, 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 hey, whoa! Who's that? Who that? What the fuck, man? I ain't looking. Got some creepy old woman in these woods. Hand me none of that. None of that, please. Was that chat? Was that chat? I see you. Don't think I don't see you, but I see you. Fucking chat. All right. I said, keep it down. Keep it down. The movie's playing. I'll fucking turn this. I'll fucking turn this bus around. God damn it. I will. Run that far away. There's just no way. Oh, what was that? That was kind of creepy. Okay, this is where you gotta run away. Is... Where are you? Laura's dead. That's creepy. And she's gonna trip and fall on three, two, oh. Okay. 
<laughs> oh boy. It's okay. It's the woods. There's a lot of stuff out there. There's animals. It's easy to freak yourself out. No. Can we just leave? Please? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. Okay. All right. Yes, there we go. Purring like a kid. Here we go. Here we go. We're getting out of here. safe in the car really we're gonna be okay oh, oh fuck <laughs> oh my god my heart just exploded roll it down hi hey, officer how are you doing this evening are either of you injured really we're fine we're just a little shaken up You folks want to tell me what happened here? Path chosen. Okay, hold on. Before we before we do that, hold on. I just gotta I gotta turn this on real quick. Okay, there we go. All right, path chosen. Safety tip number four. Hackett's quarry is full of twists and turns, unknown paths, and unexplored wonders. With each step taken, you tread a path of your own, matched with its very own consequences. There will be moments throughout your stay that show you that the choices you've made, the path you've chosen, could have gone another way. At Hackett's quarry, there's no such thing as the wrong way. But be warned. Some paths are more dangerous than others. Oh gosh. I think this game I think this game is hinting that there's gonna be a lot of a lot of nasty and gory deaths. So Okay. Yeah. Um Uh we swerved off. Something jumped out. We swerved off or something being honest. I should just be honest. Let's just be honest. Let's play. Let's be honest. Or just say we swerved off. <laughs> um. I mean, I mean, they did swerve off. They did swerve off. So that's the truth. They didn't hit anything. We were just driving, and it's really, really dark out here. And um, I don't know, we, we must have had like a, a pothole or something because we swerved, and now here we are. I mean, I mean these roads are really not in great shape. Why is, there, why is there blood on his neck? Sir? The cop doesn't believe you? Fuck! Keep the car running. Sir? Is this guy like. The all-time scariest cop. Should have been honest. No, this is my first cop. What, like ever? Uh, yeah, I'm not a criminal. You folks want to tell me just what in the hell you are doing all the way out here this late at night? Uh, we're heading to heading to camp, taking in the sights. 
Yeah, friendly. Yeah. We're heading up to Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. We're new counselors. You're one night early. No, no, we know. Um, but we figured we'd get in early and scope it out, you know? I mean, they know we're coming. We called ahead. And to be honest, sir, one of us kind of oversold their navigation skills and got us completely lost. You're not gonna make it to Haggett's quarry. Uh, not tonight. Harbinger Motel. It's the nearest place you can bunk up there for the night, okay? Uh, I think we're just gonna stick to the plan, sir. I mean, Mr. Hackett knows we're coming and we called ahead. No, ma'am, you're gonna head to the Harbinger Motel. Do you understand? Damn, I kind of want to be insistent now. I'll be like, but then again, it is kind of creepy. So maybe we should just like, we should just diffuse the situation. Just, you know what I'm saying? Maybe we should just diffuse it. John Wilcox, thank you for the tier one sub. Appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, fine. Yeah, we'll head to the motel. Understood. Uh, there's just one small problem. Uh, I forgot to spring for the middle of nowhere coverage plan on my phone. What he means is we're lost completely. All right, ma'am. Step out of the vehicle. Wait, what? Um, I just want to show you how to get to the motel on your map there. Okay? For sure. Son, remain in the vehicle. It's okay. It's okay. It's fine. Okay. Okay. So, we... are right about here. Harbinger Motel is here. Right, okay, and where was Hackett's quarry again? Well, I'm sure the fine folks at the Harbinger Motel can guide you there first thing in the morning. Why is there blood on his neck? Right. Excuse me. It looks like, uh, like, like a smudge. Harbinger Motel. Stay on the road. Watch out for potholes. Oh, you need like Have a stable? Have a good night. I don't like. I don't like this. It's not good. <laughs> Someone's definitely gonna die pretty soon. I can feel it. Why is this guy just sitting there? Oh, no, thanks for all your help. Relief. That guy was weird. I was totally weird. That guy was giving me major weirdo vibes. The dude needed like at least a dozen showers. Oh my god, I know. What was up with the thing? I Did you see was, that? Was it blood? Nice to meet you. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man. <sighs> All right. Let's get back on the road. Yes. I think I've had enough woodland encounters for one night. Thank you very much. Agreed. So where's this motel? Okay, so we're here. Mm -hmm. And the motel is here. Okay. But we're going here. What's there? Hackett's Quarry. How'd you do that? I don't know. I kind of tricked him into showing me. <laughs> very slick. Are you sure we shouldn't just get to the motel and just listen to this guy's advice? Honey, you really want to listen to the advice of some creep-ass cop who told us in the middle of the creep-ass woods to go to some creep-ass hotel? No, that sounds terrible. Yeah. Let's hit the road, shall we? That's what I thought. Molly, some sense. 
<laughs> oh my god. If he called me ma'am one more time, I was going to shove that badge up his dick hole. <laughs> Seriously, do I look like a man to you? Ow. I got like 20 years before I'm a ma'am. Mm -hmm. uh, and then expand? What? I, 20s. Debatable. Easy. I mean, I'm kind of into ma'ams. <laughs> okay, we're done here. <laughs> What the hell? This place looks exactly like the, the cabin in Until Dawn. I get square summer camp. June 25th. You gotta be kidding me. There's nobody here. We drive all the way the fuck out Max, here. Max, can we just look around before we jump to conclusions? Did you actually even talk to Mr. Hackett or did you just leave a message? Well, what's the difference? This. This is the difference. Hello? I guess he doesn't check his voicemail. How was I supposed to know that? Man, the lighting I mean, is... Clearly there's somebody here. Yeah, or it's just an abandoned car and this is a complete waste Why of time. Why would there be an abandoned... I'll get yeah. the car. The lighting is... Max. Really yeah. awesome. Max, don't be a dick. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Man, the graphics are nuts. Okay, time to explore. This is where a billion things can happen. Let's knock some more. Is anybody home? Check around a little bit. Okay, peek through the windows, perhaps? Can we do that? No? It is so dark. I can't see anything. I can't see a damn thing. Who would have thought nighttime would have was gonna be dark? Never thought that. I do find I find it a little difficult to aim my flashlight in the appropriate uh, direction. Oh, hmm? oh got a weird angle here. We're gonna angle from from inside of the uh, the place. Interesting. Uh, What's that over there? The book? It looks like something's underneath the book. It looks like kind of like a... What is that? Maybe like a key? It looks like one of those Ouija board little... Um, little things, you know? Where you like you know, go over like the letters and stuff. Interesting. Okay, well I'm in. Don't seem like anything's here though. Oh, oh. Can we keep going this way? Actually, I have no idea which way I'm pointing because it's so dark. How about? Oh, I can't go there anymore. Okay, that's a dead end. Yeah, this is um. Games like these are. Wait, what's up with their eyes? Yeah, games like these are very reminiscent of like the point-and-click adventures, you know, like King's Quest. I think. Yeah. Space Lord, quest, no stuff Come like on. that. Just give me one more minute, okay? So I, I, like, I absolutely love these types of games. I love them so much. It's great. pit tree house oh there's like a there's like a line stretching across the water it's like the what do they call that the freaking um, it doesn't kill you it makes you stronger fun what doesn't kill you will make you stronger yeah king's king's quest was one of my favorite games games that were made by sierra they made so many awesome games. 
It's not like a zip line. It's like um. What do you call it when you're when you're like going up a hill to like ski down? Whatever. I mean, it's like a lift, I guess. It's like a chair lift. Damn, it is so dark. What the hell? Oh. Something tells me I probably shouldn't have I probably shouldn't have gone here. What the hell is that? Hey! Hey, are you okay? Something tells me I shouldn't have I should not I'll have be right back. Here. I'm gonna get some help. I probably shouldn't have done that. Maybe I should have left. I mean it's locked too. Get over here! What's going on? There's somebody in the bunker. I think they might be stuck. Stuck? Is it Mr. Hackett? I, I don't know. Just bring some tools so we can break the lock. Hey, I'm back. We're gonna get you out of there. Hey. hey. Wait, wh what are these? I don't know. You just said tools. <laughs> Why didn't you just bring... <laughs> Look, there's someone in there. Um, I'm not seeing anything. What? No, look. I'm looking, I am. Let me see. Oh. There, there was definitely someone there. Okay. Okay, so... Take the hammer. Take wrenches. Let's get the hammer. Hammer, I feel like, would, would be a much better weapon than the wrench. Hammer time. You sure? It's gonna be super loud. It's gonna be super loud. She just had to go and say that. I mean, I mean, so so what if it's loud? You know, like we're, you know, like what am I gonna do with a wrench? So someone's trapped. Might, it might attract the windigos from until dawn. Wow, that was super loud. <laughs> you need a hand? Yeah. Okay. How the heck was I going to open it with a wrench? Oh, maybe I could have... Oh, maybe there were they You've were seen the evil dead, right? They were probably like bolts. Hello? Hey, I can probably just fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you hurt? Do you exist? Did I just drop the hammer? Pick that up. What are you doing? Why drop the hey, hammer? Be careful. Take it with you. What are you doing? I'm going back and I'm going to go get it. What are you doing? I'm just, you know, I'm scoping it out. Are you serious? Can I pick up a hammer? No. I guess I can't, huh? That sucks. Ian. I'm gonna go over here instead. Actually, can't go over here. Oh, it's so hard to aim my flashlight. What's over here? You seem like anything. Collar, but it's bloodied. Too bloody collar looks to be too big for a dog. What kind of dog would be called Ian, anyways? Because it's not a dog, it's a human. Oh, what 
is that? Max? Got like ribs. What is it, like a human? Is it like a... Let's go back to Max. Hun, maybe it was a possum or something. No, there was there was someone here, I swear. Hey. It's been kind of a night, you know? You tell him about Let's the... just get to the motel. We can come back here first thing in the morning, we can check everything out, but I mean you must be exhausted. I know I am. I think our imagination. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he looks he looks dead. His eyes are open. Okay, never mind, he's still alive. Did he? Hold on. He didn't shoot the girl. He was like aiming down the stairs. They didn't look like he killed her. They didn't. No, no, he didn't push her down. He, he just like injected her with something and then he went to sleep. friend welcome to the show we are friends aren't we i've waited for you i've waited yes so i do hope our time together proves enlightening there's no need to worry i'm here to help you think of me as your guide into the unknown it's exciting yes and terrifying <laughs> but if you're brave enough if you let me help you i can help you we can help each other full card yeah found that earlier this is the card you found the fool i wonder who this is we all know a fool when we see one, don't we? Innocence and freedom. 
all recklessness and risk-taking, spontaneity, actions without thought, but the consequences to match. Think, think, and don't get burnt. I can show you more if you'd like me to. She does not look interested. Yeah, sure, let's see more. This is what might come to pass. A possible future. A path yet unchosen. Look here, look here. Oh, it's like a it's like a clue. Okay, cars on fire. Oh. There are secrets out there, oh. you know. See. Secrets and lies. Is she paths to uncover on which I can shed light if you let me? I wonder if she's like death, help you know? Let me help you. And remember, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. She's she has a pentagram necklace too. I think she's death. Or probably just a regular witch. She obviously I got a little peek in the future. So a car, a hood popped open. It's fire. Okay. Spring break 2022. Come bring all your friends. Enjoy the hot sunny evening. And the chilly winter night. It's Ed Quarry. <laughs> Hackers delight. It's like a Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk commercial. <laughs> oh god, I really hope the stream mode's on. Uh, I really hope so. Oh, it got dropped off. Ladies. Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp Entrance, August 22nd. Yeah, Hackett's Quarry forever! So this is two months <laughs> afterwards, because I think it was June with the other characters, and this is August. You know how many hearts are broken on the last day of summer camp? It's like a romance apocalypse. Is that Brenda's song? I had a huge crush on her. I had a huge crush on her. Uh, they'll get over it. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, they're just kids. You know, they'll get over it. Uh-huh. Like they'll get over Emma? What? No, that's not the same thing. Oh, so that's not why you're in a bad mood. I'm not in a bad... Oh <laughs> you know what? We had our last night together, and we're cool. Oh, yeah. So cool that you're never going to see your special little boo-boo bear ever again. Jesus Christ, you heard that? Oh, come on, dude. The cabin walls are made of band-aids and rat turds. <laughs> okay, I get it. <laughs> okay, quit it. Hi, Emma. Hey. Okay, this is, um, you've heard of spatial awareness before, yeah. right? Spatial awareness is for nerds. Uh, be a lamb and grab the last couple of bags, will ya? Yes, boss. Say hi to Emma for me. You're a bad person. Yes, I am. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. Jake, bags, focus. Wait, what if I click on this again? Is she gonna say the same thing? Jacob, go upstairs. Jacob, get bag. Caitlin moves on with her goddamn life. I just keep bugging her. <sighs> Jacob, go upstairs. Jacob, get bag. Caitlin moves on with her goddamn life. Or Jacob goes exploring. Let me, let me double check. Let me double check the, uh, where is it? Please tell me it's on. Stream mode on. Okay, thank God. What's up? Hey, what are you, uh, what are you listening to? Good to know. What if I just bug him again? I might get something new, right? Fire? Only her body was recovered, along with the old Northfield Sheriff and some <clears throat> No signs of the 
Hello? No sign of the boy? Hmm. Whatever, man. I think he's listening in on the, like, it just said the bodies of a girl and the, and a cop was found, but the boy was missing. I don't know. Oh, never mind. It's not about the fire. This is something completely different. <clears throat> Hello? Whatever, man. <laughs> We'll just keep bugging them. Hello? Damn, I got ignored three times in a row. That's fucked up. Okay. I want to see this. No? I guess I really can't do anything anywhere unless it's like blinking, like a point of interest. What about over here? What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Not in the mood sign. gonna help with the bags or what oh um you know i was actually just working on fixing uh the door it's dylan come it's on broken. dylan please i can't it's, it's i gotta get the last bags in there come on with this thing it's just dylan please sorry bro cool thanks guys <sighs> dipshits bolted it really Oh, silly kids. Hyper's Quarry, 1953. Okay. Still going strong today, it's nearly 70 years. like a mix of, of like fixed camera angles and just like like hovering camera angles as well it's really nice i think this definitely sets the mood very easily Castle Elliot Sparks slaughtered by sunlight. Slaughtered by sunrise. Okay. What's this? What's over here? Anything over here? Damn. I, I thought there was going to be more interactables, but I guess it's just like whatever's blinking. Yeah. Oh, I have to get close enough, I think. Hmm. Interesting. There is a bunch of stuff covering the stairs. Why is there a bunch of stuff covering the stairs? Here. 
Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Damn. All right. Got the bags. Great. All by yourself, huh? Yep. Guess you're gonna have to get used to that. Oh my god, you are so mean. <laughs> At least I'm honest. Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, you're not telling me the whole truth about you and Emma, are you, son? What about you? Oh, okay, so now I'm the one who's not telling the whole story, huh? <laughs> oh, well, this is the bait I just gotta take, Jake. Oh, oh sorry, I just got so distracted about that rhyme, I forgot what we oh, were... Oh, no, 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 uh, you were telling me how you totally have a thing for Ryan. Wait, are we talking about Ryan, the sailing instructor with the sexy brooding loner thing that totally doesn't do anything for me at all? Sexy? Ah, oh, sexy, huh? Hot as that camp, by far. Okay, sure. Uh, look, it was all settled by the girls in bunk seven, like, second day of camp. It goes Ryan, me of course, then Dylan, Emma, Abby. Okay. Nick, and then Mr. H, and... Okay, are you almost finished, please? Yep, that's it. That's everyone. <laughs> so she really just dumped her ass, huh? I don't... Okay. Her whole thing is like, how are we gonna make this work? Different schools, blah, blah, blah. My whole thing is like, you know, maybe long distance, blah, 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 blah. And she was just like, Jacob. She gave you the look, huh? Yeah, do not pass go. Man, she just got you wrapped all the way around that dainty little finger of hers. How does she do it? Hmm. <laughs> Maybe. It's just a fling. No, oh, but I mean, seriously, come on, she's right. It's just like a stupid summer fling. What else did I think was going to happen? Uh, let's see. Uh, love, stability, engagement, marriage, house, kid, affair, kid, divorce, loneliness, child support, visitation lawsuit, mm. surprise reconciliation, empty nest, retirement, grandkid, 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 a uh, nursing home, and finally, dying in each other's arms and then being buried in each other's arms like those thousand-year-old skeletons they dug up in Rome or something. That kind of in the ballpark? Oh, shit, I'm sorry, that was Ryan and me. Uh, let me see, ah, here it is. Yours just says, Roadhead. Oh, actually, that's just a generic all men list. Oh, well, that seems legit. <laughs> okay, so are we sure that this old rust bucket's roadworthy? <laughs> we'll take a look. It better be. One more night in the great outdoors might actually kill me. Hey, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Well, I haven't killed you yet. And you're still pretty pathetic. Hey, shut up. <clears throat> Uh, okay, so, um, total hypothetical, but if I was, like, a huge asshole and I wanted to break down the van so we'd have to spend another night here, uh, what exactly would I need to do? Well, you'd probably break the fuel line or, I don't know, rip out the rotor arm. And yes, that would make you a total asshole. Okay, and what does a rotor arm look like again? It's like an arm that's all rotary. You know, it's under the little black dome with the leads poking out. Jake, you do realize that even if we somehow did get stuck out here, one more night with Emma wouldn't make a difference. Trust me, Chick's made up her mind. Yeah. Sure. Guess we'll just have to find out. <sighs> Break the fuel line, steal the rotor arm. How about we just steal the rotor arm? Let's not break anything. I'd rather not. It doesn't seem like you can... Come on with me, buddy. I'll put you right back tomorrow. No harm, no foul. Up here, my dudes. Why did they look like they're up to something? Hey, Jacob. What? No, dude, please. D don't, Go don't. long. Oh, Nick. Oh. Boom. Oh. oh, there it is. Oh, Ooh. man, good sight. Ooh. Freak. Oh. oh. Ooh, I wish I had some singles. Ooh. Freaks. I'm surrounded by freaks. What am I watching? Oh, thank God. 
I mean, I get the whole no technology thing, but take me back, world. <laughs> you would have thought Mr. H could have, like, charged up our phones, like, a little bit. Nothing's ever your fault, is it? <laughs> you know, you should really just save it for emergencies only. <laughs> Unless, of course, is being dumped an emergency. Oh, Ben. This is where you fucking slap him. At least I got some. Or back off, dipshit. I mean, he is kind of a little shit, right? Back off, dipshit. I'm sorry. I. Peace and love, man. I, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Y'all ready to bounce? Dude, Brenda is so tiny. What the fuck? Where is everybody else? She's so short. Why? Why would I know that? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you know stuff I don't. Look, I don't. I don't even know how to. I respond think she to is that. actually that short too. You say, Nick. You're way smarter than me, and you're a super hot stud who gets any chick he wants. Okay. Yeah. Keep dreaming, Junior. So she's so short. Yo, uh, OTR, thank you so much for the tier one sub. Welcome. Appreciate it. Sorry, second Abigail. Hey there, party bear. Status report? We are officially empty nesters. High five up top. Oh, oh too slow. Damn really? it. Oh boy. You're about to get your phone back, aren't you? Let's go collect our bags and away from this mosquito infested backwards dump. Doors locked, bags inside. <sighs> Fuck me. Yep. Well, it's obvious what we have to do here. Find someone with a key? Shape our destiny. And by shape our destiny, I mean shape our way through this crappy lock and grab our bags. Break in or leave bags. I mean we I mean we can't leave our bags. We're leaving our bags, we gotta break in. Okay. Let's do it. We better not get into trouble. I won't tell if you won't tell. Mr. Hackett's gonna find out. So what? I'll just think it was a bear or something. Have you ever seen a bear in these woods? No, but that doesn't mean they're not out there. Fair point. All right, let's do this. On three. We're just gonna keep One, it two, three. Oh. Mm. Okay. All about the power of positive thinking. Why do I ever listen to you? Because I'm always right. Emma's Are proud you sure of they're you. gonna think it was a bear? Oh my god, relax. It's not like we killed someone. Alright, well, I'm just gonna take another look around, make sure we didn't miss anything. Go nuts. Okay. Give me a sec here. Sorry, one sec, chat. Okay. Aw. Oh. This was little Izzy's. The hell is that? I wanna play a game! <laughs> that thing needs to be tossed in the fireplace. No, we're, we're leaving that. Uh, maybe I should keep it, though. I mean, I don't know. It could probably be probably be used as like a, like a distraction somewhere so might as well keep it let's get you back to Izzy <sighs> maybe <sighs> nothing here oh something else here 
Why would this place be in the news? Scrap on local newspaper. The North the North Kill Gazette. It doesn't look recent. Something about a fire? Is it here at Hackett's Quarry? Freak show goes up in flames. Dozens killed in fire at traveling show. Interesting. Yeah, Fuchsia, thank you for the 38 months. Thanks. Welcome back. Not taking that with me? Should probably take that with me. I can't believe I'm actually going to miss all those lumpy, loose springs. Oh. All right, let's get out of here. What's over there? Could it be dangerous here? Perhaps? Maybe? It's gonna be weird not waking up to Dylan's morning announcements. Did I trigger something by chance? I'm just gonna do it again. Oh, there might be like different. Okay, never mind. I thought we were gonna have something different. Is that oh this is like the, the circuit breaker or something is there anything back here nope I'm liking uh well it's, it's interesting um it's not spoopy right now but it, this is like exploration mode right now The beginning was pretty cool, but I think this is like the introductions of, of the characters, right? So this is kind of like, I think this is kind of how Until Dawn was. You have to like, the introduction of every character first before things started to get hella weird. The game looks good. It's very beautiful. Dylan is not going to be happy that the case was this year. Cam sound recording. <laughs> Uh, technology may have moved on, but the song still remains unchanged. I'll tell Chris about it when we see him. Ding, 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 ding. I'm just trying to explore everything. So yeah, it looks like we're watching a cool animated movie. You can there there is a mode where it's just movie mode where you just watch. You just watch the entire thing and you don't have control over anything and I guess it just I, I don't know. I don't know. Um I think that's the free mode. But I have complete control in this mode, so her tiny backpack triggers you. Her backpack's pretty cool. Look, it has like little bat wings inside. I kind of wish you can jog a little bit. But you only have walking and power walking. Pretty cool to jog around a little bit. Nothing here. Damn, we gotta check all these. Alright, well, might as well. There might be something that I might be missing. So.
that crow thing was probably uh, like a foreshadowing moment that death was near. I don't know. I got a pool here too. That's pretty cool. Is there like a swing? Nope. Oh, wow. Novelty signpost that it also acts as a chilling reminder that Hackett's Quarry really is a long way from anywhere. Oh, wow. 2,927 2, miles from San Francisco, 6,759 miles from Seoul, 3,519 miles from Toledo. Damn. In the middle of nowhere. Jacob plus Emma for summer. <laughs> Evidence. Ooh, okay. Everyone likes a scavenger hunt. And at Hackett's Quarry, that's no different. There are secrets in these woods. Fun secrets that should you uncover them could help protect you from criminal prosecution. After all, the stories you'll take with you are only stories without the proof to back them up. So it's time to dive into the mystery, take pictures, or find pieces of evidence, and you may just prove your innocence. Or not. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Ouch. Let's hope Jacob hasn't seen this. Empty vial? Empty vial with an unpleasant odor. Uh, ugh. Ugh, what is that? Is it Dylan's? Ugh. Okay. <clears throat> so there's a smelly vial and uh Okay. Did I check all these already? I think I did. I think I checked these. Pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, I did. Okay. <laughs> oh, damn. Let's go swimming. Everyone's probably ra waiting on me right now. No, nothing. Okay. Right, the swing. I would, but she doesn't want to. I think we just have to go now. I don't think I have, like, an inventory anywhere, do I? Pass. Love at first sight. Uh, love is first fright. Love at first fright. Why? Well, I can't read that. Journey through all the twists and turns of young love and discover how much a relationship can endure. The video nasty. Laura and Max. Interesting. Oh, Laura tried to help Max after he was attacked at the storm shelter. <laughs> Wait. Wait, what? Hold on. Or lied to the cop about the accident on the road. A fool's errand. Jacob removed the rotor arm from the minivan. Uh huh. Down the rabbit hole. Something toys with you, but perhaps you can turn the tables by following the path unknown. Remember findings that seem insignificant could be could well be your last hope of survival. I can't tell, like, oh, I probably have to do this, no? Oh, I have to use, m oh, I have to use my arrow keys. That's That was the problem. Interesting. So, the, the, so the other girl got injected with something, but I guess the cop killed the, the, the kid? I guess? Huh, okay. Camp? Oh, we actually have a map. 
discard card as well. Okay, so I gotta I gotta remember this. So potentially the car can go up in flames. I just gotta be careful with that. That's okay. <laughs> Interesting. <clears throat> Shooting stars. I don't think anyone knocked Caitlin out of first place all summer. Wait, let me take another look at that. Okay. I think that's it. Ready to roll? Mm. Yeah. I don't think I missed out on anything. Let's do it. Finally. Okay. Okay. Time to let loose and vamoose this caboose. How are you so dramatic? Annoying. Confident. It's just acting. It's what the people want. So you're faking it? I mean, in a way, faking it is just being yourself, but louder. You should try it sometime. You never know who you might impress. No, <laughs> it's too late now anyway. For what, you and Nick? You never know unless you put yourself out there. Crap. <gasps> oh, wow. Oh. <gasps> nice steering, Tex. Jinkies. Okay, so hypothetically, why does she remind me of Fuya? If I put myself out there, what if he ends up being a dud, kind of like you and Jacob? He's actually really sweet. Then why'd you quit it? Summer fling. We're going to school like four states away. I, he gets it. Yeah, sure. But that's us. You and Nick could be different. When you get his handle, hit him up. Oh, I already have his email. It was in the packet they gave to us on the first day. Email? Are you 93? What's wrong with email? I'm really gonna miss you, Abby. Oh, hold up! Oh, uh, but the lodge is that way. Go right here. Why? Come on, scenic route? One last victory lap around the camp? Not a good idea. Alright, well, let's, let's, okay, fine, let's do the scenic route. Yes, sure. What's the victory? Two months, no technology. What? I kind of thought it was nice to be offline. Ugh, I didn't. Plus, my subs need me. How could they live without you? I believe you. Oh, how'd they even get by for two months without you? <laughs> I will have you know that I have a very loyal and engaged subscriber base. I provide very important and educational lifestyle advice in the form of entertaining and hilarious video monologues. They rely on me. Oh, totally. You're a big deal. Ah, uh, yeah. Zerain, thank you for the raid. Appreciate I mean, I'm, I'm sure they're going to be, like, really happy you're back. <laughs> yeah, my favorite spot. The fire pit? The island. Not secluded, right? Is is that smoke? Oh. Should we tell someone? Mm, it looks pretty contained. It's probably just Mr. H burning some stuff before, you know, he closes camp for the summer. Yeah. Speaking of which, we should we should probably, you know, get back. Oh yeah. Worried Nick's, you know. Gonna leave it at you? Well, no, mm -hmm. they're probably like all waiting for us. Mm hmm. Everyone's waiting for us. Everyone, yeah. Nick, waiting for you. All, everyone, same. <laughs> okay. But I think that's good that we take the scenic route. At least now we know, right? 
I still think it was. Don't worry, Jacob. I got you. I got a full tank of gas. So. Oh fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, idiot. <laughs> Does nobody own phone chargers anymore? Hey, there's no signal out here anyways, dude. Okay, this place is like patchy as balls. <sighs> Your balls are patchy? What? No. <sighs> it's okay. I'll just go get some juice from Mr. H before we go. And... Uh, ew. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Hey, Nick. Hey, where were you guys? Wouldn't you like to know? Ignore her, please. Let's go. Just gotta get these bags up onto the. Oh, hey, hey, here. Let me um, let me get it for you. I can take care of my own bag, thank you. What? Are you sure? Because I mean, it's really not that big. She of a can deal. take care of her own bag, thank you. We can both take care of our own bag, thank you. Damn. Cool. Sassy. Would you kindly put this bag in the trunk, please? Nudge? Uh, sure, why not? Uh, uh, Abby, do you need... Yeah. Can I... Thank you. Hey, has anyone seen Ryan? Oh yeah, he's probably off being all brooding and mysterious and alluring somewhere. <laughs> I'm here. What were you doing under there? Having a little me party? Uh, I was listening to a podcast, actually. Oh, podcast, nice, that's cool. What's it about? Mind your own business. <laughs> wow. Yeah, what's it about? Is it about me? think I was listening to a podcast about you. Okay, if anyone here had a podcast about them, it'd be me. Yeah, if there was a podcast called How to Look and Smell Like a Butt. Oh my god, you are so childish. At least I don't look and smell like a butt. No, it's a, it's a paranormal podcast. This episode was actually about this place, weirdly enough. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. The who of the what's it where now? What's the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? You don't know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, if I did, would I be asking, dumbass? Tell her about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. I don't think she wants to know about the Hag of Hackett's uh, Quarry. Uh, can we just please stop saying the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? I want to know about it's the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. It's a campfire story for the kids. It's, um, there's supposedly an old woman who died in a fire a few years back. She haunts the woods looking for her lost baby boy. There are like reports of whispers or whatever, and then this figure that floats around, you know, textbook ghost stuff. Some people say that if she catches you alone, she'll try to turn you into her son or kill you or something. I don't know. It's never really been clear. Anyways, Haga Haggett's Corey. You made that up. It's right here in the podcast, man. Cool story, bro. Better than yours. <laughs> oh, yeah? You got a cooler one? Oh, no. I wasn't being sarcastic. Uh, I didn't really tell it right. Look, no, no, no. Seriously, dude. I think it just it came out wrong. You got to be careful with this stuff, man. This shit's true. Come on, dude. Bullshit. What's the holdup, Hacketeers? Uh, yeah, uh, nearly done, Mr. H. We're up to it. Dewey. Get those butts in gear. Sorry, Mr. H. We had to liberate some luggage. Shut up. Maybe if somebody didn't spend so much time trying to press the ladies with all his ghost stories. You asked. Ghost stories? The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Oh! <sighs> hey, you still have the van key, Mr. H? Well, yes, I do. Are they? No. <sighs> I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? Oh, okay. 
Yo, Mr. H. What's up, DJ Dylan? Any chance I could get a little charge? I want to have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do. No fair. Come on, that's like super unchill. Hey, dude, I'm like the chillest flipping bro in the whole world, man. I just need some tunes for the ride, man. <laughs> all right, that's enough. Five minutes? Like, like five minutes, that's all I need, man. <laughs> you said no, Dylan. Okay, yeah, time. I know, but I was just... <laughs> Meet you at the van, okay? <laughs> I love this game already. It's not even a game, it's a movie. Uh, Lithium, thank you so much for the tier one sub. Welcome. So, uh, Chris, I I'm actually glad we got a moment to talk. Uh, uh-oh. I'm not fired, am I? <laughs> no, no, it's, um, it's just, you know, about the whole thing w with the... Hold that thought, partner. I'm gonna have to take this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> Hello. Are they... Salazé, thank you so much for using your, pre your free prime sub. You'll appreciate it. Thank you. Should we eavesdrop? Uh, maybe we should eavesdrop. I mean, I've already listened to the podcast. Let's, let's, let's do a little eavesdropping. What? Eavesdropping it is. Because kids are kids. They only do so much to vote. They're almost out of here, all right? You're cutting it pretty close. We don't want to have... Just hold your damn horses, all right? Everything's A-OK -okay on this end. Bobby and I are geared up. If he's in the area, we'll get him. This is a waste of time. You know what? I know it. No, should I have? He's gone quiet. Try staying out of the way. Speaking of which, the longer you keep me on this damn phone, the longer it's going to take me to get rid of these damn kids. Yeah. Of course. Adios. Damn, there are some moments where, like, it looks so real. Sorry, I, I wasn't. I wasn't listening. I, I was just like waiting. Like, I mean, I heard. I. Uh, I mean, I was. I didn't hear what you were. Saying. We're cool, champ. Just come on in. Sorry, I pushed you out like that. You, uh, you need a hand looking for the keys? Uh, no, end of summer, busy, busy. You know. Anyway, you were asking me? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it was just the whole animation school thing, what you thought I should do. Right. Y you know, listen, whether or not I should, like, leave my sister with my grandparents, since I'd have to live on campus, you know, and my mom's not exactly around, so I wouldn't want to leave Sarah on her own. You know, fam our family's small enough as it is. Well, family is important, right? Okay. Is everything okay? You got a hot day tonight? Oh boy. If you only knew. <laughs> so, uh, what, what did you need me for? You're one of my favorite counselors, Ryan. You know that. One of the good ones. <laughs> Do you know how many calls I get from parents, letter after letter, of these terrified kids that they send home? Huh. I, I didn't realize that. Believe it or not, scaring kids away from sleepaway camp is kind of bad for business. So maybe just ease up on the ghost stories? It was just a little fun. I didn't realize. Let's go apologetic. Sorry. I didn't realize it was such a big deal. Gotta understand the repercussions of your actions, Buster. It's a big part of being a counselor, a leader. Yeah. Just stick to kumbaya next time, okay? What's that? You guys don't do kumbaya anymore? Good grief. I'm outgrowing my own cliches. Seriously, Chris, what's going on? I just want to get you guys safely out of Dodge before the sun goes down. Why? Why? 
It's getting dark, Ryan, and it's not safe to drive in the dark. And safety is the first step towards fun. Just give me a minute. Where in the good goddamn are they? Will you say goodbye to Caleb and Kaylee for me? They just sort of just snuck off. Well, you'll see him again next year. Caleb works at the scrapyard during the off season, and Kaylee, well, she's still figuring out what she wants to do. She's got her whole life ahead of her. They both just come and go as they please, really. Teenagers. Why did right? it look like his head was on like a like a fourteen year old body? Packing up since we were short staffed. Hey, you guys seem to manage all right. <clears throat> But I'll tell them both you were sad you missed them. Unlocked the van, put the keys in my pocket, came in the office. Right where I left them. Uh -huh. Let's skedaddle. <clears throat> He's probably into some something something's going on. Something shady is going Make on. Make sure they're all ready to go. That he knows about. For real this time. Something. Wait, how did you get your phone back before the rest of us? I never turned it in. You should have turned it off before you handed it in, Dylan. Them's the rules, you noob. Get fucking wrecked, noob. I try not to dwell on the past, man. Good. Because it's time to dwell on the minivan. Get on with our respective lives. Move it. Let's go. What's the problem? Ugh. Dude, I don't know. I, I think there's something wrong with the engine, Mr. H. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Yeah, dude. It's just like kaput. All right. Let me try. What? Dude, I'm telling you, all right? It's busted. Well, maybe you're doing Go, it wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. What the fuck, dude? Enough. Enough, both wow. of you. Shit. Come on. All right, Come on. Chill. Chill, Let's go. dude. Damn it. I thought I told you kids to check everything. No, we did. It, it should be working. Yeah, well, coulda and shoulda doesn't mean it is, does it? Damn it! Huh. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Uh, okay. Well, uh, look, it's not that big of a deal, okay? We'll just spend one more night here. No! No! Just stop. Let me think. Damn it. You're right. You're right. Super yeah. hell bent out of shape. What? Yeah, you're right. Oh, God. Oh, my bad. Oh. Beep, dude. <laughs> I think Chris doesn't have time for this. Hey, Brian. Come here for a sec. Make sure that everybody is inside the lodge for tonight. Lock the doors. No one in, no one out. No one. Got it? Okay. I'll be back first thing in the morning. And we'll get you all on the road. You just have to keep everyone inside. Can you promise me you'll do that? Sure. Yeah, sure. We'll, we'll stay inside. And a boy. Lock the doors. And for God's sake, keep the noise down. Wait a minute. Why don't? Ah, uh, never mind. I was gonna say, why don't they just take his car? Why doesn't? Why doesn't he just drive so... them all out? 
And then just what like was a. What that about? He uh, said to stay inside. That like we're a, not leaving until like the morning. Like a tow company come in and Are get the vehicle. you kidding me? Um. Yeah, why not just... Are you kidding me? What are we supposed to do? Well, what? we should go inside, like he said. We could go inside until morning. Yeah. Or... Damn, that mother truck is sweating bullets. Or we could do something else. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? No Mr. Hackett, no screaming kids. Just a bunch of grown ass adults ready to cut loose and get down with their animal side. Oh, hell yeah. P A R T. Why the fuck not? All right, it seems like the stars have aligned for us, no? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. One last epic bonfire blowout for all time. Oh, dude. Fuck yes. I'm in, Nick. You're in. Yeah, I'm in. Dylan's in, obviously. My man. Caitlin? I go where my people need me. Yeah, okay. M, what do you say? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm in. <laughs> What's wrong with her mouth? Mr. Hackett seemed pretty insistent we stay in the lodge. He was just trying to freak us out, you know? Like, um... Like one of Ryan's stupid ghost stories. Why would he want to scare us? You did apprehend. Let's be apprehensive about it. I don't think he was trying to freak us out, Jacob. I think he was really freaked out by something. Jesus Christ. Chris seemed real serious about this, guys. Just say you're in, man. Come on, one last night. Yeah, dude. He won't even know. I, I promised. I no, 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 D dude, dude. It's all good. All right, we get it. You know, you uh, you don't want to disappoint Daddy. Someone's got to give a shit. Or whatever, man. Hmm. Hmm. Defensive or dismissive? Hmm. I feel like he would say eh, whatever, you know, after that, but <sighs> Okay, I better pick something cuz he's staring into my soul. Let's make Yeah, well, up. someone's got to give a shit. Oh. <laughs> you know what? I don't even care what you guys do. Oh. I'm doing what Chris told me. To do. <sighs> Ryan, come on, man. Wait. All right, all right, all right, Hacketeers. Party planning committee, let's do this. Um, okay, first things first. Nick and Abby, you will get some firewood. Uh, Emma and I will go to the stores for some supplies. And uh, Dylan, you just, I don't know, figure out how to charge the phones or something. All right, let's do this. <laughs> I, think, I feel like all this could just be like a part of like a 90s commercial. What the heck? Uh oh. Who's who's peeping? What the Why is he covered in blood? season why is he covered in blood that was kind of random uh -oh. I was hoping you'd come back to me please don't scold me let's see what you've found 
empty handed. What? You need to look around you, find my cards, and I can help you. Where I'm from, we look out for each other. There was a card, really? Find them, please. Damn it. Well, I gotta try harder now. You'd better be going. It's still early and the moon is bright, but time won't wait. Not for those with a story to tell. Be careful. Look out for yourselves. And look out for my cards. I guess it... <laughs> she's very disappointed. I guess if I find a card, I get like a little bit of a tip of the future. What I can or cannot uh, avoid. <laughs> Chapter one. Chapter two. Truth or dare. In the great American wild with nothing but our wits to guide us. Will humanity prevail or will we grow ravenous and resort to eating the flesh of the deceased like I saw in that one plane crash movie? <laughs> First course, filet au Jacob. Rich and full body, this rare beefcake may leave an irritating taste lingering on the palate. An acquired taste, some would say. Wow. What? Looks like you're trying to thread a needle with a packet of loose sausages. Oh my god, I'm almost done, okay? Jesus Christ. And for the record, your analogies are very hurtful. Okay, I'm almost there. One second. Kick door? Nah, we don't have to kick the door. Hi, there we go. And Viola. Uh, Your hair clip, madam. Yeah, you can keep it. It's not too shabby, huh? Yeah. Took you long enough. Took you long enough. Well, I got it open, didn't I? It's okay, it's not a race. <laughs> okay. So, if I were a beer. Where would I be hiding? Beep, 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 beep. What beep, are you doing? Beep. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's my beer dar. Helps me dar for beers. Huh. How am I just noticing how super lame you are? What? But it, it's my beer dar, dude. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go over here. Wow, the kids really wiped this place out. Mr. H loved his accessories. Ooh, a safe. I wonder if I can hack it. <laughs> Think it's locked. Check out my giant melons. Oh. See, you just cut a hole in it. Mm -hmm. You pour in your vodka. It's party time. You just you pour the vodka right in it. Yeah, it's the most fun you could have with a hole in a watermelon. Or, well, second most. Wow. Okay, well. I'm gonna leave you two alone and go look for some more party supplies. Wow. <laughs> This stick is wiener in a watermelon. Wow. Okay. There better not be a card here. Probably will. Probably will be. What's this? Oh. Harem scarum. Damage memorabilia. Uh, these flyers are promoting a traveling show called the Harem Scarum. Date listed indicates it took place over 
Six years ago. Okay. Six years ago. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Okay, I don't want to go there yet. I'm going to keep looking down here. So you have to get, so, so I was talking about like how there's only like certain things you can look at, but you actually have to get close enough. There it is for something to be of like of interest. Who buys this crap? Yep. It's kind of creepy. Uh huh. That dude covered in blood. <laughs> it's over here. This is the back way. Huh? Shortcut. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> Hello, old friends. Oh, yeah. Scare Jacob, leave the props. Let's, let's leave it for now. <laughs> Maybe I should give the guy a break. Yeah, yeah, let's leave it for now. You know, we got other stuff to find, right? I can always come back to this. It's fine. I just feel like that's gonna lock me in for a cutscene and I won't be able to go back. <clears throat> oh, blueprints. Quote too high, look for cheaper option next year. Lodge renovation plans. Blueprints for structural repairs on the lodge's chimney column. Judging by the scrawled annotations, this is not something Chris Hacken has the money to action right now. <laughs> Yeah, she has nothing to say about that. <laughs> it's random. What was this? Wonder where this goes. Locked. Kick the door. Call Jay. I think we should kick the door. I think we should kick it. Mother. <laughs> <laughs> what you uh what you done to your foot there? That looks painful. Shut up. <laughs> Oops. <sighs> done. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Fucking mother love. Good golly, Miss Molly. I wonder if he kept this place locked up. I think he'll be pissed when we made his stash. What? No. Dang. I mean, he left us stranded here. It's like, um, <clears throat> human rights or whatever. Sure. Yeah. All right. Now, let's see what we are working with. Hold that. The door will latch otherwise. Angela, thank you so much for the three months. Oh. Thank Hell you. yeah. In and out job done boom i want to look around go for it what's that here okay all right so 
Let's see what we got. Maybe there's a, maybe there's another card here. Man, I can't believe I missed the first one. That sucks. What are those? Jacob. Big backpacks. Check this out. What? I can't move or else the door will latch. They look like camping supplies. Oh, okay. Um, there's tents back at the fire pit, so just Ooh. let's let's go. Torn bags. Dash with flecks of dried blood. Uh oh. Did a bear do this? Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Oh, oh shit. cool. Seven seven three what? nine. What is it? Oh shit. A gun. Damn. Oh cool. And uh code. Seven seven three nine. No, take the shotgun though. For no reason. <laughs> She's gonna kill someone. Okay. I'm done. <laughs> oh, she's taking it. Oh, really? What? She's really? Yo, these kids are fucking dangerous. Holy shit. Holy shit. Damn, we got some potato chips. Yo, you guys want anything? We got some. What is this? We got. Scrunches chili, scrunches chili chips. We got fucking more chili chips, vampire, vampire bites, brain candy. Was that zombie flesh? We got, we just have chili chips, and a couple of, you know, watermelons. Oh, we got gooey eyeballs. Don't forget about gooey eyeballs. Damn, and a whole lot of beer. <laughs> okay, shit. What was the code? I forgot already. So you're, uh, you're really going to keep the gun? So huh? doing that. Okay, thank you. Yeah, for bears. <laughs> okay, uh, well, I am going to find something to haul this lot back to camp. Okay. Where was that safe? The safe was... It was, uh... What was that noise? I think it was over here. The safe was like in the beginning area. Looking at this place, like right in the front. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like right under the. Uh... Yeah, right. there it is. I'm in. Hey, very nice. <laughs> oh, shotgun shells. What else is in there? Uh, just some fireworks. W oh, fireworks? Yeah, but I don't think we should. No, 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 Emma. Fireworks. Fireworks. Absolutely. You know, you're right. Fireworks. <laughs> yeah, 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 hell yeah. Fireworks. Oh, um. We're all dead. Might I just add, um, fireworks. We're all dead. <laughs> Something's gonna happen when hey. I. I found these like <clears throat> torn up bags back there. They were pretty messed up, and I think yeah, they big made uh oh. Blood on <laughs> oh oh, stop, stop, stay right there. It it's probably fireworks to <laughs> distract oh, something. Dude, peanut butter butter pops. Oh shit. Dude, peanut butter, fucking butter pops. Are those for kids? What are butter pops? What are butter pops? <laughs> no. What? I can't believe it. Um, okay. Um, <clears throat> pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. <laughs> pop, pop, pop them in your mouth. Pop. Oh my God. They're like the greatest snack <laughs> of all time. What are they? Are they like popcorn? What? No, 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 no. They're nothing like popcorn. <laughs> They're like their own thing. Like their own subgenre of food snack. You know what? I haven't had these since I was a kid. You are in for such a treat. Okay, wait. Is there an expiration date on that bag? Um, no, they're still good. 
Oh my god, they're like 20 years old, aren't okay. they? Okay, look, they predate expiration dates. Well, well, you're gonna love them. Blah. But, oh. Well, <clears throat> I saw a wheelbarrow out front, so we can load up all our booty in there. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Booty? Oh, it means like, um, like treasure or buds. <laughs> no, before that. Wheelbarrow? Uh, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, it's like, um, it's like a barrel with wheels. You can put stuff in it and just wheel it around. Oh, I see. You know, the thing is, like, yeah, m maybe most, maybe most kids don't know what a wheelbarrow is. In Ladies first. This year. <laughs> so that's kind of realistic. Which I way? feel like. I didn't find a card. So I hope I'm not screwed. All right. The inner sanctum. It's just an office. This is where the magic happens. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's just make this quick. Sure, just give me a sec to get this going. And engage. Podcasts. Yeah. All right. What are you listening to now? God, it's so creepy. <laughs> uh, uh, what's it called? The one that you're listening to right now? Uh, bizarre yet bona fide. So like ghosts and stuff. It's like um, yeah, like the. The weird and the wonderful, digging up weird mysteries and discussing if they're, well, bona fide. Boner fide. Get it? Boner. <laughs> Your wit knows no bounds. <laughs> so, should we check out what Mr. H keeps in his private den of sin? Uh, I don't know, man. I feel a little weird going through his stuff. Okay, well, I don't. I mean, come on, what kind of dirty secrets is the owner of a summer camp full of impressionable young children gonna have anyway? <laughs> Not Mr. H, I know, he's cool. It's always been cool to me. Okay. I guess we just search now. Oh, there's a lot of places to look at. Hey, what's the gun for? Uh, Chris, Mr. H told me it was for, um, bears. Bears? Here? Yeah, yeah, he said they don't really come around because he's got the gun to... Oh. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Just leave it alone. Leave it alone. What the hell? What the hell? What's going on in chat? Holy sh Damn! Summit, yo, thank you. Am I seeing this right? Hold on a minute. Damn! Summit, thank you for the host! Holy shit. God damn. Thank you very much, man. Oh my god. Thank you, dude. I hope you had a great stream. I don't know what you were playing, but I hope you had a good one, man. What was what was some of playing? What was it? <laughs> yes. Oh well, you guys are gonna have to get the weird stare now. <laughs> oh, he's playing. You know, I, I I've been kind of wanting to try out Sniper Elite. I heard that it's pretty fun. The fact that you can like invade other uh, other like players, it's pretty cool. I like it. Damn. Yo, Greg, thank you so much for the six months. Welcome back. Welcome back. And folks from my side, I'd, I'd be very, very surprised if anyone on my side doesn't know who Summit is. I'll, I'll be freaking shocked. Everyone should know who, who Summit is. But if you're, not, if you're not following him, please go follow him. Follow the man. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for the extremely, extremely generous uh, generous host, man. I, I appreciate it. Right now, we, we just got started on playing the quarry, which is... Uh, I don't know if anyone has heard of Until Dawn, but it's very similar to that. Um, you know, where you get to like pick your decisions and all that stuff. So it's like a it's like a horror game. 
So I just got started. I literally just got started. So I hope you all enjoy the stream uh, and enjoy all of these decisions I pick. And you're all super welcome to hang out and stuff. And Summit, thank you again for the host, man. I hope I hope you get to have a chill rest of your night, man. Thank you, brother. Thank you very much. <clears throat> what if we need it? Why would we need a gun? What if bears crash the party? I mean, I mean, serious or playful? Hmm. What if bears crash the party? Oh, creatures, thank you so much for the 10 gift this subs. Yo, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. I'm trying to pick, like, the most logical... I'm trying to pick, like, all the choices that, like, oh, yeah, yeah, they would totally do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, they would just totally do that. So, I think I think this guy's more playful than anything. You're not serious, right? Dude, we're going to be out partying in the woods tonight, all right? What if the bears try to crash? Okay, it's, it's like my mom always said. If you want to party, you got to bring protection. <laughs> Well, I think that she was talking about condoms. <laughs> I'm not going to fuck a bear. <laughs> okay. The most dangerous thing I've seen in these woods is a pissed off squirrel. That sounds pretty scary. Uh... Okay, fine. <laughs> well, we know where the gun is if we need it. Your call, man. All right. <laughs> DJ Case, thank you for the five gift subs. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Alright, what, what do we got here? Okay. Phone's charging. Let's see here. I mean. Yo, leave the gun alone, man. Uh -oh. You got it, boss. Damn. Now, what if I did it again, though? Dylan, what the fuck, man? I'm sorry. I just really, really want to know what it feels like to hold it. Um, I told you to leave it alone twice. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Cut it out. Uh oh. What if if what if I did it again though? What if I did it again? I have the choice to do it again, right? I do have the choice. Oh, yeah, I better not fuck this up. No, I can't fuck this up. Now we're trying to we're you know we're trying to play it. I'm not trying to like sabotage this fucking playthrough. I'm trying to actually like make it have sense. Well, hello, what is this? You hear that? Is that a trap door? <laughs> I knew that there was a secret sex dungeon around here somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet you Mr. H is into some real kinky shit. Uh, I doubt it. Weren't there a couple counselors who never showed up? Uh huh. Why? Secret sex dungeon. Yeah, it's not funny. It probably just goes to the basement <laughs> or something. Open it up. <clears throat> All right, well, it looks like a pit of eternal darkness, so. You're being dramatic. <laughs> climb down, take a look. Look, you can squeeze through there. There's probably a really horny bear you down there. You opened it, you climb down. Shut trap door, climb down. Oh shit! Are we cl Yeah, we should. Let's do it. Let's, let's do it. Let's do it. We made it this far. Path chosen. Okay. Oh. What's down there? Oh my God, Ryan! You will what? not believe this. What? 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 It's nothing. Oh. <laughs> I had you go in there for a second, didn't I? No, maybe. Just shut up. It is uh, pretty spooky down here, though, and it smells very unnatural. So, yeah. Okay, I'm coming back up. It's... Oh. Oh, that can't be good. Ah, <laughs> oh, crap. Ah, oh, crap. Ooh, that's a nice chair. I could get used to this. You better hope Mr. H doesn't catch you taking his baby out for a joyride. <laughs> yeah, someone's definitely dying down there. Dismissive. Come on, he's not good now. Okay, just be careful. 
What do you think I'm gonna do? Break it? Come on. Oh. That's a design flaw. Mm. <laughs> Looks like my very first computer chair. I think everyone's very first computer chair was like a rickety wooden piece of crap chair. Like a, like a fucking kitchen chair or something. Oh. Laura Kearney and Max Sprindley. Oh yeah, those are the ones that never showed up. Yeah, it's because of these goobers that we had to work extra shifts this summer. Counselor's Ledger. A list of counselors' names, personal details, and their tasks at camp. Two names are crossed out. Laura, Laura Kearney, and Max Brindley. Why didn't they show up? Those are the first two people that we played as in the beginning, right? Well, I guess for the folks that didn't get to see what happened, in the beginning you had to play as two counselors going to the to the, to the camp a day early. They, they got to the camp. Something was in the cellar. They went down to the cellar. Max got like pulled by something and he was just like fucking bleeding like hell and then the cop came and injected Laura with something made her pass out and then I think the cop like killed the kid or something after that but that's basically what happened a little bit earlier <clears throat> okay What else is there that I may have missed out on? Family photo. Younger looking camp leader Chris Hackett and his two kids, Cal Caleb and Kaylee. Okay. Kaylee and Caleb Hackett. Weird kids, huh? I like them. <laughs> yeah, me, I, me too. Um. They are pretty reclusive, you have to admit. That is Huey from Scream. I know him as Dewey. Okay, so I feel like I screwed up here, dude. Like, the, the, the freaking... The ladder? Oh, nice. We get... Just more stuff? Oh, wait, no, I'm just pulling out the same ledger. Share. What's it say? Shane, no show responsibilities among remaining counselors. Max. Rainy day plan. Yeah, first date support, wildlife training, and activities. Okay. Nothing new here. I wonder if I can go back into the the basement. But I don't think I can anymore. I'm pretty sure I can't. Alright, what else? Uh, yeah, I don't want to mess with the gun. He's going to get pissed. Uh, oh, why don't I go over here? Yo, my guy. Toss me the keys. Uh, so you can poke around in Chris's private area? I, I'm sorry, is that something that only you're allowed to do? Hardy har har. Come on, what's the harm in looking? It's you're not a little bit curious. I'm not gonna touch anything. Fine. Don't let me regret it. Can't promise that, but Oops. <laughs> Every I Q beeped it. I'm gonna make sure all of those QTs are just failure. I just I don't play sports. It's so good. That was, I think that was the third one so far. Huh. Wait, what's this? Fashion icon. Mr. H knows what he likes. Sure he does. Wow. There's... Yo. Hey, hey, maybe we shouldn't... Oh, shit. 
Uh, Brian. Oh damn. Whoa, what the fuck? These monitors, this is the cam. Huh. Is Mr. H spying on us? No, no. I mean, no, no, he can't be. These are just, they're all different trails in the woods around camp. <laughs> sure. Most of the cameras are pointed away from camp, so it's not like he's spying on the kids, unless they wandered out into the woods. You know, these are just, probably just trail cameras. What are trail cameras? People set them up to catch weird, random shit. Okay, yeah, like what? Like, uh, Bigfoot sightings, you know, that kind of thing. So he's looking for Bigfoot? So, okay, <laughs> I'm going to upgrade Mr. H from super creepy pervert with a spy cam to, you know, super crazy conspiracy hunter. To be fair, Bigfoot's not a conspiracy. Okay, fine. How about an aspiring cryptozoologist? Hey, maybe he likes the podcast that you listen to. Sure, yeah. Let's go with that. Okay, but why go through all the trouble of hiding this room through a secret door in the closet? Uh, I mean... It's not exactly secret, right? Like, it's just hidden by stuff. Yeah, that's what a secret is, Ryan. It, it, it's weird. It's majorly yeah, weird. I don't disagree with you, but... It, it's It's got to be something juicy in here. Dylan, okay. it's it's none of our business. And if you really want to know, you can ask him tomorrow. I'm sure that won't be an awkward conversation, like, at all. Okay, yeah, maybe I will. All right. I, I'm leaving the secret layer. Have fun. Hey, you just admitted that it's a secret layer. <laughs> okay. Oh, damn. He's got the setup of a streamer. <laughs> nice. This is, what a, this is what a streamer setup would look like back in, like, the late 90s. These fucking giant CRT, like, monitor TVs. What was that? Wait, 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 what? The hell? Oh shit. Oh. And the camera's out. Really nothing. The Counter Strike setup? Oh yeah. Hold on, I wanna take another look. Yeah, this is definitely a Counter Strike setup. I just look around for a little bit. Well that one. Okay. Okay, these are boring. Interesting. Wait, wait, wait. There's something else here. What's this? Huh. Max Brindley. Lori. Max and Laura. Okay. Huh. Letters made out to them. Never sent. I guess. Or maybe just withheld. And all the maps. Scrapyard. Oh, damn. Replacing cameras. Check faulty back left camera. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Probably let that charge a little bit longer. Not a big deal. Damn, I, I actually couldn't tell if that was like part of a cutscene, but I'm still moving. Whoa, there's some pretty heavy duty stuff in here. Yeah, maybe let's not touch that. Yeah, there's nothing fun. Interesting. Okay. Painkillers. Is this okay? There's one bottle that says heart heart medicine. Um. Oh, why is it getting old? I'm hearing creepy noises. 
ibuprofen, heart medicine. Okay, just gotta keep that in mind. Toothpaste for sharks. <coughs> what else is around here? Did I come through here? No, this is a different area. Here we go. Just a guitar. Anything over here? Nothing? What about over here? I mean, there's nothing weird about this guitar. It's just a regular guitar. I just have a feeling I'm going to miss out on another card. The game's got me paranoid now. The game's got me very paranoid. Okay, so I checked this, the secret camera room. It was like nothing. Yeah, I already checked that. I checked this already, right? The table. Mm hmm. Just nothing. Nothing out of the ordinary. I kind of want to try to, like, reach out for the shotgun again and see what happens, but. I don't know. I kind of don't. I don't want to ruin this playthrough. So we have the camera. Where is he? Oh, he's standing right there. Oh, check the phone. Nice. Full up. Continue exploring. Hmm. I don't know. I feel like there's something else I missed out on. I mean, it's hard to tell, really, but... Oh, wait a sec. Whoa, look at this old thing. Oh, I didn't do this. Hey, give me your number. I want to try it out. Why? Let's flirt. Uh, so that I can ask you out on a date. Uh, mm, smooth. I think if I tried a cell phone number on this thing, it would just explode. But... Hello? What? What? Who is it? Uh, uh hello? What was that? It's weird. I thought I heard someone. Huh. Maybe you should have asked them out on a date. Damn it, I missed my shot. What did it say? Did it say a name? <laughs> Nothing. We already saw the picture. Yep. Wait a minute, hold on. Oh, never mind. And then I would just sit in the chair, and pull out the thing. Nothing weird. Man, I hope I'm not missing out on anything. I, I feel like I've looked at everything. And in the bed in the bedroom it's it's just the guitar. That's it. Hmm. Yeah, that's the only thing to look at, just the guitar. That's it. Well, I guess we'll just leave then. Nothing else for me to do here. <clears throat> Can't look at anything else here. Did I miss something? Maybe there's like anything over here? Actually, why don't we talk with you? So, got anything going on when you get back home? School or? Uh, jury's out. Understood. <coughs> Girlfriend? Uh, not exactly. Boyfriend? 
Free agent. Cool, yeah. Me too. Are the uh, phones... Oh, uh, yeah, probably. Oh, it got awkward real fast. You want to check? Oh, let's just give him another minute or two, just to be sure. Damn, that is one beat up phone, isn't it? So, if you do go to school in the fall, have you, like, Picked out a major, or... I don't know, man. It's kind of hard to talk about right now. Oh, have you not decided what you're going to do with your life? Hey, are the phones done yet? I might... I might fucking piss him off if I keep talking to him. Hey, so did I tell you... Dude! <laughs> oh, I'm going to piss him off. Right. Yeah, I, I think it's... It's one of those, like, if I keep going and going, something's going to happen, like... Okay, fine. Jeez, God. Nice. Still, oh, uh, still at twenty eight percent. It is a shitty charger. All right. Um, I guess, man. I feel like I miss. I feel like I missed out on something. When I kept, when I kept going for the shotgun, it, it said he was getting irritated. I'm not too sure what would have happened if I kept going. Hmm. All right, let's head to the party. I don't want to screw it up. Hey, Dunzo. I'm gonna go. Cool, I'm gonna go with go. my gut feeling here. Thank you. Man. All right, we're in the woods now. <laughs> This would be a lot easier with Mr. H's chainsaw. It's really very pretty out here when there's no kids around. Yeah, they can get kind of obnoxious, huh? Yeah. They always seem to listen to you during painting class. You've seen my class? Just walking by. <laughs> the art cabin's all the way out of the way. Yeah, well, there's this shortcut that I take that goes by. So far, everything's pretty mellow. Everything's very mellow. Which way should we go? <clears throat> Why don't you choose? Oh, I gotta choose? Okay, Shady Glade or Rocky Road? Let's go to the, let's go to the Shady Glade. Let's go this way. <laughs> Oh my god, are you okay? I'll be okay. I thought it was dead. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was it. Come on, I'll spot you. Okay. Wait, there's two paths. Hold on. I'll go over here. They're playing the love making song way too early. It's over here. Maybe it's for the wildlife? Yeah. Trail cam. Makes sense. Okay. Trail camera hidden in the trees. Security measure, perhaps? Or maybe they're tracking something. Trail cameras around the camp are controlled by Chris Hackett from a secret room in his office. It's like he's looking for something. Oh, okay. That's cool. It unlocks, like... Oh, I forgot to read this, too. The flyers are thrown in for the traveling show called the Harem Scarum dated six years ago. These are the same as a poster in the woods. Why does Chris Hackett have them? Was he connected to Harem Scarum in some way? Oh, maybe. That's good to know. Oh, 
always try twice. Interesting. Wait, I, oh, I can't click on it anymore? I don't think so. Oh, shit. Uh, Der Flip TTV and Elixium Music, thank you so much for the free prime and the tier one sub. I need to check everything. In a place like this, it's going to be so difficult to find anything. It's just like a big open area. Hold her hand. I, I mean, you're rushing things. You are rushing things. You have to play it smooth. You gotta take your time. That's some nice looking water. So where does the stream actually go? The lake. Oh yeah. Duh. <laughs> That's cool. I think this game is is buttering me up super hard for when something happens. I ain't falling for it. Is this a random box? Ranger box. Unlocked. Inside is a... Wait, I haven't even looked inside. I'm not going to read I that. I think it's a ranger box. Oh. Like a supply cache for rangers or whatever if they're out in the woods. Naked rangers? <laughs> so it would seem. <laughs> okay. Some random clothing. I already checked over here. I think that's the, that was the camera, right? Yeah. <clears throat> I think we're back near the path again. where we are yeah up here here hold these sure this view is just Standing there. You're really good. Damn, Abby, you're really good. No, no, this is nothing. <laughs> no, really, I'm not just saying that. This is rough, but if I can get a little bit of it down, then I'll remember it better later. It's really cool you know that about yourself. Um, yeah, I guess so. I mean, not everyone knows what they're capable of, you know? I'm sure you're capable of a lot, Nick. I mean, of course. I just... don't know what. You'll figure it out. Damn, yeah, did I just blow it? I think I blew it. Oh, 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 there you go. It's down. To you, thank you for the five gifted. Thank you. Was that? That? Hmm? It's probably nothing. No, listen. There's something there. It's like a warthog. Oh my god. Look! It's like a it's like one of those like toy piglets. Whatever. 
Departed, thank you for the five gifted. Thank you. Oh my god, he's so cute. Like a little baby warthog. <laughs> Reminds me of those teacup piggies. Hold on. Which are real. Oh, save Abby. Save Abby? Wait, 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 wait. No, I'm not gonna do anything. Oh shit. About to get gored. Wait, don't breathe. Wait, what? You're in danger. Hunted by a creature of indeterminate origin. Don't breathe. You need to stop breathing. Tricking the beast into taking you for nothing but a corpse. And where's the fun in hunting then which is already dead? Watch the visuals alter or listen to the sound change as the threat approaches. Oh shit. When the danger is passed, run. Pick the right moment and run for your life. Be warned. Exhaling or running at the wrong time may just mark you as the creature's quarry, oh. causing serious consequences. Oh man, I'm gonna be so bad at this. I was really bad at this in Until Dawn too. This is literally like the longest tutorial. No, it's just mommy and dad. This really is a very long I'm tutorial. Sorry. This shit's about to go down later. Oh, little piggy hog. <laughs> it's actually a boar. Imagine the story. At least we gave her a good story to tell her pig husband. How do you know it was the mommy pig? I got a pretty good look. Ew! I think she was coming on to me. Oh, got yourself a little girlfriend. She wasn't that little. Guess we should head back. I probably missed the card, didn't I? This is a pretty long chapter, too. Heck, it's Corey Camp. Fire Pit. Caitlin. Oh, we're going to play as Caitlin now. You mean Brenda's song? I finally get my phone back, and it's just a big dumb brick. Hey, Caitlin. Guess what? Mr. H is a voyeuristic creep. He has hidden cameras everywhere and a secret room. No, that's not... Uh, whoa, now, back up. What? His eyes are everywhere. He's always watching us. Fuck it off, man. He, he's just got trail cameras set up. You know, forest surveillance, that kind of thing. Oh, you don't think that's weird? Well, he's got a perimeter to check, kids to protect. You know, probably just to keep track of wildlife. You guys have no imagination. So, uh, what's going on here? Everything ready? Weird light in the tree. Weird light in the treehouse or no surveillance? Okay, I'm going to pee. I'll be right back. Take like a one-minute intermission. I'll be right back. Enjoy Brenda's 
beautiful face. I'll be back. Okay. <laughs> All right. So she took a picture. I mean, she might as well just say it. Uh, I did see a weird light in the treehouse across the lake. Yeah, that was pretty spooky. Maybe it's your girlfriend, Brian. The hag of Hackett's Quarry. I told you never to say hag of Hackett's Quarry again. What's wrong with saying hag of Hackett's Quarry? Are you done? <laughs> You know, I just realized we may never see each other again after tonight. You can't have just realized that. Just trying to set the mood. What mood? The mood, the vibe, you know. Speaking of setting the mood, I have work to do. Okay, because playlists don't make themselves. I mean, I guess they do, but... All right, right guy. Time to get wood. Yikes. Wording. <laughs> oh, I know what I said. Abby, Nick! Just in time. We got wood. <laughs> We've already done that joke. It's mostly just kindling. Oh, that's all we need. There's already a big pile of logs here. We could have gotten more, but there was a hog or a boar. But Nick was very, very brave and took one for the team. The hog of Hackett's quarry. Yeah, she, she's, she, she's always playful. Jesus, this looks so realistic. It's kind of, it's kind of blowing my mind right now. This looks super realistic. What the hell, dude? Oh my gosh, it can't be. The hog of Hackett's quarry? 
What? I thought you hated that phrase. Big jokes take big sacrifices. You're so brave. <laughs> oh, I just want to shrink you down to little pocket people and put you in my pocket and peep at you when I need a little pick me up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ryan thinks you're making fun of him. Special delivery. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where the hell did that gun come dude, from? Dude, relax, okay? It's not even real. Uh... Well, I mean, it's a real gun, but it's just for shooting bears. We found it in the storage room. Okay, fine. Fine, we'll put it down. Thank you. Guns are no joke, dipshit. Clarity, thank you so much for the and, 62 months. And Welcome back. Thank you. We bring you a hand-picked selection of only the <laughs> finest that Hackett's Quarry has to offer. No freaking way. Yes, freaking way. Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter puffs. Pop, pop, pop them in your mouth. Pop. I didn't even know you could still find these anywhere. Oh, hey, hey, cool your jets there, cowboy. All right, these are spoken for. It's not, it's not as awkward since both of them were doing it. You don't want to pop, pop, pop them in my mouth. Come on. Emma, please hand me the shotgun. What, you gonna shoot me over them? No, dumbass. Okay, we are going to shoot for them. Nah, dude. Absolutely not. No. Not a great idea. Not leaving you with a gun. Okay, as much as I enjoy watching Nick squirm away from a challenge, I don't think this is a great idea. Hey, uh, you know what? Yeah, you're right. Maybe I should just uh, give Nick the Butter Pops as like an act of charity or something. Butter Pops. Is that like... Uh... Fine, you're on. Yeah, boy! <laughs> oh, shit. That's not good. What's the equivalent? Jacob, hand me that gun now. I mean, nobody's handling any firearms if you're gonna act like a dick about okay, it. Okay, then you can be the ref. We need an objective third party. Okay, we're trying to get a party started here, Jacob. Okay, well, the main party's not gonna die just because you're off on a little side quest. Come on. Please. Did she load the, she loaded up the shotgun. All right. Yeah. I guess we're gonna have ourselves an old-fashioned shootout. Yeah. Look, there's a clearing we can use as a shooting range back there, but if I see either of you dicking around, I am turning this car around. Oh, uh. we'll be good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, w w what's the equivalent of Butter Pops of, of like real life? Like what snack? Like Reese's Pieces or, or, or like Cheetos? Okay, so just so you know, I was an expert marksman, <clears throat> third class, three years in a row, went highest in camp each year. I'm just letting you know that your goose is cooked, Nick, but if you back down now, I might let you just have one little peanut butter butter pop if you're lucky. No way. You've never even seen me shoot. Yeah, that's because you've never shot before. Yeah, not that you know of. <laughs> okay, I think I would know if okay, you actually... Okay, boys, I'm going to have to stop you right there. As much as I'm enjoying your charming machismo, the moment we step foot on the shooting range, we're playing by my rules, okay? And what I say goes. Got it? Okay, good. Now I'm going to go set up some targets and get more shells. Do not move a muscle or touch his gun until I'm back. Thanks. So is it just me? Is it kind of hot when she gets all bossy like that? I'm always hot, pencil deck. Yeah, okay, thank you. Bye, bye. Carnival two rows, yeah. So, um, how's your little one-on-one -on -one with Abby in the woods? Uh, hopeful. It was, it was okay. Hey, out of boy. So, I mean, what happened? Well, we flirted a little. She's. Really smart. Yeah. Mm, yeah. I mean, you see the deal? Don't be gross. No, 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 no. Hey, look, no sweat, okay? We all get performance anxiety sometimes. You just better make your move before a real man swoops in. Speaking of, let me show you how a real man shoots his gun. Are you guys seriously still thumping your chest at each other? No, I think he's got brain damage. <laughs> okay, please, just give me the gun. Uh-uh. You'll have it when I say you'll have it. All right, huddle up, boys. This is how we're going to do this. You're shooting the one on the left. Nick first, then Jacob's turn. Keep your fingers off the trigger till you're ready to shoot. You got it? Aye, aye. All right. Two things. Oh, God. This Remember the spread. Remember the recoil. This is a shotgun. We're not sharpshooting here. The flashlight shows you where you're aiming. Oh, shit. This is going to be bad. Someone's going to die. 
I'm sorry to have to say, there may well be times during your stay at Hackett's Quarry where you'll have to defend yourself using potentially deadly force. When engaging in combat, simply aim your weapon and shoot where the flashlight is pointed. Take note, if you're up close and personal with your target, you'll do more damage. The farther away, the larger the spread, and injuries may not be fatal. There's a time and place for the use of weapons, and you may want to consider all your options. Remember, it's not always wise to pull the trigger. That's how people get hurt. Okay. We're totally gonna, we're gonna mess up this playthrough. Yeah, they keep on. Wait, what did she say my target was? Shit, I forgot. Left side? Alright. Screw it. Alright, Nick. One point. Okay. Okay, we're too far back to do any real damage. Let's scooch forward a little and uh, fuck these guys up. Okay. <laughs> Alright, Nick. This time for real. Shot. Lucky. <laughs> I don't know how you can miss with a shotgun. Like like this. Can I hit two? Hit two at the same time? Oh, yeah, never mind. Point to you, Nick. Good job, Nick. Alright. Let's see what you got. Alright. You might want to uh Avert your eyes, Nick. I don't want to give you any more performance anxiety. Nice. Finger all right, was over the trigger right. that whole time. Shoot, Jacob. I thought you were an ultra elite pro marksman. Yeah, with like a rifle. Whoa, okay, dude, not with this freaking cannon dude, blaster. That is how you get someone shot. God. Nah, it's okay. You probably would have missed me anyway. Fuck. Hey. Okay, disqualified for being a dumbass. What? No. Let's <sighs> be friendly. Sorry, Jacob. Better luck next time. <laughs> Better luck next time? Hey, I didn't want to say it, but... <laughs> he pointed the gun crazy. at both of them. Holy shit. And his finger was on the trigger the entire time. Blam. We thought this was over? What the... Whoa. Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. Okay. Oh, okay, so we went through all the tips. I think this is where the game officially starts. Pretty sure. That was a lot of tutorials to go through. Okay. New idea. Party game. Uh, Come on, people. We might never see each other after tonight. Let's make some memories. Well, what do you have in mind? How about the ultimate game of secrets and lies, truth or dare, but Dylan style? Mm. Okay, house rules are someone asks you truth or dare, then you choose, and then you do. And there's no ifs, ands, or buts. So, like, normal truth or dare? Yes. So we can, like, make people kiss? If they choose dare, yeah. As long as everyone consents, of course. Cool beans. I mean, keep it in your pants until it's your turn, but... Well, who does get to go first? Well, it's house deals, so... Abigail. <laughs> truth or dare? You really dodged a bullet, huh? All right, here goes. 
Have you ever slept with anyone? Oh, oh I, um, I... Interrupt. Hey, take it easy, man. That's too far. Come on. I, I'm not finished. Um, <laughs> have you ever slept with anyone at this camp? <laughs> no. Nope. Sorry. All right, Abby, it's your turn. <laughs> All right, okay. Um, this is a perfect game to eat dinner, by the way. Uh, I don't have Abby, to do anything. Oh just pick someone. Oh, okay, okay. Um, uh, I don't know. Ugh, ding, ding, ding. Too late. My turn. Ryan, truth or dare? Oh. Da oh, dare? Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, because we don't want to just be all truth, 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 right? Dare. Okay. Give me what you got. Okay, Ryan. Your dare comes with a choice. Can't you do that? I can do whatever I want. <laughs> wow. And I dare you to kiss either Caitlin or Dylan. Wow. I mean, wait a minute. <laughs> both is off the table. I get Sorry. to wait a minute. I don't make the rules. I get to kiss you Brenda Song. But okay, let's do this. Oh my god. Oh my god. I get what I want. Let's go. Childhood dream. Caitlin, shall we? Damn. Always happy to please. No, oh, she was not happy about that. What? All right. Damn it. Who shall I pick? Well, uh, me and Jacob haven't gotten a turn yet. Good point. Caitlin? Caitlin. What do you say? Truth or dare? Truth. Yeah, truth. Let's see. Hmm. What did you want to be when you grew up? Ever hook up with Jacob? Mm, so mischievous. So you and Jacob go way back, right? Like since you were kids? Sadly, yes. Lame question, bro. Waste of a turn. You guys ever uh, get down to business together? When we were freshmen, I made Jacob let me practice French kissing on him. But it never went any further because he's a terrible kisser. And it was like kissing my brother. Yo, still love you, bud. <laughs> Okay, my turn. The truth of dare is, is literally, did you, did, when's the last time you had sex? And will you kiss Emma, someone? Dare. That's all it really is. Emma, so you have to kiss. I told you. Jacob? Or? Oh. Nick. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh well then. Um. Uh, sorry, Nick. This is not uh, even there, obviously. I don't know if that's a good this. idea. <laughs> I choose Nick. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. M? Um, seriously? Oh, shit. That's not good. Whoa. Oh. Nice. It was out of my power. I couldn't do anything, Jack. Guys! Wow. Wow. Thank you, Nick. Wow. This is He's how good. this is how people get killed. It's gonna happen. Damn. Wait a minute, like kissing my girlfriend, asshole. Uh oh. It was just a game. Hey, I'm nobody's girlfriend. The fuck it was. It was just a game. Yeah, the fuck it was, man. Uh oh. Jacob, grow up. <sighs> well, I guess I should probably go after him. You should probably go find Abby. Mm hmm. Wow. 
So, anybody want to play Parcheesi? What? What? <laughs> Why did these guys? Oh, these guys have their own theme song. <laughs> As always, delighted that you're here. Oh, no. So, then, what more has been found? Oh, shit, I didn't find anything. You return without any more of my cards. Yet you return nonetheless. Why is that, do you think? Damn it, dude. I can't help you without the cards. Oh. I want them found. I want them returned to me. Fuck. Please, my friend. I have a feeling it depends on the decisions you make instead of just looking around. That's all I have to say I'm for pretty now. sure. Secrets remain buried and the night grows darker. I'll see you again. You can count on that. Be careful. Where the wolves go, the ravens follow. Don't you care. Stupid game. What are we in middle school? Why should I even care? <laughs> anyway, I can kiss anybody. Stupid. Stupid. Oh, great. Where the hell am I? Oh boy. That's not good. That's not good. <clears throat> It is. Yeah. <clears throat> I can't see anything. I can't see a damn thing. Mm -mm. Nope. Let me go over here, though. Oh, what the hell? Weird camera change. Wait, where, not, where am I? What the heck was that all about? Let's go to the camera first. That way they know where I am. How many of these things are there? Okay. Just in case, you know? Evidence. I don't know what's scarier. Being out in the woods like this, hearing a ghost, or being uber convinced that that this game is incredibly realistic looking. Oh shit. Yeah, this is this is where I need to go. That's where I fell. So why don't we just go over there? <clears throat> oh my god, it's so dark. I can't see anything. Let's well just go down by the whoa, what the heck? Camera change. Where am I now? What am I looking at? Wait, what? Yeah, I wanna go over here. I can't see a goddamn thing. 
Chat, can you see anything? Cause I can't. Nope. Camera change. That means we're going the right way, I think. Oh shit. Let's go this way. back uh, let's not do it no, 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 no. let's not do it Daddy? Daddy? shit maybe I should have hide follow voice uh, no 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 we gotta hide I don't trust that nope nope Oh, someone's walking. You leave me alone! Whoa! It's just me. I'm okay. sorry. Hey. Um. Hi. You, uh. You ran off. Got a little intense. I think that game just got a little too intense for me. I... Yeah, I know what you mean. <clears throat> Direct. Let's play cautious. So, all that stuff back there. Oh my gosh. Emma really wanted to make Jacob jealous, huh? You think? I mean, yeah, why the heck else would she kiss me like that? True. I was just playing along. Yeah. It's just a game, right? Right. Kiss? Why? That would be uh oh. I don't think Emma was the mastermind here. <laughs> That's such a random time to kiss. That would make no sense. Well, Caitlin, all of them, I guess. But Besides, mostly Caitlin. Gotta keep eyes She's out. Sneaky. You know what I mean? Can't be <laughs> distracted by a kiss right now. Truth it is, a stupid game, right? Totally stupid, dismissive, apologetic. Maybe we show, maybe we show how we really feel. Nah, totally stupid. Yeah, totally stupid. Totally stupid. We're not 12. Who cares what anyone does or did? Right. Excuse me. Right. Besides, you never really get to kiss the person you want in these dumb games anyway. You know? Ooh. Hint, hint. Damn. Okay. You remember the second oh. or third day of camp when we were assigned to take our cabins down okay. to the island ropes course together? Now you go. Yeah, that was when we met. Mm hmm. Uh, do you remember that camper? That uh, oh. a little accident on the course. <laughs> he was so embarrassed. He thought his life was over. I had to take him to get cleaned up before anyone noticed. Mm. Well, except you, I guess. Thanks for not telling anyone. That wasn't actually. The first time we met. We met at orientation on the first day. We did? Yeah, There's like a million people. <laughs> um, but <clears throat> honestly, you kind of seem like a dick. I said hi and you barely acknowledged me. Shit. I'm sorry. I've seen most counselors make fun of their campers. Tease them a little. Jacob does it. Emma kind of does it too. You don't. I've had my moments. I'm not proud of some of the stuff I've done. Stop following Jacob's lead. 
everyone has their moments. I feel like I have to be so careful here. I don't think it would hurt to be understanding right now. Everyone has their moments. I think, I think it's okay. But a moment like that day at the ropes course, that's how I knew. Knew what? You know I wanted to kiss you. Oh, really? I didn't realize that. Oh. At the time. Uh-oh. There's movement. I'm not the best at expressing my inner emotions or whatever, but I I'm glad you told me. <clears throat> so... So I'm saying that I like you too, or whatever. <laughs> That's it. I'm starting my own dating website service. That's it. Now, now you kiss. Now you do. <laughs> hey, let's go. <laughs> uh oh, but we're both dead, aren't we? Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. Oh shit. I guess it doesn't matter. Should we look? Mm -hmm. It could be another warthog, though. No, oh, this isn't good. Get back. They run away. I think one of them, or, or maybe not. Maybe one of them could have died right there. I don't know. I personally think it was a bear. Oh, it was Is it a bear? It's yep. too fast. Night Toad, thank you for the prime sub. Appreciate it. It's a Wendigo. What the hell is that? What was that? Help, no, no, we gotta help Nick. The thing just got shot. Nick. Oh my God. There's another one. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh. It's literally a Wendigo. She left. No way she's leaving him? Really? Oh, shit. For real? Run and hide? I, 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 let's hide, let's hide, let's hide. <laughs> Shit, well that didn't work. Oh, I fucked it up! the tree okay fine oh god I mean okay okay okay, okay. oh god I can't see this stuff <laughs> I fucked it up am I supposed to oh I'm supposed to tap it oh shit okay god That didn't work either.
dude, it's literally a Wendigo. That wasn't too bad. I mean, I'm still surprised I just sort of like bailed on the guy, but somebody was shooting. Truth or dare. Oh damn. It's a fun game. I never want to stop by so stupid. You flick a light can it make you scared to breathe. And if I fall and I'll be falling <laughs> <laughs> That's probably okay. It's cutting me so deep, hopper close. Now the burn I won't run. If I wake up here next It's only worth it if it hurts. He's probably okay. Damn, we're doing the, We're gonna do the uh, solo dolo. Technique needs work. Hey, uh, yeah, I guess you're done, huh? Of course. Sneaking down here was a little more fun when we thought we could get caught, huh? Yeah, I, uh, I guess. Jacob, I thought we agreed that this, us, was just supposed to be some summer fun. <clears throat> yeah, no, no. I know, I just... <sighs> you just love having an audience, huh? <laughs> Jacob. I mean, you do, I can't believe you, the, you fucking Frenched him. <laughs> you know, in front of everyone. Jesus wept. Friends, are we 12? No, but Nick is. Kind of. <laughs> you know, I love the guy, but I don't think he's actually ever seen a girl naked before. Well, I hate to break it to you, but he just had his tongue down my throat, and he definitely knew what to do with it. <laughs> Damn. You, you really love fucking with me, huh? Lighten up, Sour Puss, please. This Damn. is not how the night was supposed to go. What? You know what? Nothing. No. Nothing. Never mind. Fine. You can stand here, sulking. Driving yourself crazy imagining Nick's tongue in my mouth. Oh, come on. Or wow. you can go grab us some towels. Oh, oh damn. What do you need towels for? I'm gonna go skinny what? dipping. We agreed. Summer fun, right? Apparently, summer is not quite over. Okay. Tutti frutti summer. Let's talk with him. Found him? No. I guess you're gonna get all cold and shrivelly, aren't you? Well, just give me a minute. Look upstairs. <laughs> okay. So I have a feeling that there's gonna be like so many different. Oh, oh. the star. Wait. Where, where was it? What was I looking? Oh, right here. Oh, how do 
do I get that? Oh, okay. I don't even have to be close to it. Perfect. It's, just, it's the star. Stars in the night sky. Beacons of light. Dreams of hope. Purpose. Or a reminder of our insignificant sphere of despair. Trust in the light of the star. With it comes clarity and sometimes proof. Okay. Look around a little bit more. There might be something I might be missing out on. That was actually, that was actually really easy to find. Huh. Four months on. It's not long ago. Hydra's still missing. North Kilk is that? Wonder if it was near here. Hold on, I want to read that. Hold on a minute. Uh, clues. We see news paper about two hikers who went missing in these woods as of the day of publication. They haven't been found. Whatever these posters are doing in Chris Hackett's possession, he must have forgotten to take this one down. Interesting. So I guess there was like a traveling circus around the woods. What's that? Interesting. What are these like things on the ground? Oh. Chacket and Thacket, huh? Oh, well, Chacket must mean Mr. H. Chris Hackett. Oh. Made a camp photograph from the 1970s according to the name printed below. Two of the boys uh, in the picture appear to be Hackett's. Okay. Who the hell is Thackett? Thackett. Thackett. Let's keep going. No, I don't think there's going to be anything over there. It's just... It's just pitch black. Interest. Okay, let me check over here first. Hmm. Oh, these numbers. Manageable but unsustainable. Oh, yeah, yeah, let me take another look at it. 2016, 2017, 2019, 2021. 2017 is is written in red. Do not jump in after them. Sail over and retrieve them from water. All cameras must be worn life jackets. Blah, blah, blah. Manageable but unsustainable. What does that mean? Gotta be something around here. No, I'm gonna miss. Maybe something on the rocks. <coughs> oh, what's that? Oh. Oh. Someone up there. Hmm. I knew it. Yeah, I'm gonna go with probably everything's fine. Let's try that window again. Let me take another look. Oh, the light's not on anymore. I wonder if there's like another thing. No? Okay. <sighs> there's no towels. Zero. You did. <laughs> what the hell? Get back down here, Jacob. 
call me a dick. What the hell? What the fuck? I got the card, which is good, but is there anything else I'm missing? I don't think so. <clears throat> I'm gonna go onto the street, see if I miss out on something over there. Or out on the path. There might be something over here. I notice it seems brighter now. See? I told you. <sighs> Looks like somebody didn't put their oars away. She's still wet. Still wet. Mmm. Interesting. Call me a dick, though. What the hell? What the hell? <sighs> okay, well, I guess we could just like oh, drip dry, or you, know, you could shake it out doggy style. Wow, you really know how to talk to a girl, don't you? <laughs> Look, you can't just pretend that it didn't happen. <gasps> oh, but I can because. You see, oh, help, help, I'm, I'm Wow, that was fast. I, I need a big, strong, not at all insecure man to come save me. <laughs> Ask Nick. <laughs> oh, accusatory. Damn. Well, you know, he's, you know, he, he's gonna, he's still gonna, you know, fall for her, so. Let's go with enthusiastic. But then again... He is pretty beaten up about it. He is. So. He is pretty beaten. He was crying about it. But he was going up, He was going for the towels. You know, he's, he wants to do. He wants to go into the lake with her. So I think eventually he would just be like, oh, okay, let's just, let's just go. Let's just go. I think, I think realistically that's what he would do. Okay. What's this? A female in need? Fear not, fragile thing, for Hurricane Jake is here! Cannonball! That's what he, that's what he wants. Cold, cold, cold. Oh, cold. Oh. Hurricane Jake? It's not the promise sent, but I'm sure this room is Oh, okay. Okay, now you're gonna get it. See? <laughs> <laughs> hey, bitch! Oh, stop being a splashback. Might as well. Uh, attack! Picture of me. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, for your like um, little subscribers or whatever, top ten guys who will keep you satisfied at summer camp. Oh boy. Oh, so I get nine more? What? Uh, 
<laughs> oh shit. Ivan help Abby. Emma! Jacob! Over here! Did you hear that? What? Uh, it was like a, like a scream. And it, it sounded like Abby, but like not the good kind of scream. I can't hear you. Okay, look, just, just hold on. I'm gonna go check it out. What? Seriously? She's dead. She's totally a goner. Or she may be safe. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. <sighs> oh, Ryan now. That was some mighty fine social disruption there, Caitlin, I have to say. Ah, or was it just the nudge that Abby needed? You're an evil genius. Who do you think is gonna make the first move? Nick or Abby? Ooh, good cue. My bet's on either. I don't know, Nick's got the beast in him. Uh, if by beast you mean some sort of mild-mannered baby deer. Hey, don't let that cute, preppy aesthetic fool you. It's like a steel barbecue grill under that shirt. <sighs> <laughs> so you noticed that too, huh? So, what do you guys want to do now? We can keep playing. Yeah? Just the three of us? All right, Dylan. Really? Truth or... I sound like Abby. Oh. Oh my gosh. Uh, we gotta help her. <laughs> Wait, where did it come from? This way. Come on. Why is he not going with them? Abby! Help! Please! Nick! Help him! What happened? Where's Nick? Where's Nick? Where's Nick? I... Go after Nick! Go! You should do it. I've got this. Okay. I've got this. That shotgun's got a hell of a spread. Be careful. Oh, shit. Okay, okay. All right. I mean, he did... He did practice shooting with it, so... so I think it's safe to say it... it, it it's in good hands. Follow path, take shortcut. Ooh, let's just follow the path. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. Oh! Oh, shit! Oh! I did it, though! Oh, sorry. My bad. My bad, dude. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Ouch. He's got this, right? Just follow the path. Honestly. It's literally like... What the hell?
Oh shit. He's okay. Kinda. But he's not dead. Holy crap. I I could have shot him. He's alive. Yeah. No one's dead. Stupid. 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 And everything is Jacob. Oh, No shoes, no shirt. There's a half-naked girl waiting for you back there, Jacob. What are you doing? Okay. Ouch, that's gotta hurt. That's just a warthog, right? No, 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 don't call. Just chill. So what worse that's like such a bad time to Hello? call. Wait, he still did it anyways? I guess it wouldn't have mattered. Oh. Shit. All right. What the hell? Fuck are you? Let me down. Yeah, let's just plead. Oh, please, please, man, just, just let me down, okay? Just, don't hurt me, please. Who is this guy? Oh, Jesus Christ! What the fuck are you doing? God, son of a bitch! Throw dirt? Why would I want to throw dirt? Helps if you close your eyes. Oh, oh. What are you doing? Shh. Stop. Help. Shh. Help. Tastes bad, don't it? It's for your own good. Yeah. Where are you off to now, girly? I'm so confused, man. I don't what know the what the fuck. I'm so confused. What the fuck? Uh. What the hell? <clears throat> Why did he? Seems like just a blink, and you're back to see me again. So, then. What have we got? I did find a card this time. It's the star. Stars, stars in the night, sky. Beacons of light, dreams of hope, purpose, or a reminder of our insignificance. Fear of despair, trust in the light of the star. With it comes clarity. And sometimes, truth. Remember, 
There's always more than meets the eye. Would you like me to show you? Yes. All right, so here's a clue. Takes a picture. Takes a picture. Flashing picture. Hmm. Back to it then. Back to Hackett's Quarry. Hmm. Back to Hackett's Quarry you go. Oh, the fun you'll have. Hmm. Maybe that means do not take a picture of it. Don't don't take a flash picture of it. That'll probably just agitate it like crazy. It just it just showed. It it was, I, I, I don't even Her know what it was. Her taking a picture, but I didn't it show what would happen and, afterwards. And there was a, uh, there was Hambo, a thank you for the prime sub. It was just... Welcome, Hambo. Appreciate it. Thank you so much for all the oh, give the Abby. subs and all the subs, folks. Thank you so much for all the support. Here. What? Welcome. Oh, try drawing. Drawing what? Oh, uh, can you draw what attacked you? Maybe do. Yeah, that's true. Maybe do, maybe don't. <laughs> but he's alive, dude. I think oh, I think I picked the right decisions. <laughs> I think I did. Nick, hey, buddy. Can you tell us what happened? I'm a little attacked. Where's Abby? He's super out of it. Excuse me. We need to know what happened. All right. There was... There was a guy there, but... There was some kind of... Some kind of animal... What the hell? What the fucking kind of animal does this? Hmm, interesting. Did I, did I get, is, is Abby? Yeah, hey, she, hey, she's okay, dude. She's right over there. Because teeth were on top of me. I think it was a bear. Full size bear would have crushed him. There's no way. I, I thought we don't get bears right here. Oh, fuck. Oh shit! That black stuff—that's that's infection. That's and it's it, it's spreading. This is bad. This is really bad, dude. Apply pressure. An infection? No, no, fuck it. Ryan, we should amputate. We should cut it off before the infection spreads. It's affecting that fast, though? Why? Why would we do that? I don't know, man. I thought we did that black stuff. I thought it would take what, a lot longer than that. What do you think it is? Do I look like a doctor? Okay, so he's just guessing what it is. I can't remember much. I mean, I don't even know black what I saw. Stuff. Holy shit. Ooh. I think we should just call out. Yeah, yeah. Hey! You got a gun! And I know how to use it! Sort of. Ryan, what if it's Jacob or Emma? What if it's not? <sighs> Be careful. I can't see shit. It was probably nothing. Yeah. But is it gone? Yeah, you better run. <laughs> Very brave. All right. So, uh, Lodge is sounding pretty good right about now, yeah? It's right there. I see it, kind of. No, 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 no. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! Oh. <laughs> I'm here to save you. <laughs> Holy shit. Nick. Is he okay? Nick and Abby were attacked. In the woods. Hey, does anybody have any dry clothes? I'm, I'm fucking freezing. All our bags are still in the minivan. <sighs> Fuck, of course they are. What happened to you? Where's Emma? Oh, yeah, where's Emma? Or what happened to you? 
Yeah, I mean, I think I think the logical question is, where's Emma at this point? Jacob, where's Emma? Oh, fuck! Oh, Jesus Christ! Um, I I left Emma on the island, and I told her I'd be right back. Ouch! Wait, the island? Yeah, why? Oh, no, I just I just thought I saw someone over there before. Someone? Emma's dead. Gigi's. No, uh, Gigi's, you know, man. I, I don't know. It's, it's probably not. I left her out there alone. Well, I think we're gonna head to the lodge. Gigi's. Also, why are you covered in what I hope is strawberry jelly? Oh yeah, no. Um, I'm pretty sure it's blood. It was this guy with like a he had like a bottle thing. I don't know, dude. It's like a really long story. Ew. Yeah. No, it's super fucked up. I gotta go get Emma. Uh, excuse me. Hey, I need this, okay? It's not safe out there. Dude, we gotta protect Nick and Abby. Yeah, and I need to save Emma, all right? She's out there alone. You don't even know if she's in trouble. You don't even know if you're in trouble. Are you trying to piss me off? No, I'm trying to save my girlfriend's life, asshole. Yeah, I don't think she's your girlfriend, dude. Oh. What? Oh, no. Yeah. Something's gonna happen. Oh, no, no, no. Don't let go. If I let go, something's going to... Oh, but it's, it's almost dead. Oh, my fucking God. Why is his finger on the trigger? Oh. No, fucking stop. Jesus we're Christ, We're in a real dude. mess here, guys. You're acting like pricks. Both of you. Jacob, we're keeping this. Nick and Abby are injured. We need protection. There's someone around here. <laughs> Ryan. Sorry. <laughs> this is bullshit. Make sure she's safe. If she's on the island, she's definitely fine. <laughs> and what? Risk another uh, run in with Captain Deliverance? No thanks, okay? There's probably another boat by the zip line. Either way, I can make it to the island from there. We need to get back to the lodge. Try to get help. How? Nick can't walk properly. Wait, I have an idea. Okay. I have a feeling if I did let go, something would have happened again. I I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm doing all the right decisions. I don't. I mean, I hope I am. But. Okay, let's see what tonight brings. <clears throat> Emma. Okay, here's a riddle for you. What's got two thumbs and is suddenly riding solo on a freaky island in the dark? This fool. <laughs> well, one thumb, one available. Um, okay. And it was here, on this strange, uninhabited island, that this brave young soul found herself. Okay, full disclosure, I've suddenly found myself on a, a strange, tiny little island, all alone, with nothing to do but show you guys around. So. There's a tree house over there. I'm gonna go and see if I can't dish out some of that sweet, sweet panoramic goodness. Yeah, I don't I don't think I'm I don't think I'll be able to save her. I don't because think here's so. the thing. Not that I wanna go back because I don't, but even if I did, I can't, because then I'd look like the super needy one when he was the one who who stormed off in the first place. God, you know what? Sorry, I'm bending. Oh, explore bending. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. To the tree house, fellow explorers. <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Well. I'm, I'm sure this is going to be Chad's favorite part. No prizes for guessing what these are. Can't say that I've used them. A little too all natural for me, TVH. You know, I've never thought about where the waste goes. Oh. Water. oh, please, God, no. Okay, we're going to just go ahead and ignore that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I got to say, these cell phone flashlights... Strongest flashlights I've ever seen. My flashlight is not even that strong. This is like a fucking. This is like a, a, a floodlights, man. Damn. And this 
is the meeting shelter. It's a shelter where you meet at. Okay, I'm trying really hard to make this interesting, but sometimes a thing just is what it is. She's getting all the... I she, think I made my point. She's getting like the Monday, the Tuesday, the Wednesday video, you know? Now she's going to start working on the Thursday video for YouTube. Make sure it's all scheduled. She doesn't have the IRL pack, so she has to record these and post it up bit by bit. So this island is like an unexcavated part of the quarry that rewilded itself after it flooded into the lake. Pretty cool, huh? You know, when I was little, I used to think that islands just kind of would float in the middle of the water, kind of like an airbed. But I'm older and wiser now and realize that not everything's always as it seems. Kind of like how you thought you were just having a hot summer fling and then it turns into babysitting a big hairy man child who's all sad because you don't want to go steady with him and write him love letters every freaking day and while we're talking about it you don't mind that we're talking about it right why why is it up to me to justify my feelings when he's the one who got all blah about it you know <sighs> oh look the metaphor in the narrative by mean of fork in the road how fitting. Here's the big question. Do I take the high road, literally, and forget about it? Or do I continue on the path I'm on and keep ranting about my stupid dumb life? I guess since this isn't live, the choice is up oh, to Oh shit, there's someone right behind her. There's someone right behind her. Someone was literally right there. Oh shit. No, she's she's not alone. She's definitely not alone. It looked like a person just kinda like watching her. It didn't look like a It's like over there somewhere. Let me see here. No. Okay. Should I go up high, go to the treehouse, or stay on the path? Hmm. Well, I mean, hmm. Well, well, there was some goofy stuff happening on the treehouse, so why don't we play it safe? Ah, oh, what the hell? We're in it now, anyway. Well, and truly in the thick of it. Because you know what else? I was really excited for the next part of my life. You know? I mean, the summer was great, but what's next? I mean, come on. <laughs> I know. By the time I post this, Hackett's Quarry will just be but a distant memory, and. You know, it's just one night, and you have to make the most of all your opportunities, and yada, yada, yada. I guess... I just don't want to have to settle for what's around me, you know? Maybe I should have gone up, actually. <laughs> Abby sees me as this confident person, but really? Maybe I should have gone up. I'm just desperate to stay afloat in a world where everyone wants to be different. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe I should have gone. I don't know. There was some Maybe we'll just take a look at this way. I don't know. I don't know. There, there was something there. <sighs> what do you think here? What would be the safest route here? If I went upstairs, would this thing follow me? If I kept going the path... <sighs> I don't know. I feel like both are just as dangerous. I need time to think here. What do I want to do? Someone is following her. Ground floor. I might die. Screw it. I might die. I don't know. We'll see. I just... I don't know. Just... <sighs> Fuck. Arr.
No, 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 no. We're going down. We're going down. No, no, no. We're going down. Yeah, we're going to go down. We're going down. We're doing it. We're doing it. I feel like this is the first time I've been alone all summer. Kind of like it. I guess that kind of reinforces the whole Jacob thing. I know the plan was for him to come get me, but now that I'm by myself, kind of like it. Sorry, Jacob, if you're watching. Nothing personal. It's a me thing. We're cool, right? Yeah, we're cool. Actually, no, we're not cool. Reflective. It's better as a memory. Excuse me. I mean, who knows? Maybe in 50 years we'll bump into each other and be flooded with fond memories of that one amazing summer at Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. And that spark that changed our lives forever. Then we'll be like... 70 year old lovers or whatever and have crazy walker sex <laughs> hey it could happen only time will tell jakey boy and as they say time makes fools of us all but we will be the oldest sexiest fools there ever were <laughs> until then i gotta do my thing sorry buddy yeah i thought something was gonna happen you should ask us where to go? Hell no. No, I'm going with my own gut with this one. Fuck that. No offense, but fuck that. <laughs> hmm. Thinking about it, how could this have been Mr. H when he was back at the lodge? Mm. That's right, the smoke that they saw earlier. Quoth the raven nevermore. Box of matches from the Harbinger uh, Motel. A few matchsticks have been snapped off. There are marks on the striking surface. Okay. That's where that one cop was saying in the beginning of the game. Get to the hotel first. North Kill. You will wish you stopped by. Okay. Oh, look at that. There's a ladder that leads right up to the treehouse. Huh. Interesting. I'm going to keep looking around, though. See if there's anything else interesting over here. Oh, I can't see anything. I'm like so zoomed in. Okay. Man, you know it would be awesome if I just swam back over there to join the others. That would have been nice. I guess maybe I am just supposed to go up on the ladder then. Probably. So there's nothing here. Literally nothing here. But I guess she's not going to do that no matter what. So, Ugh. I know this is the uh, chat's least favorite character right now. But I am going to still try to keep her alive. So I guess we do have to go back. We have to go up the ladder. So that that's kind of means something, right? You don't go up the stairs, but eventually you 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 know you get to a ladder, right? It's got to mean something. 
Maybe this was the right choice after all, perhaps. Or maybe it wasn't. Is there anything over here? No, I don't think so. Okay, let's go. <sighs> I guess I gotta do this one handed, huh? That didn't sound great. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh god. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Just thought you should know. I am nailing this ladder climbing. <sighs> okay. Just one TTE, thank you. Alright. This is the luxurious Skyway Treehouse, obviously. Constructed in the year 180 fuck by a blindfolded man who used only the finest rotting wood, rusty nails, and donkey spit that money could buy. I guess, a real Hackett vintage classic. I guess you're always supposed to get to this place. Honey, I'm home. What's that now? I forgot the children's bedtime. Oh man, she's totally well, pushing now, it, dude. That's a fine how do you do. She's she's super oblivious of everything. There's like no danger. Take it all in, folks. That's the summer camp experience right there. And oh look, it seems somebody forgot to clear the place out. I guess one of the kids left their stuff, or maybe one of the guys back there. But I don't recognize this. Did you hear that? Looks like we have a choice on our hands. Do we snoop through someone else's belongings? Or do we open the spooky trap door and die a horrible, painful death? There are literally no right answers. Open trap door, search bag. God. It, 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 she makes it so hard to, to pick anything because it's like she, she doesn't give a damn, right? So she has literally no, she has like no, no, like uh, what was the term for it? She has like no, no zero understanding on the matter of like how dangerous this could be. She's treating it like a joke. So when that happens, I have no idea what to do. Search the bag or open the trap door. Uh, Dab and Shuffle, thank you so much for dropping a free prime sub in the chat. I appreciate it. Thank you. Damn it. I feel like this is going to be a, a this is this is going to be a 50/50. Because I <sighs> She's just not careful at all. So, ah oh, man, what should I do? Okay, so she's like, "Did she open the door, die there a horrible death or go through someone's bags that I don't recognize?" I'm gonna, you know what? Since she's kind of not taking the matter serious, I'm gonna go against what she's sarcastically saying. So I'm gonna open that trap door. We may get our first death here, or maybe this is probably the best play, but I'm opening that trap door. So let's see what happens. Goodbye, cruel world. The final curtain is calling and there's no time for an encore. Well, well, easy. I got it. He's okay. Are you in pain? No, no, sorry. I'm just, I'm really hungry. We'll get you some food inside, okay? Oh, 
man. I could eat a horse. Well, I don't know if we'll be able to find you a horse, but maybe some granola. Oh, yuck, I hate granola. <laughs> Strength. I'm clicking. Oh, okay. Strength. Strength can be surprising knowing one's own raw power. Tapping into a previously unknown energy, I suppose, are our forces at work within us all. And with one hand, it gives, and with the other, it could rip away. This will open the nurse's station. Should be plenty of stuff in there. Well, hopefully we can just get him cleaned up for now. I'll get you something neat. You and I are going to find a landline. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, isn't there one in Mr. H's office? Yup. We'll come meet you. Copy that. Do you think, do you think it has their scent? I hope they're going to be okay. Do you think it has their scent? I'm cautious. Do you think that whatever attacked them out there is, I don't know, has their scent or something? What? I don't know, like, what if it got a taste for blood and now it's gonna track them down? I... I doubt it. <laughs> I just feel like if we stick with them, we're sitting ducks. I don't know. I really don't think that whatever attacked them out in the woods is gonna get into the lodge. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you're, you're probably right. <sighs> Come on, let's go call for backup. Yeah, but that's what they thought in Until Dawn and they still got in. It's pretty weird to see this place so dead. You never came down here at night while camp was in session? What? No, did you? A couple times, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Where are you going? I, I... I... I thought I just heard my name. I didn't hear anything. Hmm. I don't know. I I feel like that death. I think Nick's injuries are as bad as we thought. Was like supposed to happen. Like it was gonna happen. You don't know that. Yeah, he's got to be paranoid, of course. We don't know that. No, it's true. Caitlin said. So all I'm saying is that we are not professionals. Okay, we don't know. We he could have rabies or something. Way to be <laughs> optimistic, man. I'm just being realistic. We gotta call for help. Ryan is losing help. Who should I call? Uh, Mr. H? The only number I got is to this phone. Okay, then 911. You mean 911? Who says 911? <laughs> I don't know. I... Anyway, yeah, but like, what should I ask for? Like, police? Ambulance? Huh. Ask for an ambulance. Do we have to be specific? Call the cops. I mean, it might, I mean, you might as well. Let's call it off. Cops. With guns. We need a lot of backup out here. So they'll say, 911, what's your emergency? And then I say, uh, help. My friends may have been attacked by a bear, or maybe not a bear, but definitely an animal with teeth. And we're, we're not sure how many there are out there or how smart they are. So it's very possible they might be mounting an attack on us right now, and we really need backup. Yeah, yeah, that's that's good. Okay. Nine one one. Oh, what's wrong? Dead. Well, I mean, the cops should still get there anyways, right? I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Like, if even if you call the number and you hang up, like they'll still show up to your place or something. I guess on a landline, yeah. Maybe not on a cell phone, but true. Didn't hang up. That's weird. Well, that's weird. Phones go dead sometimes out here. Right, when you're about to call the cops, though? It's just a coincidence. Did you try the hang-up thingy? What? Here. 
What are you doing? I don't know. It's what they do in movies when the phone goes dead. Tap on the little thingy. We're not in a movie. Okay. Well, you know, how do you know that? Maybe that's just what they want you to think, man. <laughs> Jeez. What the hell? Okay, so this phone's a no-go. No one has signal. Is there anywhere else in the camp that has a landline? Well, not a landline. What? The radio hut has some old broadcast gear. Where, where you do your announcements? Where I curate my sweet summer jams, yeah, and where I do the PA announcements. It has some old equipment there. I think we could probably break something up and get a message out. All right, yeah. Let's, let's head over there and see if we can contact somebody. Put that back, Dylan. <laughs> Gotta be crazy. Only temporary. I will put it back when we're good and safe and help is on the way. Uh, okay, just careful with it. I'll be fine. Extra gun's nice. So. Okay. Uh, it's It's... Probably the weather. <laughs> what weather, Ryan? Maybe, maybe it was the bears. Bear. And why does everyone blame everything on bears? Okay, so for the sake of argument, what if that bear that uh, cut our phone line and just cut out all the power, what if that bear is waiting for us out in the hallway? Fair point. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Time to load up. We should probably tell Caitlin that we're going to the radio hut. They're probably freaks. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's go. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, we should probably leave that with Caitlin. He's waving it everywhere. Makes me nervous. Does she need it? Give her your gun. Do you think she really needs it, though? Uh, she needs it just as much as we do. She's staying in the lodge. We're going out there. You literally just said there might be something dangerous in the lodge. When? Like 20 seconds ago. Okay, sure. But that's because I really wanted the gun. Just give her the gun, man. Keep the gun, give the gun. No, just keep it, keep it, keep it. Uh, keep it, keep it, keep it. No, fuck that. I'm keeping it. Dude, if those hunter guys come back, she's basically a sitting duck in here. You're being really selfish right now. It's not a good look on you. No, I'm just being safe. I can't believe you're being such an asshole right now. <laughs> look, you don't tell me what to do, man, okay? <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's it's not gonna happen. What are we even, what are we even talking about? Just give her the gun. We don't need it. We already have a gun. <laughs> Fuck. Give her yours. Finished. Hmm. It's a little frustrated. <laughs> Are you finished berating me? Well, I could go on, but please take your turn. <sighs> Look, I know that you're Mr. Large and in charge in a crisis, and that's great, but I finally feel like I have one piece of control over the situation, and you want me to give that up, and that's just brutal, dude. It's, it's not worth having this argument with you. Well, you started it, man. Oh. Am I interrupting something? Awkward. Chin up, big guy. It, I wouldn't really know what to do with it, okay? Oh. I trust you. You gave it anyways. Oh, thank you so much, Dylan. You're so generous and handsome. Yeah, no problem. Don't mention it. Oh. So, I guess it didn't really matter after all. I guess. Yes. Oh, good to see you. Good to see you. <sighs> A time again, is it? It's just 
strength. <laughs> strength can be surprising. Knowing one's own raw power, tapping into it, tapping into a previously unknown energy. I suppose there are forces that work within us all. And with one hand it gives, and with the other it could rip away. As always, there's more to see. And as always, the choice is yours. Would you? Maybe like it was to a fake choice. I don't know. I, I'm not too sure. Hard to tell if you don't play the game over and over again to see all the choices. From the blood, guy with the shirt. Oh, oh, something's happening. He's strangling. Wait, what? So it's <sighs> goodbye again. Wait, what? I'll leave you with this. Remember who your friends are. Remember who's looking out for you. Oh, damn. She did show me a clue about Emma, too, with her phone. But I couldn't tell what it was. It looked like, it looked like she was taking a picture or something. White noise. In my gameplay of Until Dawn, the, uh, the preppy girl died pretty much the exact same way as Emma did in this game. By herself, accidentally running into the Wendigo, and then... Hey... I couldn't find anything to eat. The kitchen's pretty cleaned out. Oh, shoot. I left my bag. I, I brought you this. I was... Fuck. I don't even know what happened. It was all just a blur. How are you feeling? Uh, compassionate. Grateful. How are you? How are you holding up? I'm... Uh, well, I, I, I'm just happy. You're okay. Are you okay? I'm sorry. I, I just asked you that. I... It's okay. Hmm. All right. They're off to find a radio or something. What's with the, um... The... Oh, uh, we found another in Mr. H's office, so... Just in case. And what happened to the lights? Not sure. Any better? I'm doing okay. Kinda. Wait, are they going to the radio hut? Phone's dead. They're gonna try to send out an SOS or something. We're holding down the fort. Uh-oh. Speak up? No. Why would you ever want to speak up at a moment like that? You want to hear it. You want to listen to it. Always wanted to. You said Dylan and Ryan already left. Wait, stay here. I'll check it out. Uh, we'll be fine. Just be careful. Don't go. It's dangerous. How about we'll do reassuring? We'll be fine. Just be careful. Stay alert. Oh damn! Get him, Brenda. You don't want to. You don't want to fuck with Brenda Saw. She'll beat your ass. Mm-hmm. Damn, I feel like there's going to be a QT any moment. I feel like there's going to be one.
It's that guy. What the hell is he doing there? Well, this, I mean, he didn't kill, he didn't kill the, the, the other kid, right? So, he let him go. He covered him. Maybe I should have, maybe I should have showed myself, perhaps. No sign of him. When you find him, let him. And keep me posted, Bobby. Find a blood of. I'm gonna I'm gonna mess up on purpose. I'm gonna mess up on purpose. Oh, I guess it does, doesn't really matter. Huh? No, not gonna do it. Ah. <laughs> What the fuck? Nah, I'm not gonna do anything. Wait, why is he, uh... I'm not gonna do anything. I think I think that was the play. I think so. Hey, so this may not be like the best time per se, but like what? That might be. Yes. Yeah, so like I was just. I don't know why you know, he's not saying anything though. Start of summer and when we first met and started camp and well, like now that summer's over and you know is that like the last time we're gonna see each other? You know. Oh, sorry, Nick. What what are you saying? Don't worry about Caitlyn. I'm pouring out my heart here. Hey, don't worry about Caitlyn. She's tough. I know. I'm sorry, Nick. I'm just distracted. Let's just get through the night, okay? I thought things would go further. Maybe I was misreading the situation back there, but... Kind of felt like a little bit more was going to happen. Well, did you want a little bit more to happen? Oh. Are you dumb? Hey. What? Sorry. I just mean. Of course, I wanted it to happen. I just. What was that? Didn't know if you did too. That was that random outburst. What? That seems like such a long time ago now. <sighs> didn't want it to happen though. That was random. Uh, um. I you can tell me. Yeah, I, I guess. <laughs> Just saying that because I'm hurt. Nick. What? <sighs> what is going on out there, Caitlin? We have to hide. We have to hide. It's okay. I got this. Why doesn't he just say something? Oh my god. What happened? Jesus, where's the gun? We gotta get out. No, we have to hide. Run, hide. What's up with his eyes? Run. I got you, girl. <laughs> She's mine. What the hell? Oh, 
Okay, I'm glad I didn't go through with that. What is going on? <coughs> what the hell? <coughs> what the hell? So, the radio hut has like an actual radio? I thought it was just like for your morning announcements. Oh yeah, yeah, it used to be more of a actual radio station, actually. Um, uh, it, you know, I mean, it, it is still technically, but nobody brings their radio to camp anymore. Hmm. Yeah. It's weird, actually, that there used to be kids with their radio and their portable CD player and everything, and... I think, I know, think the nowadays, guy just doesn't know how to communicate, you know? Everything is on the phone, but Mr. Hackett takes like, it Like, he doesn't know how to communicate games, well. So with like other people like he probably has zero socialization skills technology it giveth and it taketh i think that's kind of so is is that something like that you want to go into camp radio no like uh dj or music or something hmm. oh um yeah i mean i like music but no it's not even in it's not even being oh hello. In, um, quantum physics just, he probably just Wait, grew up what? not never talking to anyone, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, you don't really seem like a science guy. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, not not here. Um, it's so dark. I probably missed out on like 19 different things that I could find. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm so completely fascinated by this. What do you mean by not here? Not here at camp. I do that at home. And then here, I, um... You're a wise, wise, cracking smartass? <laughs> uh, that's a little harsh, but... Um... No? Okay, so maybe I was a little nervous when I arrived in an uncomfortable social situation and I overcompensated a little bit by making a bunch of jokes. You played into it. Yeah, I mean, people kind of enjoyed the blasé Dylan. Uh, and do, do you enjoy the blasé Dylan? <laughs> Not yeah, like, you know, whatever, man, it's pretty cool, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like Dylan Dylan. Well, it's nice to meet you, Dylan Dylan. I'm Ryan Ryan. Well, actually, I'm. Let's get the fuck out of here, Ryan. Yeah, I like him. He's that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> okay. It is just so freaking dark. It is it, it is uber dark. All right, so we're back at the uh, back at the uh, the beginning of the camp. have to like really uh, pay attention to what's out here but it is just it's inhumanely dark right now it's ridiculous it's crazy how dark it is did i mention it's dark i feel like i didn't mention that yet I, I don't think the game would point to an area that's just like pitch black as a, as a point of interest. Oh. That's not good. Oh, never mind. Spoke too soon. Oh, man. I told the kids to look after this. It's three times older than they are. Why the hell did I do that? Why did he do that?
Let's see if anything's over here. If I could just walk over here. There we go. Oh god, this. Wait, wait. Did, it, did something just pop up? Never mind. It's just so hard to see anything. Sneaky the brains. Thank you so much for dropping a free prime sub in the channel. Welcome. Hope you enjoy your stay here with us. Hmm. Oh god, where am I? There's nothing over there. Okay, let me see if he has anything to say about it though. No, just the paths. Distraction. Remember the golden rules of hunting. Never dis never distract a hunter. Never make assumptions on what you see. And never become the prey. Jacob didn't distract the hunter. The hunter poured blood over Jacob's face. Trying to wrestling didn't shoot. Uh, I told him navigate through the woods. Okay. Pieces of silver. Okay. What else? Did, what else did I? Dylan, open the trap door. Loosen a rung on the ladder. Uh huh. Playing with fire. Emma chose to take the fireworks with her. Okay. Down the rabbit hole. Did all that. The rotor arm is lost forever. <laughs> I guess it doesn't tell me the piece of the story where she dies. But. Okay. Oh, you can see the scratch marks on the, on the cabin. A bunch of scratch marks everywhere. Claw marks. Large jagged claw marks on the wall of the radio hut. There might be something else. There might be something else. Merce44, thank you for the 34 months. Welcome back. Thank you very much for that. There's gotta be something else. Oh, ooh, ooh. Remember that vial? That stinky vial? That was up on the tree? Let's go check it out. Dolo GK, thank you so much for the 30... Uh, thank you for the 22 months, Dolo. Appreciate it. Oh, the devil. Ooh. The devil, without restriction, like a shout of torn from one's corporeal form. Pay close attention to act before the demons unleashed. Each of us have one, even those who, who are pure of heart and say their prayers by night. Oh, damn. It's a crazy card. Here we go. There we go. I remember that. I remember the vial being there. Oh, what in the name of voodoo do do is this? Keep it. Damn. Well, no reason to keep it, I guess. Should probably keep it. So I, I'm gonna guess that that thing is it repels the the. Uh, it repels whatever is like running around eating, like killing stuff. That's why I never came around these, uh, this camp. That's what I'm assuming at least. Makes sense.
didn't seem too interested in that at all. Yeah, I can't see anything. Oh, what's this? Letter to camp nurse. Chris Hackett has written a note to the camp nurse suggesting that she take the day off early. Surely that's a little irresponsible when the kids are around. So that's why Nurse Kelly went home early. I would have just kept that. Just fold it in and put it in my pocket. You can go ahead and take the day off early today. The bus is going to be a little delayed and I don't want you waiting around on my account. I'll make sure the kids get home without any bumps or bruises. Thanks for all your help this summer, Chris. Okay. Interesting. What else, what else is there around here? Yeah. So we don't know anything about about Mr. H yet, like other than the fact that he was trying to get the kids out. You know what I think it is? Okay, this is, I'm, I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna guess. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna guess the entire story of this game right now. So they have, they have this camp with a vial that protects the entire camp from those monsters coming down, but they have camps here to attract the monsters. So that way, when camp is over, all the kids leave, and then Mr. H and or whatever the hunters, they it's their job to take down those monsters every time. So they use the kids actively as bait to get those monsters in to provide them the hunt of those monsters. I'm, I'm just going to guess that. Why? I don't know. What the monsters? What are they? Probably some curse that Hack Hackett probably knows about the curse because of the traveling circus. Probably had a hag that put a curse on the thing, and he knows about it, and he hired a couple of hunters. And now, if he feels like it's his responsibility to fucking, you know, to, to, to kill those things that are kind of terrorizing the woods. That's my guess. So we'll see what happens. All good? And, um, and, and the cop in the beginning of the game was also in on it, but... You know, of the whole thing, but the, you know, the two teens, you know, right? The one I was controlling, kind of fucked up. But he he did oh, manage to kill this one. This is kind of a dump, huh? So. Okay, when I was a camper here, it was barely working. It hadn't been used for years, and it took me a really long time actually to get this place cleaned up and looking the way it is. So, I'm sorry if it's not up to your standards, but I've been putting in a lot of TLC. Okay. 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 Let me get this set up. Anything over here we can use? The power tools? No. Um, that's Mr. H wanted more storage, so it's kind of how he lets me keep the station going. <laughs> gotcha. So, uh, how far does it go? Oh, um, well, it was designed just to broadcast to the PAs around camp for announcements and to, you know, portable radios and whatever so I think the range is about a mile that's it don't think it'll help <laughs> how do you know this stuff a mile eh. how do you even know all this stuff uh, I just kind of picked it up hmm. the tech technical stuff has always been a little uh, hard for me to get a handle on. Well, if you like, I could show you the ropes. Like a class? Yeah, it's easy. Like climbing. Sign me up, teach. Anyways, this thing's gonna need a bit of a power up. Um, but that's where this comes in. Oh. It's supposed to be a signal booster. It's kind of janky looking, but worth giving a shot so we can actually talk to people with this thing yeah well it's not a two-way radio 
So, um, you know, we can talk, uh, but then the best we can do is switch it over to the receiver and see if anyone broadcasts anything back, which is unlikely, but... Well, it, I mean, it is what it is, I guess. Yeah. Mm. So, what should I say? Uh, just, like, make it sound urgent. Okay. Uh, excuse me. Hello, how's it going out there? This is, uh, w uh we need help. This is, uh, <laughs> we are counselors at Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. And there's been a horrible accident attack, some stuff bad here. We need your help. Uh, there is a swarm of bears, and they are everywhere. And there's these hunters, too, and they seem to be shooting at the bears, but also at us, um, which is not good. And a few of our friends are hurt, and um, we are in desperate need of help. So please, I mean, there's vicious bears, and uh, we don't know what to do, so please... Uh, come help us, SOS. Uh, this is uh, an emergency. S save our ship. Come on down, please help us. Yeah, I do good. Was that swarm of bears? <laughs> yeah. Herd of bears. Yeah, I've heard of bears, but. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> All right. I, I guess I should just like switch this over to the receiver and see if we get anything yeah, back. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna keep an eye out while you do all this uh... techie stuff. Okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Uh oh. Check it. Wait, did he did he say lodge? I don't know. Huh? Two males in the radio shack near the cabins. Another couple unaccounted for. Copy that. Um, now. It might not mean us. It's totally us. Holy shit! They're talking about us. How? Because we just. Hold them! On the fucking radio! Fuck! They know where we are, man. We can't stay here. Shit. Shit. Fuck. Hey, hey, Shit. Let's, let, let's stay calm, okay? Um, let's, let's go find Caitlin and everybody, okay? Okay, yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Fuck you! I wasn't sure. <laughs> I, I, I wasn't sure, man. Fuck, what the fuck was that? I have no idea. <laughs> oh, uh, Ryan? Is it a bear? I don't think bears can jump like that. They're coming toward us. We, we, we gotta warn them. Um, what about the PA? Up top? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, we can tell um, them to hide or something. Yeah. Uh, oh, fuck, no. Oh, shit. Uh, the... uh, hold the button. Uh, Caitlin, get into a building now. Do not come up here. There's an animal outside the radio hut. Get, in, uh, get into a cabin now. Go, go. Oh, fuck, dude. 
They're gone. Okay, path updated. Okay, I don't know if I was good or bad. Not too sure. What the hell? You think we can do? We gotta kill it. I mean, they do kind of have to kill it. Oh, God. I mean, they're going to be trapped, so they have to kill it. We got to kill it. That's not a normal animal, man. It's true. I don't think a gun's going to cut it. You got a better idea? Oh, shit. You got a better idea? Well, if it's got hearing like a, like a dog... Maybe uh, I mean we could we could play a really high pitched feedback loop and crank it to the max and uh, I mean it would hurt like hell but okay fine let's do it feedback I, I mean sure it's worth a shot it's worth a shot okay <sighs> okay come on Dylan let's do this. Um... Almost. I don't know if I should turn on the volume. It's going to be too loud for everyone else's ears. Take a breath. Calm, urgent, hurry. Let's just, let's just calm it down a little bit. Hey, Dylan, just take a breath. I'm sure you can figure it out. Okay, yeah, right. There's something missing. I, what's missing? Fix it. I'll cover you. <laughs> Do it now. Go quickly. What the fuck? Okay. Oh shit. Okay. Shit! Fuck! No. Okay, okay, okay. Just, just hang on, hang on. Oh. Uh, fuck. It has to be the chainsaw. I can't just shoot it off. Oh, but what if it doesn't have any gas in it? Just blast it off or cut it off. If this thing doesn't have gas in it. I mean, it should have. It should have some gas, right? Are you sure? Yes, fucking do it. Fucking do it. Oh, perfect. It does. Ah. Jesus. I, I, I think I should aim a little bit higher up on the forearm. Just a bit higher. Get the wire, get the wire, get the wire. What? Get the wire. The thing, get it. On it. Plug it, plug it into the thing. Oh, keep pressure on it. Ah. I just... I'd be freaking the hell out. I just got my hand sawed off. What do I do, what do I do? The button, the button. Ah, there we go. Oh, oh we blew the speaker. Uh, it did the trick. He's in shock. Uh, Not really able to nice do it. Nice work, Dylan. Really? <laughs> I thought being in shock was like freaking out. I have no idea. 
I, I legit have no idea. Oh, oh fuck my hand. Oh. 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 Just hold on. Why did you do that? <laughs> told me to. Oh, that was a bad idea. <laughs> Is it safe? You lost a fucking hand. We're okay for now. Some people get really calm on shock. So they'll just walk along the beach looking for their own blown off and just waltz. That's nuts. I think we're okay for now. We ran into one of those hunter guys. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, chase us out of the lodge. I he, think we well, lost him on the way up here. He's taking it very well. I think so. Not having a hand anymore. Great. Taking it extremely well. What the hell was going on? At oh my god, Dylan, what happened? Oh, um, is he still in shock? I'm okay. I, I, I mean, I'm not. Um, but it's it doesn't doesn't hurt. Pranthem, thank you for the 16 shock. months. Oh, okay. Holy fucking shit. Thank you for the 16 months. I appreciate it. Thing do Welcome this? back. No, well, sort of. It... Caitlin, where's your gun? I lost it. One of the friendly locals wanted to say hi. What the fuck? Did she shoot at us? Wait, who? Who in the world? Who's there? Who is that? What the? Who was she? Should we follow her? Woman with the eye patch? Uh, Big boss? I still don't know what shock is. Like, what, is this like in denial of what's happening? Or because it's just too crazy to oh, shit, comprehend? Dylan, I, I have that? no idea what it is. I have no idea. What the hell? Oh my God. Oh, that's, that's Emma. Your brain waves are protecting you from trauma. Oh, gotcha. They found Emma. Your brain essentially doesn't let you fully really feel what's happening. I see. Brain overload. Okay, that makes sense. But but the other one with the eye patch was running around, right? So. Was Emma like running around, you think? And then and then the, the hunter took her out, maybe? I really think the hunters are just like they're I think what they're doing is they're literally containing the infection. But they're also Oh, you're back. You know Looks like that's one less vermin in the world. They're bringing in the monsters they're baiting Let's them take out. A look once more. Okay. I think that's what it is. The devil, without restrictions, like a shadow torn from one's corporeal form. I don't know why it this reminds me of Tales from the Crypt. Before the demons unleashed, each of us have one. Even those who are pure of heart and say their prayers by night. I want to show you more. Would that be all right? We spend so much time looking toward the future. Uh. It's easy to forget that the past holds secrets too. Worth remembering that. Was that? So it's goodbye again. That was Abby. I'll be here. I'll wait for you. That was Abby's. That was Abby's head. Oh shit. Okay. I, I think this next chapter. I mean, we played this chapter very well, but the next chapter is gonna be tough. Oh shit. Prayers by night. Emma! Oh, he doesn't know. Yeah, he's gonna be he's gonna be nowhere near Emma. Oh. Fuck! Oh, man. God, this night sucks ass.
So I guess it is like, Am a, I, is like a curse. The hag's curse. I guess it is. Let's see here. Yeah, I didn't know that about. I didn't know what shock was. That that's very interesting. It's like a. It's like the brain's defensive capability, like mental defensive capabilities. Upon you seeing something like. Something incredi incredibly gruesome, I guess. That sense. I thought shock was just like, uh, you know, it's like he's going into shock. You know, like I thought it was just like, oh no, he's losing a lot of blood. This and that, this and that. You know what I mean? Like they make it sound extremely serious. It's a different type of shock. The body can go into shock as well. There's physical shock and mental shock. Mental shock is like a defensive, but physical sh physical shock is like the worst one, right? Body going into shock is different than mind going into shock. You can go into shock even if something isn't directly happening to you. Oh, I see. I don't know what the body going into shock is. Shock also helps a lot in survival situations. Interesting. Yeesh. He draws different chemicals like adrenaline. Physical shock is where the body starts to shut down. Oh, it shuts down functions to protect itself. I see. I see. I see. I see. And and then when the body, when the body like shuts down different organs, it's like it kind of saves you a little bit of time. But if you don't do anything about it, then you're basically like gonna die. Which helps conserve blood flow to the vital organs, but it'll also cause your uh, body to produce adrenaline, so it's very deadly. Oh, I see. I see. I see. It's kind of like, um, it's like, uh, it, it, it's, it's sort of like, uh, uh, it's like a, it's like a train, right? It, it's like a, it, it's like a train that kind of loses compartments, right? And, and you're, you're trying to shed more and more compartments, right? To, to gain more speed, but you lose all of the resources of each compartment, and then you're basically down to nothing. Or some shit like that. Eh, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a weird comparison. I know, but I, I understand. I understand. Okay. Okay. That makes, that makes a whole lot of sense. Yeah, I, I understand. It was just a bad comparison. Well, that bodes ill. Fucking hell. <sighs> okay, a footprint. Yeah. Someone's shoe. You know, I think all of this would have definitely been avoided if the hunters can fucking speak. <laughs> you know what I mean? If they can actually talk. Oh, someone's camera. That would be nice. Like, hey, we're here to help, you know. Let us put this weird blood on you so that way they don't get attracted to you. Memory card broken from broken dirty camera. Yeah, fight or flight, pretend hmm. yourself, yeah. Maybe there's something on here. Okay. This is one of the darkest games I've ever played. It's very, very dark. Oh, got it. Justice. Anything over here? All right, so the tarot cards are like bonuses to kind of help you 
avoid a certain situation that may happen during that chapter. I think that's all it is. So you don't actually... I mean, I think if you... If you just pay very close attention... You know, the, the part with Emma, with the whole open the trap door or look through the bags, that was probably the hardest thing because, again, she didn't take anything serious. Nothing serious. And so in my head, I'm like, okay, well, this is pretty obvious. You go in the trap door, you just basically die. But what if it's, what if the game is trying to trick you? And so I go by the emotions of the characters and Emma just did not fucking help one bit. Where the hell is she? Did not help one bit. Oh. Well, that's not good to see. Oh, shit. Holy crap. Oh. Oh, I would, I, that would probably would have been death right there if I messed up. Oh, shit. Oh, I can't mess up right here. And there's like multiples, right? Run or hide, hide or run, hide, run, run, hide, hide, run, hide, run, hide. So, so the blood on the face isn't doing anything. Well, maybe it is masking the scent. Maybe it only goes by the scent. I don't know. Oh shit. I should have left. I should have ran. Yeah, see, I don't think it matters. I don't think it matters because of the blood on his face. So, so, okay. So if I would have done the part differently with the hunters where they couldn't, where they couldn't put blood on his face, then I would have died right there if I messed up. That would have been it. So, so the blood on the face gave me like a pat, like a pass. Oh. Okay. I get it now. Uh-oh. Oh, that's bear traps. Oh, they're bear traps. Oof. Get hit by one. Ow. Pull free. Well, you gotta pry it open. You gotta- you have to do that, right? What the? Oh, no. Maybe there was... Is she like one of those hunter dudes? I don't think so. something should we do something what can we do she's dead no, I mean with the body that's Kaylee Hackett Mr. H's daughter I thought she went home with her brother wait what Kaylee yeah what I thought so too oh I thought that was a Oh man, poor Kaylee. Nick, you smell so good. Uh oh. Intervene. You all right there, bud? Maybe dial it back a bit, huh? Fuck off, Caitlin. Oh shit. Whoa. Oh. 
Nick, what do you? I taste you. Uh -oh. Hey. Come here. Oh, Nick, what the hell? Uh, get off. Uh, watch out, Nick. Get off. Nick. Nick, comfort Abby. What's going on? Oh, there he goes. Maybe we should just observe the situation here. Hey, hey, it's okay. I'm okay. I got you. I got you. <laughs> what did I do? I... I don't know. He's so cold. Okay, let's get him in the pool house. Dry him off. <laughs> hmm. Shh. Just try to rest. <laughs> I'm sorry. Weird. Ah, quit moving so much. It's pretty clean from what I could tell. I mean, it's not bleeding. But you need to see a doctor. Look, this is all I've got left in the nurse's station. Ooh, fun. You better hope uh, we find you some real help before they wear off. We need to be keeping a record of everything that happens. For the police. Yeah. Dead girl in the pool needs some explaining, huh? <sighs> Easy, man. I mean, like photos, whatever we can. I've got a funny feeling that the cops are not going to want to believe any of this crazy shit unless we've got some hard proof. From now on, if you got your phone and you see something, take a photo or a video or whatever. Yeah. You okay over there, Abby? Look, why don't you look around and see if you can find anything to help make Nick more comfortable? Okay, I gotta pee. I'll be right back.
Okay, I wasn't expecting her to just stare right at the monitor. Wait, what the heck's going on? Hold on, I'm moving my mouse. Wait. Uh, how do I get out of here? Ugh. <laughs> this is creepy. What the hell? Huh. Bet that the John's mouth were, were long and teeth were razor. Yeah. How do you think we how do you think we felt? You left her here? Ah, she doesn't mind, right? She is reading chat. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. Better. Thanks. Hey. Man, what the hell is going on with him? So weird. Yo, something is not right with that boy. Dude is real sick. Did you see how he freaked out in the water? Yeah, he was like a... He was like a fish out of water. Right? Uh, sure. You know, something was weird when I tried to clean his wounds, too. At the lodge. What do you mean? Well, all of his clothes were bloody, but I couldn't find where he was bit. Or scratched, or whatever. He just kept moving around like he didn't want me to see how badly he was hurt huh mm, rabies he's not frothing in the mouth <sighs> i think abby would beg to differ point hey, mm. isn't aquaphobia a symptom of rabies hydrophobia yeah but i think it's more about a fear of drinking not just getting wet this was like really like my cat in the bathtub <laughs> yeah Really? Abby? Yeah? Hmm. Can I ask you something? Oh. Of course. Do you like me? I really enjoyed spending time with you. I don't know what's going on with you. N Nick. Please, just tell me. I've really enjoyed spending time with you this summer. That's such a... Oh, such a... Such... what? It's... Such a cop-out answer. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Abby? Uh, what? I've got something to ask you. Uh... Yeah. Okay. Why didn't you like me, Abby? Oh. You're different. I do like you, but you're different. I don't want to piss him off. Nick, I do like you. N no. no, you don't. You don't like me at all, do you? What do you mean? He doesn't believe me. Tell me the truth. I am telling you the truth. God. <laughs> Very smart, are you? Oh, stupid, Abby. Stop. Easy pickings. Oh, right off the bone. This isn't you. This this isn't you. I... What the hell? Whoa, Abby. Holy shit! Abby, everything okay? Holy shit! Ouch.
What the hell? I just I just saved Abby. Holy shit. I think if I didn't shoot him right there, if I did not shoot him right there, Abby would have gotten her head ripped off. Just like what we saw in the in the, the thing. Woo shit. I Holy crap, him. dude. I killed him. I mean, dead people don't usually jump out of windows and run into the forest. Did what you had to. Abby, he was gonna hurt you. You were defending yourself. I, I don't. I don't know that for Damn, sure. Damn, dude. I do. No. No. It was you or him, and well, that definitely wasn't. No, I kind of want to see what would have happened. So fucked. I kind of want to see what, what would have happened if I didn't do that to see how gory oh, it would have been. Shit. Where the fuck is Chris Hackett? Uh oh. Oh, it's it's that it's that one one with the eye patch. Who's there? I need your help, please. Who are you? Oh man. My name is Laura Kearney. So? Laura. Oh. Don't let me in. It's L not safe out here. Laura. Oh, yeah, there's a crazy woman with a gun killing people. Yeah, the one that got the uh, the injection from the other cop. Holy remember shit. in the beginning? Laura Kearney, you're Laura Kearney? Yes. You were supposed to be working, uh, oh. helping out in the nurse's office, right? And you never showed up? Uh, you and the guy, what's his name? Max? Yes, Max. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mr. Hackett said that you had changed your mind last minute. I, I think that we should, I think that we should listen to her inside. Yeah. Yeah, 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 absolutely, absolutely. Okay. I'm gonna open the door slowly. Just keep your hands up, okay? Okay. Okay. Oh, it's her. Wow. Well, now, and she has a scar over the eye. And... Damn. Here we are again. <laughs> She's just you and me. She's so sick of this part. Why don't we take another look at what you've found? Or maybe she's disappointed because I was able to save uh, Abby. Justice. An eye for an eye. Not exactly in some cases, but cause and effect. Actions and consequences. There's a balance to everything and we all play a part in making sure the scales aren't now tell me, would you like to delve deeper into one of many possible futures? Yes. Okay, what do we have here? Oh! Oh, damn, I, I don't know. Off you go then. Top, top. <laughs> one down, remember. It's not terribly exciting. What does that mean? It was just her uh, uh, pointing the gun and shooting. Everything was too bright. I couldn't see anything. Fuck. It, 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 it was, it's lore, obviously. But So, uh, why <sighs> didn't you come? Where have you been for the past two months? We did come. One night early. That was our mistake. Now we get to know what happened. Oh, 
Oh, here we go. Yeah, she was injected. Wow. Max was... Well, Max got jumped by the monster. Okay, so she's in... She's like... Kept in quarantine? Leave it alone. Well, yeah, that's all he could do. He, could, he has to like put him behind bars because now he's infected. changing damn they like have they have like a violent growth spurt This is an interrogation. I ask, you answer. <clears throat> Name. Eat shit. <laughs> Do I really want to be angry right now? Uh, I might as well be compliant. Laura Kearney. Who are you traveling with? And what is your relationship? Max Brindley, he's my boyfriend. Where were you headed last night? To Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. You already know this. What have you done with Max? No. I ask, you answer. That's how this works. <laughs> Banjo. I ain't saying shit. Okay. Fine. What do you want to know? Oh, well, uh, why are we going to hack his quarry last night? Max and I are camp counselors. Oh, bullshit. Counselors aren't due until today. I told you, we drove up and got there early. We figured we'd just go to camp. Why didn't you go to the motel like I told you? Because we were, like, way closer to the camp, and we're broke. Mm-hmm. North kill. The sheriff's badge doesn't mean a lot. Okay, sheriff. The sheriff badge doesn't mean a lot. Hmm. Okay, sheriff. Hack it. Wait. Hack it? Like, Chris hack it? Don't change the subject. What the fuck is going on here, man? You have no idea what's going on here. Not a goddamn clue. You just stepped in some grade A double prime, go ahead and kill yourself cosmic type shit, young lady. And your only option is to buckle the fuck up and do what I say. Do you understand? Please stop trying to intimidate. Stop fucking around. Please, will you just stop fucking around with me and tell me what the fuck is going on? What the hell attacked us last night and why did you arrest us, you goddamn maniac? 
Take me to Max! Right now! What? It's gonna just show her. Flash out. Let's go. <sighs> probably should have. Hey. I probably should have. Hey, you asshole. You want to tell us what the fuck's going on? Max! I know you hear me. Wait. Wait a minute. Fuck. But didn't he... Didn't he change, though? Max! I don't understand. Huh. Are you okay? Yeah. I mean, I'm... I'm kind of all mixed up, but... Hmm? More or less intact, I think. Laura? Yeah? Why am I naked? What? I mean, after we got attacked, the next thing I know, I'm waking up in a jail cell, and you're gone, and now you're back again, and, and, and I'm super naked, and there's blood and stuff everywhere. What? I mean, what the fuck happened? I was hoping you might know. I was kind of hoping you could tell me what happened. I feel like I remember bits and pieces, but none of it makes any sense. Yeah, same. I, I feel like... Were we drugged? I feel like maybe we were drugged. By a cop? Do they do that? Who does this guy think he is? Well, Sheriff of North Kill, apparently. North Kill? Yeah. Max! What? Did you even look at the map? Hackett's Quarry in North Kill. That's the town. Oh. And it gets better. I gotta look at his name badge, and... Get dressed. What's he giving you? Not gonna be the guest of honor at Fashion Week, I'll tell you that much. Hey! Did I say you could talk to each other? We don't need your permission. I wasn't aware we needed your permission, Detective Dick Whippet. <laughs> yeah, it's a free country, Officer Oat. For brains. Shit. <laughs> the banjo every time. All right, buddy. Hands through the bars. Come on. Your turn. Let's go. I'm not going anywhere. We can talk right here. Come on. Hey, hey. Let's get the fuck off. Come on. Move. Good boy. Hmm. It still doesn't explain. Hey. Stop struggling. Like, like the splatter of blood that was on his neck. That was on his neck. You know. Hey, leave him alone. Yeah, leave me alone, asshole. Both of you shut up. Fuck you. I said shut up. Hey. Hey, you can't treat us like this. You're hurting it. Hey. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Think, Laura. Think. There's got to be something in here you can use. Hmm. I have so many questions. There's some writing on the wall. While the town of North Kill lay there sleeping, the hag in the woods started weeping. 
As the bodies decay, the wolves hunt their prey, and the sheriff continues his creeping. What? This doesn't paint a particularly favorable picture of the Sher of Sheriff Hackett. Perhaps this is the first time he's locked up someone illegally. Huh. Okay. Sis. Secret brick. Not a chance. I need some sort of lever. Okay. Man, this game is really interesting. I've been like uh pretty pretty hooked in on this. Huh. <laughs> that could work. That's just laying around. <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah, this ought to do it. Okay, now what? Oh. Oh, 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 she can use it as a weapon now. A brick, that is. I see. It, man, I bruise easily. Give me a break. Hey, the second we get out of here, you're toast, motherfucker. Damn. Sure. Second you get out. What's that supposed to mean? What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Maybe I should have Fuck. played on his patient bit. How to go in there? You sing like a canary? Nothing to sing about. I'm sure you've got plenty to confess. <laughs> well, that may be true, but. I don't think he's too interested in how I cheated off Mikey Washington in 8th grade chem. Really, though? What happened? He, uh... He just asked a lot of questions. A lot of weirdly specific questions about us and... where we were going and why and how I was feeling this morning and... I don't know. Nothing I said made him seem any less annoyed. He asked how you were feeling? Yeah. Why, he didn't ask you? <laughs> no. Huh. Rude. Did you get a look at his name badge? You mean it's not really Detective Dick Whippet? It's Hackett. Sheriff Hackett. You think he's related to Chris Hackett? Oh my god, like THE Chris Hackett? Yeah. Who's THE Chris Hackett? <laughs> As in camp leader Mr. Hackett of Hackett's Quarry, remember? Last night feels like a lifetime ago. The fuck does that mean, though? You know? Where we set up? Maybe it's some... kind of crazy camp counselor kidnapping ring. That's... I mean, it sounds I mean, pretty bad. It's pretty bad. 
<laughs> what? <laughs> uh, some kind of setup. He's not acting like a kidnapper, though. Okay. Well, I guess Sheriff Hackett's not exactly acting like a typical kidnapper, but he's not acting like a typical cop either. Hmm. Well, how do you know how kidnappers act? It's true. I'm just trying to get us out of here, and I can't get us out of here until I have some clue of why the fuck we're in here. Hot Sauce Dave, thank you so much for the Prime sub. Appreciate it. I don't know. What if we can't make sense of it? What? Well, you have to. Sometimes things just don't make sense. What then? We're just stuck in a backwater jail cell for the rest of our lives? This isn't forever. This isn't forever, Max. Y you can't just hold us here forever. You didn't seem too convinced of that. You gotta stay positive. You can't think like that. Why not? Might as well just accept it, right? No, fuck that. Hmm. Think about the rest of the summer, Max. And school? I mean, I've been dreaming about becoming a vet since I was five years old. I'm not gonna let this fleabag fuckface stop me. We're gonna get out of here. I'm gonna study to be a vet, and you're... gonna... Um... What? I'm gonna what? I saw the letter, Max. What are you talking about? The rejection letter for college. I found it in your bag. You were poking around in my stuff? <laughs> uh oh. I can't believe you didn't tell me. I, I was embarrassed. Wait, your grades were good and you wrote a great essay? Yeah, apparently not good enough. Fuck! You've been making plans, Max. What the fuck? I don't know. What do you want me to say? I'm sorry I lied to you. Or I'm sorry. Let's be empathetic. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's be empathetic. I'm sorry, Max. This, this really sucks. Okay, path updated. Okay. Hey, it's not the worst thing to happen this summer. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have kept it from you. You know you can talk to me about anything, right? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Nice. I kind of want to do like a second playthrough to pick different decisions, but my only problem is I probably don't even wouldn't okay, even remember. Let's just focus on getting out of here. The last decisions Great. I did. Sign me you up. know what I mean? We need to go over it from the beginning. That's like the only when problem. We left home? Like from when we ran into the cop. So after we ran into that, okay, whatever we ran into. Yeah, actually, yeah, that's when shit started getting weird. Do you think it was a good idea to have lied to him? About hitting a pothole? Yeah. I don't know. I think he probably knew we were lying. He was acting really strange. What if he's not even a real cop? Well, he's got to be dirty, but I mean, I think he's a real cop. We're in a police station. I mean, yeah, but there's like nobody else around. Yeah, that is concerning. Especially the whole hack and hack it thing. Let's just go with the idea that they're both in on it. Okay. So we're supposed to meet Chris Hackett at the camp, and instead, there's nobody there, mm -hmm. and we get attacked by something. And then the cop shows up. That part's all fuzzy for me. Like, I, I remember the steps and a smell like wet fur and a, a dog collar with the name Ian on it. Ian? Ian. Hmm. I don't think it was a dog that attacked us. Whatever it was was big. Like, person-sized big. Yeah, it really did a number on you. Like, I'm surprised you're not more messed up. Like, like, like I vividly remember the thing's teeth ripping into you. What is messed up about that is... Laura, I don't have a scratch on me. What? Hey, okay, so weird question. Do you remember... Werewolves? Before we got lost? You got lost? 
Well, yeah, but before that, I was all like, whoa, look at the moon. It's so big, so cool to see a full moon in the middle of the woods. And you were all like, yeah, no shit, Max. It happens once a month. Yeah, so? Ash, right, Ash, so, Ash in action. Thank you for the tier one sub. You know. Thank you. Full moon. Yeah. Werewolves? What if... Uh... Okay. No. Stop. I'm just saying, you know, maybe there's a slight chance it was a werewolf. Are you out of your goddamn mind? <laughs> Werewolves? Seriously? What the fuck? Oh man. Well, I mean, what? 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 What's so funny? I Ashton, said thank you for the, the five gifted. Thing. Yo, appreciate it, Ashton. Okay. Thank you. Do you, you got anything better? I mean, like zombies, aliens, time hopping Draculas. Ryan, shut. I should tell him to shut the hell up. Or you want answers? Oh, Ryan, might as well. Right? Yeah. You want answers? I've got answers. Interrupt me again, you're on your own. <laughs> Whatever. Would it really be so crazy? With all the shit that we've been seeing with Nick? With the thing on the roof? Okay, it would really start to explain a lot of stuff. Dylan, Werewolf? I'm just trying to keep an open mind, okay? This is like your ghost stories. How is this so different from your ghost those, stories? Those are, those are just campfire stories. Like, there has to be a rational explanation for everything, for all of this. Okay, you were not talking so rational when you separated my hand from the rest of my body. You told me to. And if it's bite with which you're faced, cleave limb from torso with great haste. What? You did the right thing. See? She's got a whole poem about it. <laughs> <laughs> There's more to all this than you think. Just let me finish, and you can decide for yourself if you believe me or not. I don't care. But I think you should hear all of it. Hmm. Okay. The next few weeks were long. The cop kept us fed and let us take showers, but aside from that, we barely saw him. Max and I, we talked a lot. As much as we could about what happened that night. It was like trading conspiracy theories. We talked about the cop, the camp, the accident, the woods, the thing in the basement, what happened to Max. We just kept going over it all again and again, and nothing was making sense. All we knew is that we needed to get out of there. Interesting. July 12th, okay. So about a month after, uh... I can't take this anymore. It's not that bad. They're probably in the same crap at camp. No, I can't take being in here anymore. Oh. Yeah, well, that part's pretty tough. We, we've got to do something. We've got to get out of here. We need a, a plan. We keep saying that, but it's been weeks, so... You know, let me know if you have one. That's really not very helpful, Max. You are forgetting something. What? Just the ETBT tiny detail that I may or may not be a fucking werewolf, you Laura. Just keep it down. So what? What can we do, really? We run off into the sunset only to be stopped when I turn into a nasty ass monster and kill you and eat you, and then I run off alone into the sunset with little bits of you stuck in my teeth? Okay, okay, stop. Just one problem at a time. But he hasn't. Okay, we, turned. we don't even know if that's what's really going on, and we won't until we get the hell out of here. Okay. Well, it seems to me that we only have two real options. We can play nice and try to get this guy on our side. What, so he'll let us go? Or we try to catch him off guard and make our escape. We've got to escape. They have to. I'm not going to be nice to this fucker one second longer than I have to. We've got to escape. Cool. Okay. So how? I don't know. Knock him out? Not Laura, you know that's kind of a movie thing only, right? 
I mean, you bang someone on the head, you're more likely to kill them or leave them with permanent brain damage, not just knock them out. Well, what can you do? Yeah. <sighs> Prison break it is, so we don't knock his brains out. I mean, she has the brick available. And they're just being kept there. Hmm. No. Yeah, yeah. Right. Prison break. Prison break it is. Can we have code names? If we're doing code names, I have dibs on Golden Thunder. No, seriously, Max, we're doing this. Okay. I'm with you. Okay. Here's how it's gonna go down. Next time he opens your cell to take you to get washed up, you jump him. You tackle him down and take the keys from his belt, drag him into your cell, lock him in there, unlock my cell, and then we'll steal his car and just drive right the fuck out of Dodge. Right, okay, that's not really a plan though. You know, that's just kind of saying let's escape but with a whole lot more words. No, he won't <laughs> be expecting it. We're in a routine now, we'll catch him in the back foot. So basically, he has to do all the work. Okay. Let's see. Man. I can't get over the fact that this game looks so gorgeous. The graphics are just so gorgeous looking. It's, it's kind of insane. Come on. Careful. Really? Careful. Uh, uh, uh. Really? <laughs> Damn it. Genius. Oh. That was but what cool. about my shower? Shh. I said. Take your fucking clothes off! Fuck off! Uh -oh. Get back! Max, what's going on? <sighs> Get the fuck away from him! Come here. Get off of me! Shut up. Have a seat. Quit squirming. Ouch. Said you want to be a vet, right? Call us an internship. Let me go! You're not going to believe it until you see it for yourself. Just fucking ask next time then, dude. Jeez. Don't get too close. G, come in. What's your position? Over. Mm-hmm. Just wrapping things up here. Call for help. Call for help. Yeah. Help! Hey, he's got his whole prisoner at the police station! Help us! Who was that? Over. Nothing. On my way. Over. That was pretty stupid. Well, I mean, like, you're not giving them any any more information. You're just kind of keeping them locked up for an entire you month. You can't just leave me here! It is Ted Raimi. Yes, I can. Why? Like, you gotta explain. Just keep them in silence. Tell me exactly what you're feeling. Laura, I... I don't feel so good. Not good? Like how? I don't know, just... Bad. Come closer, let me see your eyes. I think I better stay back. Max, I need to observe you. Is this fucking close enough for you, bitch? 
Turns into a very mean werewolf. <laughs> Damn, they get pissed. What the hell? Max? Max? Tell me what's going oh. on. Oh shit! Oh, there goes her eye. Ow. Holy crap. Yeah, that's a freaky looking werewolf. Is it me or is this music just kind of like not fitting well with this scene? Let's see what that bastard cop's hiding. Oh, what's going on? Oh, oh shit. Hold on. Let's go check up on, on him. Oh, that's a bad idea. Yeah, that was such a randomly inserted song. Let's see here. I, I don't know if that is that really a thing with like werewolves not liking water? I know that was like vampires, but at least you get to find out like what's going on here, right? Let's see here. Um oh gosh, where, where do I go? I don't want to go there. Locked? Okay. What's he hiding? Of course, that that's probably the, the DMCA protective music, you know? Like the royalty-free music. The game did say, like, you know, the... the the regular what music. Are you hiding, Travis? Hold on. Cease and desist letter. A, a letter instructing those behind the bizarre yet bona fide podcast to stop investigating Hackett's quarry. Oh. Oh, the podcast. That's right. The bona fide podcast. I will, I will go there, but I want to check something else out. Locked. Figures. But I guess I can't leave Max. I'm gonna keep snooping, or I could go back to my cell and wait, I guess. Damn, she got cut across her entire face. up here guns 
I think those are like weapon cabinets, man. Right? Is there anything here? Oh. Whoever was wearing this can't be doing too well. Charge Sheriff's badge. Does it belong to the current sheriff or one of his predecessors? Charred, huh? Maybe a past comp that turned into a werewolf, werewolf and died due to fire, perhaps? Maybe? I didn't see that coming. Werewolves. I did not see that coming. Oh. Away. I thought it was going to be Wendigos again. This must be what he used to knock me out. That's a dirty, dirty, dirty I can needle. I this in my cell. That's a dirty needle. That's tetanus all over that needle. Ugh. Nasty. Mm. Full moon. Birthday beer. Interesting. July 7th. Okay. So I need to lie down. My guess is they just they just contain all this, right? They contain Did I look through here already? I don't think I did. Mama's boy. Travis. 56. That means he was born in Inspected all the rooms up top now. I'm pretty sure I did, right? I already, I already. Oh, I can't go in there. Yeah, but I went in there. Okay, let's go back downstairs. We gotta go to the other room. She keeps saying she's tired, so that's not good. Hopefully, she doesn't pass out. I get to where I need to go fast. With the reins of the chariot, we would all feel safer. Take control, relying on determination. Okay, the old lady usually says that. She, she usually talks about it. I know, every time I look at tarot cards, I just think of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure every time. I don't think of anything else. What about over here? Oh, I think I checked this already. Shit. What about up here? I think I checked that up there, too. Oh, I think this is just going outside, right? Oh, wait, wait, no. We got another room. Hmm. Missing hikers, missing cats. Anne Radcliffe and Edward Benson. Wonder who they are.
Mat. Mat. so much a hint as a slap in the face isn't it july <laughs> fuck yeah you're gonna have your own hint or your password <laughs> that's the worst fucking password security system ever <sighs> you heard this shit you gotta sh shut down can you handle it for me chris shut it down Oh, that is the world's Weren't hikers computer. at all, but ghost hunters who went in search of answers and fell victim to the mercy of the hag of Hackett's quarry, never to be seen again. Like us. Except for the fell victim to the mercy of the blah 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 part. We're, we're more like, um, ghost investigators? Spectre sleuths? Sure. So, what happened next? Well, according to reports from the local paper, the North Kill Gazette, some hay bales caught fire during the opening night, and that spread pretty quickly. Before they knew it, the whole place was up in smoke, including the show's leading lady and her alleged baby boy. Huh. Was that? It's freaking out, man. I have exhausted this and myself. I need to sleep. You still got one more room to go. Uh, it's not no time for sleep just yet. No time for sleep. I guess that was the only other room that I didn't check. Unless. Can't go there. No, I can't go there. Oh, I guess I did check everything. Okay, so I guess that's all I needed to do. Yep, this is the uh, room for the computer. Oh, something's over here. Oh, wait, that's a cease and desist letter. <clears throat> okay. Time to go back to the cell. And I'm pretty sure I got everything. hunt their prey and the sheriff continues creeping. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I should have gotten the brick. I should have gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Continue looking. Yes. Hold up. Hold up. There we go. That's what I needed to do. Oof. Perfect. That was gonna suck if I ended up forgetting about that. Okay, now we can go to sleep. All right, cool. Yeah. I don't know how you can go to sleep with a freaking werewolf just next door.
You want to tell me what happened? Why is he covered in blood? He could ask you the same thing. Oh, as a deterrent. Why didn't you run? We've got unfinished business. I won't leave Max. This doesn't mean I trust you. I don't care. I just want to help him. Turn around, hands against the wall. Seriously? I am too tired to argue. But... Ugh. Me too. I guess I would have had the option for the syringe. Happy? Could have had the option, but... I'll brew some coffee. What's this? An education. Watch. Day 29. Nice job cleaning up. The eye. I mean... It's harder than they make out in the textbooks. Especially when nobody's helping you. You're the doctor. Uh, animal doctor. And no, I'm not. And I probably never will be. Stuck in here forever. You know... Just because you know, doesn't mean you know. You know? Uh. Yeah, sure. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. This isn't what it seems to be. You're gonna have to be more specific. You and Max are in just as much trouble as I am. My family, we didn't mean to hurt anybody. We're just trying to survive like everybody else. Do you understand? Not really. We're going to end this thing once and for all. We? Yeah. How's your family involved? So, how is your family involved? My family is down at the bottom of a well. Starts to ease up. What? <laughs> huh? Family is the most important thing in the world. But if your whole family, you know, like every last one of them decided to jump down the bottom of a well and they're all just hanging on the end of a rope, how can one person be expected to pull them all back out? You can't. If you pull on that rope, and you're just gonna fall right down to the bottom of the well with the rest of them. And what's the point of that? Right, so you... You're the one at the top of the well with a rope, and... <laughs> yes. I thought that was obvious. Yeah, okay, yeah, I got it. Just forget it. <sighs> Excuse me. Let's see how smart you really are. What is this? Information. 
Well, what does it mean? Read it. When full the moon above shines first, the beast internal shall outward burst. One by one leads lambs to slaughter. It stalks your breath, but shuns clear water. Mm. And should you yourself be cursed, armed with silver, and the first. And the first. When moon is full before its wane, rend the beast that cursed you slain. No longer shall you face your blight or fear the dread of full moon's light. Yeah. Keep reading. Take gun? No. No, that's just sabotaging this whole playthrough. And if it's a bite with which you're faced, cleave limb from torso with great haste. Perchance you'll save your cursed soul before infection takes its toll. Starting to get the picture. It's not a lot to go on. And frankly, it's shit. Why did they have to make it rhyme? I don't know. <laughs> but it's all we have to go on. Kill the werewolf that bit you and you'll be cured. It has to be silver, it has to be full moon. Seems pretty straightforward to me. If you can kill the werewolf, and that's a big F. I just want to cure Max. Okay. It's not as straightforward as you think. So it's not an infection, it's a curse. <clears throat> Am I infected? Oh, that's right, because she got scratched. Mm, but she didn't get bit, she got scratched. Oh, she's a really deep cuts, too. Why didn't you kill it? If you knew all this, why didn't you just kill it in the storm shelter when you had the chance? It's not so, I'm, I, I was, when I- Straightforward? No, yeah, it's so not, they're not so easy to hit. I was trying to protect you too. Interesting. So if like a werewolf keeps biting another werewolf, keeps biting another werewolf, keeps biting another werewolf, That means you have to kill a lot of the the origin werewolves over and over. And, oh yeah, okay. So what's the plan? Well, that's where I'm hoping you'll come in. Me. Yeah. Cause your studies. I haven't even started. Well, you're the best option I got. I've been hunting this damn white wolf under the full moon so long I start to think it doesn't exist, you know? Maybe it doesn't matter because maybe there's another way. Whatever you believe, there's got to be some science. And you do science. Look, take some time to think about all this. Be back in the morning. Seen enough? I don't think I'd believe a word he just said if I hadn't... If I hadn't seen that. Not so sure. Well, I mean, it's all believable. It would be kind of weird if I just put on not sure at this point. I believe him. You can't tell me you really trust that guy now. I didn't say that. I said I believe him about... The werewolf stuff, not the science bit. I don't know what he wants. He's a dirty line kidnapping cop, Laura. Max we should be careful dubious? of anything that fucker says. What's dubious? That's well, like, like, 
fuck him. He's had his chance to fix this. What is dubious meaning? We're getting out of here downfall. and we're gonna fix oh, okay. it on our own. Why can't I just say Max is doubtful? Fucking... Laura? Yeah? I saw what happened. What I did to your eye. Yeah. Is it bad? Yeah, it's pretty bad. I'm so sorry. It's not like you were in, it's not like you're in control. That wasn't you. It wasn't you. I know it wasn't you. I know. But it was. We're gonna fix you, Max. I promise. I promise. There. Oh, yeah. Said you scrapped an abandoned car. A while back, I, I worked out the rest. Shit. Why? Well, why'd you think, Chris? Jesus, Travis. You're still here? That's fucked up. Fucking bad one of them, Chris. I supposed to do. <laughs> what was that? Oh. Oh, he said you bit one of them. Oh, he, Mr. H is a werewolf. Oh, and he chose. I'm telling mom. I think your lucky stars wasn't silver. Oh, I see. What's your plan? Can't keep him here forever. He handling it. He Maybe bit the kid. If you done job, they wouldn't been at the camp that night. You ever think of that? The only way to cure him is to kill him. If you done my job, you'd all be in prison. You ever think of that? That was all Bobby and Caleb. Were those know. hikers and that that. Journalist. Damn it, Travis. What are we gonna do now? Oh, wow. Whatever happened to you, we're all in this together. Shit, man. Let's go to my office. We shouldn't talk here. Mm. Max! Uh. Max! Uh. What is it? Travis was just in the hall talking, the cop. So? With Chris Hackett. Was he here to let us out? No. He's the werewolf, Max. Chris Hackett is the one that bit you down on the storm shelter. Holy shit, that's... Who would have guessed? I mean, I guess, thinking about it, I could have... And yet you didn't. It all makes sense. That's why Chris's car was at the lodge that night. Travis was protecting him. That's Locked, why he yeah. followed us, and that's why he didn't kill the werewolf in the storm shelter because it was his fucking brother. God, it's so obvious. If, if Chris was the one that bit me, then. Shit. Yeah, then that's our cure. I wonder what would have happened if I never got that's to. That's how we fix you. If I never got. Jesus, Laura, are we thinking the same thing? Too curious on looking at that fucking. That basement. I wonder if there was a Tomorrow, way. Tomorrow we're getting out of here. I wonder if there was actual. I'm gonna get Travis's gun. And kill Chris Hackett. I wonder if there was a way to just completely ignore and all this would have ever happened. Probably hey, not, but. Hey! Help her! Laura needs help! Uh, Laura? Uh, Laura, are you okay? Uh, God damn it. Uh, what the hell's going on? Laura! <laughs> oh. oh. Ouch. Fuck. <laughs> Did he just like inject him full of air? Oh shit, did I just fucking kill him? Is he dead? 
I just don't remember seeing like her actually. Starting to think you were really sick. Uh, well, maybe I should you know, consider her acting filling the syringe major. full of. I wouldn't go that far. Sleepy juice. That's all. She just found the syringe. I didn't know there was actually. We stuff should in. go before he wakes yeah. up. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It, it, it. I thought it was just full air. All right. So we gotta. We should grab our stuff. We need silver ammo. He must have some around here. What is it? I thought I heard someone. So I would assume that Mr. H is the first. Mr. H is the first. It's coming from behind that door. I assume. But I could be wrong. Kill them all. Interesting. Oh, I gotta remember this. All right. The, yeah, her with the pistol. She shoots. The future showed that she shot something. Maybe. Oh, you know what? It's maybe her shooting. The cop. Remember, I had the choice to, to steal the gun while he was sitting close to the jail There's cell. In here. That was probably the thing that the the bad part oh. of the future that I managed to avoid. I guess. He makes them. What is it? Shotgun shells. He loads them with silver. That's where he was last month hunting. Well, I guess I won't be needing this anymore. Hey, I just realized something. We're free. <laughs> Hell yeah, we are. Not in, not until Chris is dead. That's true. Anxious, reassuring. Yeah. No, Max. We're not free until Chris Hackett is dead. And it doesn't look like we've got much time. I know, you're right, but let's just take the win for now, huh? We'll celebrate when it's over. We're going straight to Hackett's quarry, and we're ending this tonight. Yeah, so all those all those full moons, he would just walk them down in that that basement under the cabin, the the camp cabin, whatever. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. And I made my way here to camp. I left Max at the island. It seemed like the best place for him, surrounded by water and all. That was Max. That's it. That's the story. Ooh, sorry, Emma. Sorry. Don't all jump in at the same time. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Uh -oh. The island, like like our island, like the one in the lake. Yeah, why? Uh oh. Because Jacob, he went back there looking for Emma, and he hasn't come back yet. Neither of them has. Ooh. Oh shit. They're they're not there now. They're probably fine. Well, if they were there, they're not there now. What's that supposed to mean? Don't make me spell it out for you. I've just come back from there and there's one werewolf and no people. Oh, fuck. All I know is I have to do this. I have to kill Chris Hackett before it's too late. After you saw me at the pool, after I shot Chris, um, I went back to the island expecting Max to be back to normal. But 
Oh, she shot, but I mean, Chris is obviously not dead. I like how she just turned into Sarah Connor overnight, or, well, not overnight, but over two, span of two months. Look at that face. So the werewolf I killed can't have been Chris. That wasn't a werewolf. It was Haley Hackett, Chris's daughter. Whatever I shot, that was no girl. Unless, I, I guess, it turned back after I shot it when I went to the island. Wait, so how come Max didn't kill you? Show bite? Wait, she did get bit? He tried. I got away. Oh. Oh, I, I didn't even animals. notice that. We don't have much time. Huh. Okay. What's this? What's that lady from Insidious? So this is our new game. What the? Smell good, don't it? Go on, take a bow. Go on. Damn fucking animal. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, let me go. Let me fucking go. Get okay. All right. Me. Yep. That's right. He got. Let me go. I'll call the cops. <laughs> please let me go. Okay. I didn't mean for this to happen. Please. Please. Oh my God. Why aren't you answering me? Oh. 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 Is your is your money that you want? Cause cause my dad's got money. And lots of it. I mean, I mean not really, but you could get some probably. Please, just let me go, please. I'm so sorry. Oh, Jesus Christ. That 
Let's do, Bobby. I have a feeling that you were that you're gonna get captured no matter what. Hey! Hey! Hey, what are you doing? Hey! Hey! Yeah, I, I have a feeling that that you were gonna get captured no matter what. No matter what you do. Shuffle, thank you for the two months. Welcome back. Avoid Genshin commercials, just sub. <laughs> oh. Some of the royalty free music doesn't really add too well with the scenes. It's like a love making song and <laughs> kind of yeah i mean this it is royalty free music i had to turn streamer mode on it, it, it nosy little rat aren't you <laughs> poking your nose where it doesn't belong don't believe everything you hear it is it is mentioned in the game that like it it there are and dmca music that fits very well we but we can you know i'm a streamer i can't do Let's it see what you've brought me this unfortunately time, shall we if anything, it'd probably be like fucking, you know, Lil Nas or some, or the like chariot. Lil Uzi playing in the background. At the reins of a chariot, we would all feel safer. Taking control, relying on determination to make our choices. Valiant, but in some cases, foolish. Many seek refuge in chariots. But perhaps in some cases, they're not as safe as we think they are. And the same question as always. Will you let me show you more? Yes, please. I think I've been doing a good job so far. Okay. Looking at something. What? <laughs> You'll be seeing me a few more times before the night's over. I look forward to that. As long as you... <laughs> follow the right path of course dude okay th th now the game is like trying to set me up for failure trying to okay it looked like it looked like he was opening a door so maybe i don't do that maybe i do not open that door so i gotta try my best to yeah remember where is chris hackett shut up would you like to know more <laughs> Guys, she murdered Kaylee. We have been over this. Taylor, what do I do? Uh, Caitlin, what do I do? Oh, wow. Real strong showing on the leadership front. I said <laughs> shut up. Oh, no way. I am not getting involved. This is all you, buddy. Look, just think about everything that's happened tonight, okay? That's all I'll say. All this over a poem? You said... You said you heard a woman. Hold up. You, you said you heard a woman crying when you escaped? Why? What do you know? It's the ghost story he told us about, right, Caitlin? Yeah, was... This isn't a ghost story. It's a creature feature. It's really happening, and you're all in it. Your bracelet. Everyone's just covered in blood. I'll shoot you. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm trying to help. Damn. Worst case scenario, this should give you a fighting chance. And this will kill them? For good? Yeah. But what if it's Nick or someone? Like I said, worst case scenario. Okay. Quang, put that fucking thing down before you hurt someone. <laughs> so, come on. Where does Chris Hackett live? When he's not at camp, I mean. What well, makes you think I know? I wouldn't tell you. What makes you think I know that? Uh, you guys are counselors, right? You've spent the last two months here? 
He's not in the storm shelter. I'm clearly getting nowhere hunting him in the woods. I need a place to start. I think that spooky house behind these woods. Dude! What? Listen, there could be another way. Have you thought about that? I've spent the last month thinking about nothing else. Look, when the sun comes up, I am stuck until the next full moon. So is Max, so is anyone else he's bitten. How is that our problem? Why don't you ask your friends in the woods? Don't forget about Nick, dude. Okay, any closer we're gonna have to spray you two with cold water. Ryan, let's just get out of here. I'm running out of time. If I can't find Chris Hackett, then a lot more people are going to get hurt. I'm going with you. What? what? Uh, yeah, what they said. I don't know how this game is going to be multiplayer. It's not multiplayer now. There's shared co-op, like local, but there will be multiplayer, and I have no idea how that's going to work. I have no idea. Yeah, apparently uh, there is there is shared co-op and there is, and there is going to be multiplayer. I, I I don't know. I mean, yeah, maybe it's a battle royale wolf hunt probably. Chris has nothing to do with this. No way you're going alone. I'm going to show you that Chris Hackett has nothing to do with this. He wanted us to stay inside tonight. He wanted us safe. I don't care what you think. I don't care what you think. <laughs> Shut up. Fine, do whatever you want. You saw what happened to Nick. He was bitten. Everything's gonna be fine. That cop car you stole, where is it? Ditched in the lake. Why? It was a stolen cop car. You're gonna have to try and fix the minivan. Get somewhere safe. How long do you have? An hour or two? I don't know. It doesn't seem like an exact science. Then we better get going. So she did get bit. It just, it, it just hardly showed you in that cutscene. Are you sure this is the right way? Pretty sure, yeah. Pretty or definitely? What do I look like? A tour guide? Have you been there? This doesn't feel right. Have you actually been there before? I mean, no. Wait, seriously? I know as much as you do. How well do you know Chris Hackett? Mr. H, pretty well. Like you're pretty sure we're going the right way? When I first came to camp, I was going through some personal shit, and Mr. H helped me sort it out. He's a good guy. You don't know him like I do. You don't know him at all. Okay, okay, jeez. Teacher's pet. <laughs> Why are you like this? <laughs> no, we're, we're gonna keep it chill. We're not gonna try to bomb this, Look. this run. I don't think anybody knows anybody, not really. Well, I know Mr. H, and, and he never hurt any of us. Well, I know for a fact he's not the good guy you think he is. All he does is try to help people. That's what his whole camp is all about, to help the kids. Yeah, I don't doubt it. You know what I have to do, right? I know. But only if we can't talk to him. If we can't find another way. Lead the way. Yeah, I, I don't know. It, it it just it was mentioned that it will have multiplayer, but they I don't know I don't think it was like specifics. I have no idea. There'll probably be very loose multiplayer, there like uh, like your house. Yeah, like controlling another player when they're both talking to each other. So he lives in some redneck mansion with his redneck family in the ass crack of the woods. Look at this place. No, but it's where his mom lives. I think. Never been there, but. If we're looking for answers, it's 
probably the best place to start. So, uh, wait, how do we get there? What do you mean? How do we get to the house? That's a really good question. Maybe we just don't. Look, I understand Chris is your friend. If there was another way, I'd tell you. Sure. Yeah. Laura, Chris is a good man. This isn't about good and evil, Ryan. Just how can you be so certain? If I let my conscience slow me down now, everything gets a lot worse for everyone. Believe me, if there's another way, I'm all for it. Hey, where are you going? You're on the timer, remember? There must be another way across somewhere. I got you. Careful, it's gonna go. Oh, well that was very, that was a very convenient trap floor. Or just... Oh shit! Are you okay? Laura? Oh. It stalks your breath, but shuns clear water. Oh my god, Laura. Jesus, Mary and Jazz hands. Oh, her eyes. Here's a thought. What are you doing? Relax. Look. Oh, let me guess. Yeah, her eye came back. She regenerates. What big eyes you have, Grandma? No shit. Yeah. Can you see yellow in my eyes? Define yellow. We haven't caught much time. I mean, I mean, when you think of, like, well, okay, what, what if you had, what if you had like, like, I don't know, like cancer and then you let a werewolf bite you and then boom, you regenerate. You get rid of all that stuff. I mean, technically, if you use the werewolf curse the right way, it can definitely cure some major fucking stuff like terminal diseases and all that stuff. Just trying to think logically here. If it's enough to regenerate an eyeball, it might be enough to get rid of cancer in general. Just saying. Wouldn't the cancer regenerate? No. No, because she got her eyeball back, and the other guy had all those lacerations gone. Completely gone. I mean, they would have to, like... Actually, I don't know how they would do that, because they would have to kill the original werewolf in order for the curse to stop happening. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know how that would work, actually. I don't know how that would work. Okay, Umbrella Corps. Okay, okay, I get the idea. Yeah, I, I actually, yeah, I don't know how that would work. Because because those full moon nights, right? And, and the only way to stop it is to kill the original werewolf. And then if you kill the original werewolf, guess what? No more cure. No more weird curse, curse cure thing. This must be part of the old working quarry. Minus lunchbox. Makes sense. Hold on. Let me... I want to read it. Oh, uh, yes. I absolutely want to look at the text, because look at this. I can't even fucking read it on the page itself. Dear valued employee, I regret to inform you that your services and Hackett's quarry are no, will no longer be required. It is my intention to return the site of the central quarry to an area of natural beauty by flooding it and allowing a lake to form in its place. You'll be paid until the end of the coming week and then asked to vacate the premises. I'd like to thank you for your continued loyalty and, and wish you well in your future endeavors. Faithfully, Sep Septimus Hackett. Tight bastard just can't pay us. Last time I trust a Hackett. Oh. So the Hacketts have definitely have a history of what well, maybe has a history with probably the uh, with that with that uh, traveling circus Yeah, see, like, you could cure yourself, but you'd be a danger to everything, to society and everything, so you'd have to be locked up 
on those specific you'd have to make a pact right it's like okay you have cancer you you take the werewolf curse it cures you but now for the rest of your life every full moon you have to make sure to lock yourself in a max maximum security like like place just for that one night and then you live out the rest of your days and then every uh, next full moon you have to lock yourself in again it would be like uh yeah it, that that would be your natural routine so but then if you mess up once you're on the loose and you bite a whole bunch of others these must have been from the quarry days and now uh, no one's tools. been down here mm -hmm. for years But if you control the wolf, then if you can control the wolf, then people would use it to rise rise to power and make factions of werewolves and stuff. And then you'd 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 have like a you'd basically bring uh, uh, endangerment to humanity as as a werewolf because people if if you're a sentient motherfucking werewolf, then you start thinking, well, we're supposed to be the next line in evolution. We're gonna eat you, motherfuckers, and then whole world's gone. GGs. And then you got and then you got fucking Ethan Hawk. You know, playing your role instead of daywalkers, it's werewolf walkers. And then you got that motherfucker from Jurassic Park as like the main CEO of werewolves. And then you got fucking. You get my. You, get, you know what I mean? Did you hear that too? It's her. Who? The hag. The hag gets Cory. It's like she's warning us off. Or guiding us. Ah, or possible guiding, yeah. He's got a really long shirt. They used to have long shirts like that. Shit. Think anyone heard that? No, they can't have done. This place is not up to code. I mean, if the code is literally crumbling to the ground, then I think it's doing fine. Let's just keep moving. Yeah. Oh. Careful. Jeez. Yeah, if she has like an hour left, then she'll start to feel really crummy here in a bit. Ah, the lovers. Just look at this place. Oh shit. oh shit. I was about to screw that up. I could really do with a hamburger right about now. She's getting hungry. Stop being weird. of what appears to be damaged or scarred flesh. Something is in here with us. Either that or this route isn't as disused as we thought. That's nasty. A long way down. Cave in. Do not enter. Well, where's cave out? <laughs> Look who's finding their funny bone. Oh, I get it. Cave out. Okay. I understand. So what's your deal then? What do you mean? 
the whole mysterious brooding loner thing, it doesn't quite fit with the I love my camp leader vibe. So I don't fit into the right box, is that what you're saying? This is kind of random. Why are we talking about this when we need to hurry up? You know that's not what I mean. I've been coming here for years. You get to know a place and it feels like a second home, you know? I mean, until now. What about your friend, uh, Caitlin? Is that her name? It seems like she looks up to you. Why are we talking? We need to go. Yeah, we have, we're on limited she, time here. She has the hots for me. What is going on Those here? Two. I'm gonna turn into a fucking oh, werewolf and rip off your head. Why are we talking? Ryan. I'm not being smug about it. It's just a fact. They're not exactly secretive about it. So what about you? Who do you like more? I don't know. Why? Maybe neither. Why are we? Why? What? what we have to hurry up. Why? Are we, Gotta take this serious. This way. I see a light. Guess we're not taking it serious yeah. anymore. Or you can just hang out here. Up to you. Someone's been eating their spinach. So, you want to go into the collapsing nightmare tunnel first, or shall I? Oh man, here here's where all the jokes and all the quips start coming in, and then it, and then you kind of don't take the game serious. It used to be serious, and now it's just like, now it's like a, now it's like another like Marvel movie with like quips and stuff. And I mean, actually not a Mar Marvel cartoon show where it's just like, no one takes anything serious and everything's just jokey jokes. I think we need it's a character fancy. death, just to balance it. I think we need another character death, ASAP. Damn teenagers feel like they're, they're invincible and shit. We gotta remind them real quick they aren't. Hey guys, looks like I'm hungry for a cheeseburger. By the way, I'm gonna turn into a werewolf in 30 minutes. Boy oh boy. <laughs> Careful. Been eating my Spencer. spinach. Thanks, I'm fine. Guess we found the party. Alcohol, no prohibition. These are rum running tunnels. That would make that liquor almost a hundred years old. Probably still good. Good, try vintage. Well, I guess the hackets were bootleggers. That makes sense. I guess when the quarries are done, they branched out. Come on. Time travel later. What's this? I you think this is it? Uh, beats me. I'm pretty much completely lost. <sighs> yeah, me too. Shall we? Okay, I gotta remember that 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 one future uh, preview of the guy opening the door. Okay. Interesting. Kind of my bad. Had a bit of a tumble with one of the locals. The fuck, Caitlin? This place is wrecked. <laughs> well, you should see the other guy. What do you think happened to Jacob and Emma? Probably nothing. Hopefully. I mean, I mean should we go find them? Warn them? Oh. I think the safest thing, the most responsible thing, is to try and get help. Right. And then we can come back for them. 
and Nick. And Nick. Remember the van. It doesn't work because of the uh, the thing. I forgot what it was. Huh. The rotor. Well, let's see what the damage is. Well, fix or no fix. Can you fix it? No. Oh. <laughs> Not without some parts. Specifically, a rotor arm. There's a scrapyard up the road. So you can fix it? Well, no promises, but there's hope. That's where we're gonna find it. That sounds like a long shot. Dylan, come on. Look, I need you. We need you. Fine. Okay. Once again, Dylan puts himself in mortal danger for the sake of his work friends. I'd kind of like to not die by staying here. I don't we don't know. all need to go. I kind of like that idea. Uh, you're coming with well, me. Fuck. Should I just go back to the lodge and wait? You know, there's actually a shelter under the lodge. It's probably safer. Is it locked? I don't think so. Good. Great. Head down there and stay put until we come back. You know, I just realized that there was a Evil Dead reference in the game. Good luck. Him getting his hand bit. His hand is like showing like all these crazy reactions and then his friend having to chop it off with a chainsaw. Time to split up. I know. The chainsaw also had a groovy brand on it. Wait, serious? I didn't even notice that. Holy shit, yeah, it definitely is an Evil Dead. Fucking... Evil Dead nod. Wow. What was that? Huh? What was that? Oh, it's nothing. We got, we got guests downstairs. We don't want any more blood on our hands. Cards are pretty damn important to know what to do without getting that bad ending. Jeez, poor kid, head this big. Who's Bobby? I fucked it up. Oh, Jesus. Damn it. I thought I did it too. You sure nobody else? No. I think we're okay. I don't think anyone hurt us. Hurt you? 
Brilliant. It's coming from a bat. So I guess this is how they they try to wrangle up the the werewolves. They try to put them in these cages, and then after that, I guess they try to figure out what they do next. Kick up. Ryan. Jesus, what happened to you? Open cage? No, because it's electrified. You don't want to touch it. Hey, bad idea. Oh, shit. Look, you gotta get me out of here, man. How? Seriously. It's electrified. Okay, um, there's a box in the corner of the room. I think that's how they're operated, okay? I saw this old guy, hunter dude from the woods. He used that. Why are you here, Travis? You ought to be out with the others. Like I say, we've been all night long trying to keep those kids safe. Hmm. It's Kaylee. She's dead. <laughs> no. The boys are bringing her in right now. Now I know you got to screw loose in that cop head of yours. There ain't no way to kill her in her kind of condition. Silver bullet. She's dead, Ma. No. No, no, not my granddaughter, not my only granddaughter, not my Kaylee, not my little Kaylee, not my little Kaylee, not my little Kaylee, you goddamn piece of shit, not my little Kaylee, goddamn you, what did you do to her? But which which werewolf is that though? Is she crazy? Stop, Laura. Shit. Wait. It's him. Think about it. Why would they lock him in a cage? And who the hell is? It? Who the hell is she? She's in charge. Oh, okay. It's 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 uh. It's I've already got it wrong once. It might even be Nick. Your friend? Hey, that's listen. true. Okay. They said that they've already got two of us accounted for. Whatever that means. Whoever this is, they're they're not going anywhere. Remember, we've got to be sure. You promised. Fine, fine. You gotta get me out of here. I think the other cage Seriously. was supposed to be for Emma. Oops. They took it. They took it. You fucking idiot. <laughs> Ma. God damn it! You fucking piece of shit! Get away! Get away from me! You have to open my door and that door. And definitely not that door. <laughs> oh, cool. Thanks, Detective. Okay, fuck you, man. I'm trying to help. No, fuck you. I'm trying to Shut up. Shut up. Okay, there's a console on the wall over there, like a box or whatever. You should be able to use those switches to isolate each cage. Okay. Hang uh -oh. tight. Okay. <laughs> but it tells me if I mess this up, it's gonna open the inner doors and then he's fucked. Come on. Ah shit. What door is he? He's, he's in three. Five is empty. Three. So I do want to open. Let's let's try the. Yeah, let's try three. That's him. And then and then and then and then and then. Oh God, I have to. Do, oh. Well, it said five. Crap! Can I just go take a look at it really quick? Oh. 
I think I... Rest in peace. Hey, dude. Nice. All right, now don't fuck it up. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, it adds up. I can do this. I oh, can do this. wait. Focus, dude. Yeah. Oh, Focus. oh, um, um. Because I opened up five. But then this will be five, too. Oh, I can start over. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Unless he's dead. And then GG's. GG's. <laughs> Was that a warning? Did the game just try to warn me that I was about to screw? He's in... Which... It said he's in cell four. He's in cell four. And I accidentally opened cell five, which was in, in between. I need to see the clips. Hold on. I, I don't I gotta make sure not to screw this up. You know, I am a little tired, so I, d I don't want to screw this up. Hold on, hold on. Let me let me watch it. One sec. One sec, one sec. This is not cheating. I just need to know, I, I, you know, I'm getting my numbers mixed up and, and chat's screaming at me and... I got to make sure I don't mess this up. All right, what number was he in? What fucking number were you in? Anyone got a clip that shows it? Hold on, hold on, I just saw it. Hold on, 723. 723. Okay, hold on. Jesus, what happened? 723. Open cage? No, because it's electrified. You don't want to touch it. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is horrible. Okay. Damn it, come on, show me. Wh which number was he in? I don't want to, like, accidentally... See, I feel like this is okay, because I... I don't want to I don't want to accidentally be like, Oh, wait, I thought it was in five. Oh, I'm too tired. Oh, he's in three. Oh, shit. He is in three. Okay, cool. Just making sure. All right. That's just like, you know, I just, you know, he's in three. Okay. All right, cool. So, so it didn't work because I already opened up five. I already did. So that's why it sparked, stopped it. Oh, damn. You look awful. Thanks. Help. Where's everyone else? Um, Jake. Emma wasn't with them. I don't know where she is. But you should go catch up with them. Be careful. We came into the mines. I don't, I don't know if there's a way back up. He's just going off by himself. Not my God, not, not my only granddaughter. Not my Kaylee. Not my little Kaylee. What? So you you had those motherfucking counselors in your goddamn jail for two whole motherfucking months, right? <laughs> and you are telling me now it's so weird that instead of putting a bullet into each one of their little sorry shit-stained brains, you, you gave them your silver bullet gun and they shot my Kaylee with it? Is that what you are telling me now, Travis? No more blood on your hands. That's what you, you, you said it. Oh my god, we are way past that now. Oh, Ma, what what if it had been me or 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 Bobby? What then? She was your family. A good boy protects his family. You ain't no good boy. We 
I could take it all back. I wish I could take it all back, but I can't. Oh, I just don't... I, I don't understand why you, you... You couldn't have just taken care of the problem when you had the chance. <laughs> taking care of the problem? Do you hear yourself? Yes, I hear my goddamn self. I may be old, but I ain't deaf. I'm a police officer! Oh, so now I'm blind, you motherfucker. <laughs> Now I'm blind. Oh, you just flashing that badge around like it's worth a million dollars. The only reason you got it is because Hank got killed in a gypsy fire. Ma. Don't ma. Don't ma me. Do you sit down? Please. She said. Don't you tell me what to do. Please. And don't you go. The fire. Around. Don't you go run like you better than everybody else because you ain't. Would you please sit down? Don't you tell me what to do, you piece of shit. So the charred, the charred badge. In the fire, the fire in the woods of the traveling yeah, circus. She mentioned. Huh. She mentioned uh, uh, a gypsy fire. So I guess a curse. Oh. Ryan, run! Ma, send Bobby down. Her beauty is a tiger. What? Be careful, make sure that she doesn't bite. Her beauty Wait, what? is inside her. That's why I need to find the key tonight. This royalty. Boy, and I say yes. This royalty music is uh Yeah, that royalty re the free music does not fit too well with what's going on. Now I'm really curious on what music they actually use. Welcome back. Did you miss me? Yeah, the, the song's not bad. It just does not fit well with what just happened. Hopefully, you've brought me some more of my cards. Let's have a look, shall we? <laughs> Empress. The Empress. Look at her. <laughs> Those at the top can fall the hardest. Such a shame to nurture little monsters only to live long enough to watch them kill you. <laughs> but it's no less than she deserves. And the lovers. The lovers. There's harmony and disagreement brought to light only by sparks of passion. Blood flows from the heart. You can almost taste it. And tasting it could save someone's life. Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune. After all, fortune is nothing but a spinning wheel. Sometimes you have to take a chance. Karma works in mysterious ways, but it favors those who pay attention. Watch closely. Though the wheel spins, the eagle-eyed can tell where it's going to stop. Details. Right. Then choose the possible future you'd like to witness. And watch carefully. Try and find some clarity in the chaos. Oh. Oh, we, oh, we have to choose. The lovers, the empress, wheel of fortune. Let's go Wheel of Fortune. Oh. Oh. What go. the fuck? You still got time. Be careful now. Jesus. Be very careful. That's a whole lot of gore. Man, I... I oh, damn. I know we're trying to play this like trying to keep safe but damn i want to see all these uh i want to see all these violent scenes see how crazy they go have you been there before the scrapyard nah just seen the sign on my way to camp what if we just like walk to the main road this isn't the main road 
No, this is all Hackett property. The main road is another mile that way. Wait, how do I know so much more about everything than you do? Wait, shut up. So basically, it's another hour walk to the main road, and then at least another three to four hour walk until we hit the nearest whatever? Yeah. What was that? Wow. Let's just keep moving. Okay. So, I guess this is me now. What? You're gonna look great with a hook. We can call you Hooky McHookface. Yeah, I guess it's pretty unique. I could get different attachments for it. <laughs> yeah, man. Lean into it. One hell of a story, too. Yeah, I guess it's something to talk about on the radio station. We're all gonna be laughing about this in a few years. You, me, maybe even Ryan. Mr. Sean. <laughs> Need some me time. Kinda got close at the fire pit back there. Am I crazy or was something about to happen? There's always next year, right? Well, let's get through this year first. <laughs> Wouldn't really matter anyway. It looks like we finally know Ryan's type. I'm pretty Confident. sure it's an evil dead mm -hmm. nod. I'm pretty sure. Heroic. With an eye patch. So pirates. Maybe she shivers his timbers. <laughs> there. Anytime there's a there's a a, 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 a Raimi brother, there's always Relax. evil dead references. We're okay. I think. Oh look, steampunk's back in. Ew, come on, this way. Put me down! Easy, Ma. Put me down, you old witch! Blow your fucking head off! Ah, bitch! Everybody just relax. Can't shoot what you can't see, darling. Did to my Kaylee. Get the fuck off me. Oh my God. Oh. Everybody stop. Concert. What the fuck is going on? See. Oh shit, maybe I wasn't supposed to do that. Oh. She's gone. Little Bobby. Mom's gone. Fuck, I wasn't supposed to do that. <laughs> shit. No more pressure. No more protecting anyone. Travis. Oh, shit. Yeah, that... Pretty sure that's not what was supposed to happen. Fuck. Oh, he's got a knife stuck in him. Okay. All right, that's not good. Well, the knife? No, I'd just say I would say leave it alone. Just leave it. 
They'll probably bleed yeah, out. I'm not doing that. Yeah, just leave it alone. Oof. I, I, oh man, I really think I wasn't supposed to do that. Yeah, I don't think so. It's a letter of confession addressed to her grandmother. Oh, I mean, I gotta, I wanna read it. The fire of Harem Scaram six years ago took the lives of many, and its women have been arson. This one. Previous sheriff was killed in a fire six years ago, so presumably this belonged to him. Travis must have succeeded him. Travis used his power as sheriff to help his family cover the tracks ever since the fire six years ago. Uh, let's see. Box of matches. Laura used these matches to light a campfire and wait until nightfall to hunt Chris. This explains the light Caitlin saw on the island. C. Hackett and T. Hackett. Uh, Chris and Travis. They're brothers. Yep. Uh... Let me see here. I'm trying to look for the uh, Lauren Max were kidnapped by Travis and Chris tried to hide it by not reporting they didn't show up for camp. Uh, knowing he was on a time limit, Chris didn't want to risk the nurse being around when he turned into a werewolf. That's right. Where is the... Um Where's the the note that I just put away. I want to read it. Where is it? Miners on file? Camp history? Where is it? Oh, is it? I mean, this is evidence, right? But... Oh, never mind. Uh, can I... Oh, I can't click on it. I can't, like, look at it. It's just a letter of confession. Kaylee Hackett's letter of confession addressed to her grandmother. Okay. All right. Well, so much for that. Yeah, I originally thought you would just bleed out from within if you don't take the knife out, but yeah, I'd, that's what I've uh, heard, right? Like you, you, you never want to take stuff out. You want to leave it in. Yeah, it's like a plug, right? And you take it out, it's all. Then there's blood everywhere. Right. 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 If it's not bleeding profusely because it's acting as a seal. Okay, I mean, that makes a lot of sense. I understand. Totally understand. Uh oh. Block door hide. Under bed and cabinet. Oh god, maybe I shouldn't have went for the bed. Maybe I should have went for the bed instead.
Oh wow, yeah, he has, he has like a... I'm not gonna be able to hold it that long. What are you doing? Close that fucking thing. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hello? What the hell? Oh, because he unlocked the door. That's why. I'm close. Stand by. Over. Get him. <laughs> yeah, fucker. <laughs> That's right, fucker. Run, hide, run, hide, run, hide. Let's hide. Not the best hiding spot, but it'll do. Gotta hold my breath. Hoop. So So it started with the Hackett family that 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 set fire to the traveling circus. I don't know why. Maybe maybe they were, were racists. I have no idea. And then he mentioned and then the woman mentioned the gypsy fire. She said gypsy fire. So I guess maybe the like a curse was put upon their family, the curse of the werewolf. And and the thing is, they're trying to cover it up. Even though in the beginning, they're like, we don't want to kill these kids. Or at least everyone else other than the grandma. They kept, and they wanted to, they kept protecting the kids by throwing, like, the blood on their faces. Right? So I have a feeling that if I didn't, <laughs> if I didn't completely destroy the grandmother's face, I'm pretty sure things would be a lot different right now. Like, way different. Are we Wait, are we really going to play the piano right now? We really shouldn't do that. We really shouldn't do that. No, why? Why would I want to play? What? Why? Clever, thank you so much for the prime sub. Thank you for using your free prime for the champ. Hope you enjoy your stay here with us. Why would I want to play the piano? It makes no sense. There are bears around here. Uh, spoils of the Hackett's hunting prowess. You'd think they'd want to cover the bullet wounds and signs of injury. Perhaps they serve as a reminder that the animals are definitely dead. Secret door? <laughs> well, the trucker, this ain't Resident Evil. I ain't gonna be playing Moonlight Sonata and then all of a sudden the fucking bookcase is gonna open up. <laughs> I do appreciate the, you know, the, the, the nod to Resident Evil. You know, I, I, do, I, I, I respect, as 100% respect for that. It's a great reference. Imagine Resident Evil 1 remake and it was like this. Like this, this, ima this, ima well, I mean, I guess we won't have to imagine it because Resident Evil 4 remake is probably gonna be like this, but. Oh, the sun. Oh shit. Oh shit, her eyes though. How do you do it? Her eyes. We ain't playing games no more, little girl. 
girl. Try me, motherfucker. Oh. You know something? I ain't got enough silver to kill you. But I sure to hell can make you suffer. Oh. I fucking what? Come on. Oh. There. Come on, I'm doing it, I swear. I swear to you, I am doing it. Was my mouse not working? I gotta get a new mouse. Travis. Silver. Get on up here, boy. Come on. <laughs> okay. All right. We're still in it, though. We're still in it. Yeah, she got right up. Oh, shit. What's your position? Again, thank you for the 32 months. Welcome back. Where are you? Hey! Everybody fucking stop right now! Shoot her. Take her face off. You know what she did to Kaylee? And she killed your mother, too. When a knife has been inside of you for so long, your body starts to fight it, right? Your body starts to react to, to this foreign object that's inside of your body. And over time, it starts making you... Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Come on, man. I don't know why... I don't know how I'm feeling that. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I, I, chat, I swear to you, I am doing the movements. It's just not registering. I swear to you. I'm gonna have to upload a save. I'm gonna have to save scum. first besides i'll get in trouble stab oh shit i'm gonna have to do it i'm gonna have to do it <laughs> oh ow you stabbed me yeah fucking hurts don't it i ain't never been stabbed before <laughs> <laughs> leave me alone oh no but i'm bleeding ow it really hurts <laughs> dad <laughs> What is this? <laughs> yes, he's. Like, oh shit! He's like a toddler. That's base. Oh, I wonder if something else would have happened if I didn't do that. Oh shit, he's gonna die. What the fuck happened to you? Oh, you know, nothing out of the ordinary. Fuck. Oh, Ryan. I start bleeding out now. Oh, how bad is it? I'm 
so sorry. <sighs> that bad, huh? I keep trying to fix it. Whatever this is, people keep getting hurt. First Max, how are you? It's not your fault. I didn't have to come here. I shouldn't have let you come. Uh, you're not the boss of me. Am I dying? You've lost a lot of blood. But it'll, it'll heal though, right? Wait. Maybe, it, maybe it will. I had a feeling she's gonna say that. I, I, think, I know what she's gonna do. Ryan. If you let me bite you. What? If you let me bite you, it means you'll be infected, which means. Which means it will heal. Yeah. But it also means. Yeah. Yeah, I got it, Big Bad Wolf. Yeah. <sighs> Ryan, I don't have much time. I can feel it like it's biting to get out if you let me bite you and you heal then then I have to kill Chris it's, it's not killing Chris it's killing a werewolf it's saving your own life and mine and Max's and your friends too let you bite me and live to kill Chris Hackett or bleed out and die Pretty much, yeah. It's your call for now. So are we doing this or no? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, like, you know, I've been a human. And Chris is uh, his friend, and uh, you know, they've been through a lot together. And uh, you know, I'd have to live as a werewolf. And I don't think I can do it, man. Fuck that, of course. Of course I'm gonna do it. Do it. Fight me. Okay. Uh. Nice and tender for you. You should start to feel better soon, I guess. Fuck. Flip, flip, phlebotomy? Oh what is a phlebotomy? Oh it caught it. What's a phlebotomy? Drawing blood with a needle. Oh. Heck, it's scrapyard. These guys never throw anything out, huh? So, do you want to give me some direction on what we're looking for specifically? Well, most of these cars look like they've already been stripped apart. It's just empty frames and chassis, which doesn't help us much. Okay, so we're looking for 
engines? Well, anything relatively intact. Got it. Okay. Uh. Oh. Guess this is another chance to see, uh. Looks like we got our work cut out for us, huh? Try not to make too much noise. Oh, right. <laughs> Anything by you? Not yet. Keep looking. Yeah, I wonder how much harder this would have been if, if I broke the fuel line instead of just taking out the... Uh, oh, hello. Okay. That's right. Motion sensor. Hello, Brenda. Hello. <laughs> oh, man. It's so cool. It's so cool she's in a game. Sorry. Sorry. Inner childhood speaking out. Sorry. Uh... Let's actually not do that. Let's go over here first. Let's see what's over here. Hmm. Nice. Yeah, this guy, yeah, he was bitten, but they, uh, they cut off his hand. Or you cut off his hand, and so... Something tells me I should probably go back. Brenda Song, yeah, it's Brenda Song. Yeah, that's a little confusing. Um, this is a lot to explore, too. I'm gonna go this way. Yeah, this is, okay, it's just a little shortcut. You ever operated a crane before? It's the longest night I ever. I actually used to be pretty, pretty good at the claw game at my local arcade. The kids used to call me the grabber. No, no, uh-uh. Oh, I hear that. <laughs> look, why don't you see if you can lower it down so I can take a look under the hood? Wow. Wow. The grabber, huh? Can I have a gun? Watch my back. Sure, yeah. Sure thing. Um... Just uh, watch my back, yeah? Yeah. All right. Looks like somebody's mom never taught them how to clean up after themselves. 
Okay, let's see what we're working with. All right, not too complicated. That car looks like it's in great shape. You did it! Yeah, uh, I think I found my calling. About time! <laughs> well, maybe we can see if we can try and get this thing running. Uh oh. Uh, no. Lift car, warn came. Lift car. Why would I lift the car? I will not screw this up, damn it. Oh. Slam car sound horn. The horn isn't enough, we're slamming the car. Target. Oh. Oh, she's okay. Okay. Or not. I'm glad I didn't use the horn. <laughs> and I'm glad I didn't lift the car because then she, I think she would have died. If I lifted the car, she was dead. If I sounded the horn, she was dead. Oh. That was close. That was really close. Dylan, thank you. You actually saved my life. For realsies. Yeah, you know, no sweat. I just can't wait to see who they choose. What? to play me in the movie about how brave I am. Don't push it. Okay. So, so much for our brilliant escape plan. Question is, which okay. werewolf did they just kill? The or stop? Be nuts? No. Better than being out in the open. Come on. So they couldn't get the part for the car and all that was for nothing? Yay, nice. Path updated. We're good. Really? We're not going to really dig into that car and get that part that we were talking about? I mean... I mean... I don't even know which werewolf, or werewolf that was. The storm shelter. Oh. You should go be a counselor at summer camp, Abby. You'll learn how to interact with people better and... Loads of fun. Make Lucian, thank you for the 37 life. months. Welcome back. I'm so sick of people telling me. What do you do now? Hmm? Hello? Is anyone there?
Hope it holds. Okay. Where am I? Wait. Let's get another thing over here. Scratch marks. Oh fuck. We'll let the old lady tell us what that is. It's better that way. Man. All all I see is the black screen. That's all I see. I can't I can't see anything. What the hell is this? What the hell is that? What is that? Huh? Is that a bug? My immersion is broken. GG's. Guess that's a bug. Early access. That's why the lights went out. Lander must have come this way before he attacked us upstairs. Those shells look like they were kind of like pre-packed. The back of it was just wide open. Oh crap. Remember this? Huh. Trap door. Shit. Oh no. Are we good? Was that okay? Was that the, the part that was kind of weak? Okay, we're good. Wow. All right. <clears throat> I, I mean, hopefully another person doesn't have to go through there, but we're good. We're good. To rest a bit. You'll feel better soon. Cool. I'm feeling pretty good, actually. <laughs> what are you doing? Stop it. Do you smell that? No. Never mind. Let's just find another way down. A way to Chris Hackett. Or just a way out. Maybe. I'm done being chased and stabbed. Sure. And another way out. Fine. Okay. Huh. What's that? Proof we're on the right track. Stay close. Yeah, all the better to see you with, my dear. Shh. Okay, we got syringes. Oh, shh. I just saw it, too. I Watch just saw it. Yep. Straight ahead. Yeah, something's breathing. Yeah, some, something's right there. I'm gonna go over here, though. 
I don't want to approach it directly, right? I hope you don't want to do that. Oh, I can't go there. What was that? Oh. What the hell? I think we found Chris Hackett. Another hole? Holy crap. Oh man. Oh shit, they dropped down the... Jesus. Oh. No, no. Oh my God. Jesus. Holy crap. That's right, she changed back. Where's Chris? I just killed Chris. Oh, that went in her fucking... We just finished off Chris, so now her curse got lifted. Thanks. For, um, not killing me. Yeah. Likewise. I think if I didn't so, what now Everyone's if I didn't if I didn't shoot normal? if I didn't shoot Chris, she she would have taken what? his head off. Oh. You think this is over? This isn't over. What? Uh, I don't understand Chris is dead. Chris wasn't the first. Who was the first? That's not possible. Caleb. Kaylee. The girl you killed? Her brother. Ah. Oh. What? <sighs> Caleb bit Chris and Kaylee. Chris was just trying to protect him. He was a good man, my brother. Well, then who bit Caleb? Silas. We've been tracking him for years. He's a gypsy, a transient. He'd been long gone from the area, but we hoped he'd come back so we could end this. Anyway, there's sightings up and down the coast. A feral albino child, <laughs> giant white wolf. A wolf. What? What'd you say? Where? Where'd you see it? Hey, let him go! At the cabins earlier tonight. Okay. Okay. Okay, it makes sense. It all makes sense. Uh, he must have been back for months, and he's what ran you off the road two months ago. Help me. 
Help me. We can still save Caleb. We can still save what's left of my family. We... We can help those who are still alive. In what world would I help you? Why should I trust you? Let's go with suspicions. Why the hell should I trust you? I'm not asking you to trust me. I'm telling you we can end this. We kill Silas, everyone gets better. Everyone uh, who's still alive anyway. Okay, okay, so where would we even find him? I know exactly where to find him. Okay, let's go. Okay. This doesn't mean I forgive you for what you did to me. I understand. Can someone please get me some fucking clothes? Yeah, I'm pretty sure if I didn't kill the grandmother... You had your chance. You had your chance to wipe out that wretched family and you failed. Damn. Doesn't matter. There's still time. We can still come out on top. Past is the past. Let's just look to the future, shall we? The sun, the vitality of a new day. There's still time to wake up to the warmth of a night survived. Your choices, your actions, your very life hangs in the balance. It's up to you to find your path in the darkness and see the sun rise once again. Hierophant. Where did you find this? Oh. Where did you find it? This shouldn't be here. He's been through enough pain. No, no, no. What? My poor boy. You see what that did to us? What? Six years ago, Eliza. No. Oh, that's her. Oh, the fire. Oh, sh oh shit. We actually get to see what happened. What have they done? That's a secret card, yeah. What have they done? Ah! She has a pentagram necklace. She's the one that put the curse. Oh, shit. Silas the dog boy. Oh. oh no. So they are they already had the werewolf with them. Silas, my boy. Oh, but they burned oh. him. Interesting. Hmm. Uh, uh. So they were using him at, as as an attraction. Because he he's he was a werewolf. part of the family but uh -oh. oh 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 that was close <laughs> Woo. oh that would have been bad Thank goodness it actually worked this time. Damn. That would have been lame. Now. Oh. Ah, ah, I see. That's. And that's where she puts it. Yep.
Mommy's coming, Silas. Mommy's coming, Silas! 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 Oh, shit. No, no, no. My poor boy. You see what they did to us? So she's the, uh... They hurt us. She's she's the out one. there still, all alone. Each full moon, they hunt him. Mm. Armed with silver. Trying to put an end to a curse they inflicted upon themselves when they... Set my show a play six years ago. I see. Stupid. Okay. Little Silas. My little white wolf. You must be protected. You must not follow this path. Do you understand? I see. So they are. Remember how I've helped you all this time? Damn, you're gonna make me feel bad now. Huh? Remember how much I've done for you. Damn it, she's gonna make me feel bad. Okay, yeah. So they had a werewolf this whole time as an attraction. They had one this entire time. And the fire happened, and then the, the werewolf got out. Oh, and he's still. Oh, I guess he changed back now. He's good. Normal now. Oh. Not, what the fuck? Why am I on top of a fucking tree? <laughs> Laura! Hmm. What? How the hell am I gonna get down? That's right, Max was... Oh, remember Emma? That's where Emma got me. Yeah, okay. Where the hell are my clothes? What if Emma's really not dead, though? You gotta be kidding me. Oh. Where's Emma, though? Totally should have just gone to the Harbinger Motel. I would assume Emma didn't die because... No, look, she looks okay. She's not bleeding. She doesn't have a bite mark. She's got to be okay. There's no blood. There's nothing. Is she really dead? There's like she's she's clean though. Like she has no bite marks or anything.
surprised right now. She's 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 a goner. Yeah, she's a goner. She dead. She dead dead. Uh, yeah, I, I thought she would have turned into a werewolf. You know, healed up and then. No, 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 like he, Max, Max like bit the shit out of her neck, but it's like that she was going to be okay. That's her hat. She needs some comfort. Did she put it on? Or did he put it on? Yeah. He did. chat. I gotta pee very badly. Oh, excuse me. I gotta pee. Be right back. Probably a good time for you to go to the bathroom too.
Okay. Stay, swim to shore. Oh, I did notice there, there was a body underwater. I don't know whose I don't know whose body that was. Oh, I think that was I think that was the charred body from the, from the flashback. I think so. If I, yeah, yeah, I think it was the charred body. They were trying to like hide it. Okay, anywho. Let me see here. Damn, I went through like seven bottles of water. <laughs> All right, let's go. Okay. This better have a great fucking ending. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm hoping for too. That's what I'm hoping for too. What's up, hating? How you doing? <laughs> this cloth is gonna shrink. I'm pretty sure if it shrinks any further, it's gonna kill him. What? Again? Wait, what? Wait, what? Huh? What? <laughs> he got bit again. What? I I don't think his neck broke. I, I think he just got bit. That was kind of. Okay. Well. What? Can't get much worse than it already is, right? What? Great. Just like the cartoons. It's been off and on all night. Gives us a little time. How do you figure? The fuck? <laughs> you don't like water, remember? Right. He just got cured, dude. Oh, we should have just been swimming in the lake all night. He literally just got cured. And die of hypothermia? No. <laughs> all right, well, we're good now. Night's not over yet. These fuckers know we're in here, and they're coming back first chance they get. Yeah, I should have stayed on the island, surrounded by water. Would have been safe. Gotta get a vantage point. But still, like, what are the odds, man? The werewolf being there at that, at that specific time. Like, what the hell, dude? Max is the, um, it's just so unlucky. The most unluckiest. Oh, jeez, dude. That's insane to me. What the heck is this? Oh yeah, I brought that. I don't know why I brought that, but I brought it, so. Oh, her backpack. <clears throat> Can't go in there. This is such a dark game, but I don't mind. So it looks pretty good. I can't see a damn thing. <laughs> we can't see a good goddamn thing. Is there anything for me to do here? 
I guess not. All right, uh, how do we get out of here? This way? Go to the right? I can't go there either. Didn't I come? Okay, there we go. Why is it so dark? I, I, I that's just how the game is. What's not okay? <laughs> nice. What engine is this? I just, I kind of know. What engine are they using for, for this game? It's, it's so good. It's ridiculously good. <sighs> Unreal Engine 5? Is it, you think? I mean. Someone look it up. for another card if I can find another card the decima engine that sounds very familiar decima engine there's another game that uses it, it oh, that sounds incredibly incredibly familiar decima engine handled another really good game I Decima? Decima? Horizon uses it? Okay. Well, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, Horizon has some pretty, like, hyper-realistic characters. Death Stranding. That makes a hell of a lot of sense. Yeah, that is, that is insane. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Horizon and, and uh, Death Stranding, their characters are, like, insanely realistic looking, so... We got some big ears. Look at that baby. Damn. Okay. Okay. You'd be able, you'd be able to hear someone's future with those things. Oh, damn. Nice to put a name to a big mean face. So what? You're like. Mr. H's brother, I guess? Who? Uh, the big dude from earlier, when you and Ryan went to the radio hut. Mr. H's brother, I guess? Right, right. <sighs> Bobby. You know, I think this also, um, I think this also has another nod to Texas Chainsaw Massacre. You know how the dad's like, Bobby, get down here, Bobby. We need you, Bobby. Bobby, get him, Bobby. You know, it's like the, kind of like the same thing with the family in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. That's the exact same way that they would call the chainsaw dude, you know, because they're referring to him as like a, like a, you know, big old kid to like go get him and all that stuff. Hello. Oh, look who came to say hi. I thought I finished streaming, but I didn't. But I gotta give him 
a hug because he's like, I've been here for a while. Now I gotta show him some love. Now I gotta show him some love. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh. little Jago. He's getting old. I think he's like five or six. Uh, that's right. If you want to see him as a puppy, the, the links. Yeah. Dark Road just put in the link. Boston's are. Yeah. Boston's are cute. We got really lucky with our boss. He always comes. He always comes over like around like eight hours in my stream thinking I'm finished. And they'll start bugging me. He knows. He knows when. Like he kind of. He kind of knows my schedule, which is very interesting. Always comes here around eight to, eight to ten hours. It's like, okay, daddy, time to play now. Ah, high priestess, nice. I got some. It's fur on my face. Yeah, he's hella smart. He's, he's the best dog in the whole world. He's absolutely the best. I feel like I have his fur like all my face now. I don't, I don't care how dark it is. All right? I don't care how dark this game is because he's playing his brand of song brightens up my entire day. <laughs> Bogey, thank you for getting a sub to Kmart. Thank you. Yeah, I had a huge crush. I had a huge crush on Brenda back back in the day. So it's, it's kind of nutty that I'm playing as her right now. Unfortunately, we ran into another snag. It's too dark, and now I don't know where I'm going. So I'm going to have to, like, just kind of, like, you know, like, touch the walls and stuff and just see if something pops up at this point. Yeah, Brenda's really short. She's super short. Hold on. There's got to be something else up here, unless it was just the, uh, the tarot card. I guess it was just the tarot card. All right, I guess we should, let's just go back down then. <laughs> yes, Darkro, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's the, um, yeah. see really struggling if they're begging for a dollar camp letter uh chris hackett is asking camper campers parents for additional donations to help with the lodge renovation costs isn't that what isn't that what camp fees are for what else would that money be going for mm. that's true let's see here he's asking for more money know i would really love for her to just use that flashlight on that shotgun because that would help me out so much how long has this guy been here uh ancestral portrait large and overbearing this regal oil painting of septimus hackett holds pride of place on lodge's chimney column septimus a long time ago long enough ago that it was okay to have an oil painting made of yourself I kind of want an oil painting of me now. 
Keep looking. Prepare for attack. Maybe I should keep looking. Okay, so this is kind of like where we, where we begin. I did get the card. Ticket stub. Hidden behind a photo frame, the ticket stub is an indication that Chris Hacken and his two kids attended the trial show Harem Scarum six years ago. Huh. No, a absolutely not. We, we have enough on our plates already. Stop discovering shit. <laughs> oh, it's over here. Wait, did I loot, did I check this place? I don't know if I did. Let's look around a little bit. Oh, oh we got a classroom here. What's this? Poor Ian. Some camp mascot to kick it before camp starts. Oh, Ian. In hindsight, sounds about right. That's right. Memorial to the deceased camp mascot, Ian. From the looks of the drawing, Ian was a sheep, though nobody got to meet him this year. That was the uh, the caller. We have a camp mascot. Well, no, we did. But you didn't hear. H hear what? He died before we got to camp. Uh, bummer. I think we can prepare for the attack. I think we're ready. I think we're I think we're good to go. Get the kids. That's right, Caleb and and yeah, the other one, right? Caleb is yeah. Caleb. All right, prepare for the attack. Every dusk and dawn all through the summer. What doesn't kill you'll make you stronger. stronger. We're here to lead the way. Not mates for life, we're proud to proud say. To shout at Strat and shout out loud. We're hackateers. Two months and you never learn the words. motherfuckers oh boy I hope I don't mess up any of these super important QTEs because I am a little tired so I hope I don't mess up on any of them oh we forgot all about Jacob this motherfucker is just naked running around the forest he has been he's Fuck just been wandering way. everywhere there's always that one survivor that's just kind of by themselves I just wish I could tell you I'm sorry. More than anything. <laughs> Fuck. I just wanted one more night together. Is that too much to ask for? <laughs> Shit. Stop crying, you big baby. <gasps> I mean, that's kind of true. They're all in this mess because of him. Because he... he he sabotaged the car because he wanted to be with the girl for one more night and look. I don't know what to do. It's kind of true. It's kind of, it's kind of the reason. It is. It is his fault. Yeah. It's basically his fault. Come on, Abby. Keep it together. Not long till morning. <gasps> Oh, bad. What the? 
Holy shit. What the hell? Should probably should have shot right there. Wait, no, we gotta wait. Oh, she's using silver. Holy shit. I don't think she's using silver. I think she's just using regular buckshot. Pretty sure. I actually really like this werewolf design because it it kind of it kind of shows how yeah there she has it it's like an imperfect werewolf right so it's like a curse oh beam window window beam 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 window 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 beam it's like an imperfect werewolf a curse that's being transferred over and over and over again Almost like, you know what I mean? Almost like a, like a mutation. Like a very scuffed mix of a humanoid and a... And a oh shit. Oh, wow, that was close. Okay, beam, beam it is? Run and hide. I think we should probably hide after that. That's why. That's why I kind of like it. I'm glad it's not like a traditional, like super hairy werewolf thing. Like it, it just makes sense that it's like an imperfect werewolf. And that. Yeah, I don't know. Oh shit. So when you think about it, if that werewolf had a bunch of hair, it would look like a werewolf, but probably the first werewolf would look like that. Hence the, uh, the, the boy from the circus probably had like full blown werewolf hair and actually looked like a crazy traditional werewolf. Probably. But all these other ones are like, you know, cursed, you know, half halfsies, I guess that were bit. Damn, she totally ditched him. Oh, never mind. Yeah, they, that's why they called it the White Wolf, the first one, si Silas, right? That one's the White Wolf, has like the werewolf hair. That's why all these other ones are kind of, you know, a little scuffed. you don't have time for that. Come on. We don't have time for that. Is that what he just said? Is that what he just said? We don't. We don't. What? I need, I need to investigate. I gotta get the fucking uh, the, the shotgun shells. I need that silver, silver shell. Silver shell. Hey, I'm here. There we go. Shit. Another shot. I can't. I, oh, oh, that that's a big chunk. That was a big chunk. I tried to aim for the head. Oh, that that's yep, that did it. Oh shit. Oh. Oh 
Fuck you. I got you, motherfucker. <laughs> oh my god. Friend is amazing. You got it? Yeah. Yeah, I got it. Okay. Very swell done. Now, which one was that? Which werewolf was that? So now they're looking for si Silas? Silas? What happened six years ago? So what exactly happened six years ago? There was a fire that wiped out dozens of people, and now there's werewolves and a ghost that roams the woods looking for her lost baby boy. <clears throat> Which I've just put together is Silas. Oh, shit. It's a long story. No, it's not. There was a fire. Silas, the wolf boy, escaped, bit a bunch of your family. You failed to stop him. Burn. What happened in the past doesn't matter right now. Uh, it kind of does, actually. We need to know what we're up against, at least. What we're up against is a feral boy turned werewolf who for the last six years has avoided being found. No matter what we did. Every full moon we were out there looking. Every single one. Now the son of a bitch is finally here. So what we're up against is my only chance to end this thing for good. So how do you even know where he is? How the hell are we gonna find him just driving down the middle of the road? Oh shit. Wait, what? Oh wait, what was that? I don't understand what that was about. Take the wheel. Travis! Travis, get it together, come on! Okay. Oh, I got it, I got it, I got it, just get down! It's so hard to tell which one's which. Oh. Where did he go? He kind of just disappeared. He's got to be nearby. I don't think that's Silas. Let's look around. Are you crazy? That's Silas. Are we there yet? You're okay. Been better, but yeah. Over here. Got some blood. Leads through there. Hmm. What the hell happened back here? Whoa. This is where we went off the road two months ago. Oh. The exact same spot. You're trying to decide if you should shoot me in the head right now. Go ahead. If that's what you want, I won't stop you. What? Normally, I'd have werewolf's blood cover our scent, but I'm all out, so we're high risk. 
We could be killed. You ready to end this? Anonymous, thank you for keeping sub. Appreciate it. Bitter. This isn't the end. Determine, let's fucking do this. This isn't the end. We're determined. I mean, I think it doesn't matter. Let's fucking do this. Go team. It takes a while for like the curse to kind of go into effect. So if you get bit, you don't change immediately. It takes a, it takes a bit. Podcast didn't do it justice. You don't know the half of it. This is where I saw her. Her? I thought she was. I thought Max hit her, but then I was out here and she was something else. Who? The woman. The old woman. She was saying something over and over again. Oh my god, she was saying Silas. No, that's impossible. Who you're talking about? I saw her too. In the rum tunnels. It's Eliza Vorez. Silas's mother. I th think. Probably who was she? I think. Who was she? She ran a traveling sideshow called Harem Scarum. Came here six years back. She kept her son in a cage. Called him Silas the Wolf Boy. Died in a fire. Some say she never left. Died in a fire. The hag of Hackett's quarry. We've been looking for Silas ever since. How did the fire start? That's what I want to know. Really? You're still hiding stuff now? You blew half the head off my niece, Kaylee Hackett. One of the kindest, gentlest souls to ever walk this earth. Not as a werewolf. And all she wanted to do was help that little boy. Locked in a cage by that freak oh, show bitch. Oh, I see. What did she do? So they did. They set it on fire. She just wanted to help him. Travis. Yeah. Fine. She convinced Caleb to start a fire. It was just a distraction. It's May Bales. Give him enough time to get Silas out of his cage and give him his freedom. That's not what happened. No. Because within minutes, everybody was dead. You ever see Hayburn, Liza, whole crew? Kaylee managed to get Silas to freedom. But Caleb got bit in the process. Yep. We could just kill Caleb, or that's why you've been hunting him. That's why you've been hunting him. Silas, I mean. Every full moon for six fucking years. Some hunter you are. This, this is all that's left. Jesus Christ. Man. Any sign? That's why Silas always comes back Negative. to that place. Every, every, yeah. Damn, I never saw any of this. I didn't even know this was here. Oh 
shit. That creeped me out a little bit. Shit. I'm sorry, that was close. We must be close. Did you both see it too? Kinda wish I hadn't. Sam. The spirit of the lady. Must be it. Careful. Oh, it's right there. Sleeping in the cage. Fucking Jesus Christ. So much dead. Says you. Shit. Do it. No. Shit. I just fuck up. Give me the gun. I didn't, I mean, there's like, I mean, we've been killing all the other werewolves and curing the curses, so why, why stop there, right? Kill him. You cure all the curses. Oh, she's going to be pissed. She's going to be super pissed off at me now. I bet you think you have it all figured out. I bet you think you're fucking clever. <laughs> I tried to help you. I tried to warn you. I oh. even started to like you. Uh -oh. Not now. Not after this. I will not forget what you made them do to my Silas. I've been with you all night. And I'm not about to stop now just because the night's come to an end. No. Whenever you hear a noise in the dark, a whisper from the Shadows, the breath on the back of your neck, that's gonna be me. I'll be there. Uh oh. Now I will never leave you. I'll never leave you. I mean, that looks like a good ending to me. Come follow me into a place where the fear is gone. Time to go to Disneyland. Oh, yeah. Royalty free music, baby. Emma. Deceased, Emma was killed by Werewolf Ma Max at the treehouse. She's still there. What? Bobby Hackett deceased, mauled by the de uh, to death by the werewolf brother. I guess you can save her one. Damn. Jedediah, massacred by his werewolf son, Chris. 
Chris Hackett deceased. Chris was killed when his favorite counselor, Ryan, shot him in his, with silver. Jeez. Shot Constance face off in a struggle for the gun. Well, that's what happens when you struggle with guns. Kaylee deceased. Chris Hackett's daughter, Kaylee, was shot and killed by Laura, who mistook her for werewolf Chris. Wait, what? Jacob was freed from the basement. What is this music right now? Oh, he's alive. Nick's world curse was lifted. Oh, nice. Ah, Max went back to mailing. We're a hungry Caleb. Was waver. <laughs> Happy go made it to the safety uh, for Chris Hackett's surveillance room. Uh, Dylan survived that by taking refuge in, from Caleb in the kitchen. Brenda Song survived the night by killing Caleb, carrying all those affected by his lineage. Caleb Hackett. Memo was able to pass silver uh, shells to Caitlin, which Caitlin used to kill Caleb. Okay. Surviving encounter with Silas and finally saw an end to the curse that had haunted his family for six years. Ryan was cured of the werewolf infection when he shot Chris and managed to survive the showdown with the white wolf. Laura killed Silas with a silver shell, curing every infected person who, who survived the night. Good ending. Silas, Laura killed her. Uh, the curse of Hackett's query is broken. The curse is broken. That's a good ending. I don't care what anyone says. That's a good ending. All right, so what's this? It was like uh, the cop car, and that could possibly be like a secret agent car, FBI agent, whatever. Maybe. Bodies recovered in summer camp murder mystery. What do you make that, Anton? Bad journalism? Murder mystery? Isn't that just an unsolved murder? Yes, I, I suppose that is what most journalists would say. But perhaps the journalists of North Kill share my supernatural suspicions. Hmm. Yeah, I guess there wouldn't be much competition in North Kill. Probably not getting the best writers there. <laughs> okay, can we at least start the podcast before you completely resign yourself to cynicism? I thought we'd done the whole Hackett's Quarry thing. Not this Hackett's Quarry thing. What was this, like three months ago? Old he, news, dude. He's already bringing my... He, see what I mean? He, he knew when the game was ending. The podcast of the paranormal. How does he know? I'm I didn't Chris. say anything. And, Anton. and together, we explore the possibility of he supernatural knows. involvement in call. real life everyday occurrences. And that's exactly what they are. Real life everyday How does occurrences. He know? With a shadow of me. spiritual supernatural <laughs> occurrences. <laughs> No. Right? Right when the credits okay, are playing. So, I hope it, you've got hat insurance, Anton, because I'm about amazing. to blow your mind. Did you just ask if I had hat insurance? Yes. It's responsible to insure those things which mean the most to you. A hat. Yes. Okay, I know where your priorities lie. Go on. Anyway, there actually is a real reason that we're coming back to Hackett's Quarry. There have been some developments. And I've sourced some information. I remain skeptical, but I'm all ears. Under my hat. I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, God. Why? Why are you smiling? Stop it. I hate it. Why? I had braces. I have to make use of them sometimes. You do have very pretty teeth. Thank you. That's something that a lot of podcast listeners might not know about me. <clears throat> so, it just so happens I've got someone on the inside. So, today's episode is going to have a bit of a show-and-tell vibe to it. Mm. Who do you know on the inside? The inside of where? What? You know someone on the inside? Don't we all have someone on the inside? You know, an inner critic that mm. says, Stop doing a podcast. No one's listening. You should listen to that voice, Grace. Okay, well, what I really meant is, let's call it an anonymous donation. You know, we're not the only <laughs> ones who flagged this as a bizarre situation. Someone actually reached out to us. They sent us a package. Did you? You didn't open it. Anyone who, I don't trust anyone who listens to this show. <laughs> oh. I couldn't wait to open it. Surprise! Anonymous donation. Okay, you've always promised me since day one of this podcast that if you could see true evidence, you will consider all <laughs> options, right? Did you not say that? I did say that, yes. I mean, I know Knowing you... for a fact that we would never see any evidence, I did say that. Okay, well, 
We've been sent information, and we need to decide whether it's bizarre or bona fide. <sighs> okay, fine. Let's do this. For anyone listening at home, we are about to open a package from a mysterious person who listens to this show. If you are the one who sent us whatever it is, congrats. You got us. Sorry, the tape is just really, really... There's just so much tape on the package. Sorry, can you help me with this? Do you have, like, a key I could, like slice at it with no i don't want you to dull my key just use your fingers but just give me your fucking key anton no give me your fucking key no get your own key it's not like you lock your door of course i lock my door what are you what are you hiding what am i hiding do you not lock your doors no i have nothing to hide you think that ghosts are real but you don't lock your doors <laughs> no ghosts couldn't open my doors they could walk through my walls anton okay you need to be more concerned with murderers so, remember those missing hikers? Yeah. What if I showed you leaked photos from one of their cameras? Photos that show them at Hackett's Quarry, supposedly where the camera was found. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I would think that maybe they went there and they dropped their camera. The, the, okay, the, Anton, the SD card. let me ask you real quick. What makes you drop your camera? Uh, tripping over a root, um, being jostled, uh, in uneven uh, row of cobblestones. What about being murdered? If you dropped your phone, you wouldn't go missing. Where are they now? I don't know. People get lost in the woods all the time. There's like hundreds of people a year. They could be anywhere. That's not all. No? Mm -mm. I'm about to lay a little something else on you. My sources also tell me that their backpacks were found at mm. the summer camp. Mm. Really? Then, okay, well then, shouldn't this be public knowledge? Why aren't the Hackett's prime suspects? Exactly my point. Maybe they would be if anyone knew where they were. Is it all just a big cover-up operation? Yeah, that's where it falls apart a bit, in my opinion. So, we've got to talk a little more about the Hackett family. Right, so these guys are like the heritage landowners, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Their great-great-great-grandparents were trappers who claimed the land way back when. They just claimed it? Yes, they did. They put their flag on it just like the man on the moon. The Hackett family flag, right. Well, apparently when they claimed it, they found quartzite. Quartzite? Okay, I was hoping you would ask. Fun fact, every building in the whole of New York is made of quartzite. That's not fun or a fact. Most of them are, but I digest. Digress? It was a pun. They dug the quarry and hit great heights of success before Septimus Hackett, classic bad guy name, the seventh son of the trappers, the number seven, has great supernatural powers uh -huh. closed the mine down okay so then they only had the land to live off yes you say only but this land actually spans acres that's a lot of forest a lot of unexplored darkness okay Ooh, okay a great place to hide to have all these dark secrets for this strange reclusive family mm -hmm. and this is where we start to get a little more into paranormal territory okay here acres we go acres and acres of haunted woods if you say so Was it? Oh, was that like intermission? <laughs> Welcome to Bizarre Yet Bonafide, the podcast of the paranormal. Okay. Oh, that was an intermission. Welcome back to Bizarre Yet Bonafide. Anton, today I'm actually going to pass you some light reading. Okay. You're going to make me read this? Mm-hmm. All right, um, this is... What you're seeing now is a copy of a letter that Kaylee Hackett wrote to her grandma. Allegedly. Oh, yeah, the confession. <sighs> All right, uh, this seems like more of a you job, but I suppose right, I can read I, this. Right, but I feel like if some of the evidence comes from your mouth, it will have more clout. Right, mm. okay, here we go. Gammy, 
How long we gonna drag this shit out? I know family is the most important thing, but I wanna know what's outside the forest, outside this damn house and camp, and I sure as hell know that ain't about to happen. So it's of like who all the are. pieces of, of evidence that I found. What's going on? Fucking show people. Then they'll know we got no control over it. I know you just trying to protect us, but one day you won't be here no more, and right now it feels like we stuck in a dark hole. I can't sleep, Gammy, or if I do, I dream about that fucking fire. We were just dumbass kids back then. I wish it never happened. Love, K, X, O, X, O. That took a turn. Yes. Dream about that fucking fire. Does that not read? As the haunted scribblings of someone who saw something that they shouldn't have seen. Yeah, no, I'm fully creeped out. She was clearly going through some stuff. And this is legit? I mean, I don't know why someone would fake it. Then again, I can't verify any of this. So, you've got to suspend your disbelief slightly. Man, this poor girl. Yeah, there was something going on, something eating away at her. And that's what I want to explore. Okay, well, consider my disbelief suspended, for now. So, I don't think that's gonna be a problem for this next one. Oh god, why? Holy shit, this is a cease and desist letter. And it's addressed to us. Dude, why didn't you tell me about this? Well, it was never actually sent. It's just... That's mad shit, fam. It's... What? <laughs> Signed by Travis Hackett. It's... We're not doing anything illegal. Aren't we? Think about it. It's, it's just it pieces of the stuff, the evidence that I found. Cease and desist letters come from people hiding stuff. Hmm. Okay. And next we have this empty vial thing. Now, to me, empty implies that it was once full. Same Z's. Blood stains, maybe? Filled with blood? Looks that way. Freaky. All Some right. kind of ritual thing? Do I detect a hint of belief? Love a good ritual. Kind of fucked up that these guys know who we are, though. Okay, but putting the Hackett family aside for a moment, there's more to this. Are you ready for some real spooky shit? I'm ready for real spooky shit. I don't know if you can provide it, but please try. <sighs> don't get too freaked out. I'll try my hardest. Okay, do you want to hold my hand? No. Okay, do you need someone to comfortingly pat your back? Please just say what you're gonna say. Do you want me to turn all the lights on so you don't- I don't uh... want you to do anything. I want you to say what you have. Actually, you might be a little freaked out at this. Ugh, is that skin? Skin, fur, whatever you want to call it, really. It looks human. Hmm. Wait, is it? Apparently, it belongs to whatever creature supposedly caused all this. Do we have the actual thing? Can I see it in the flesh, so to speak? No, just the photo. Whoever got in touch was smart enough to not risk actually stealing evidence. Convenient that we can't see the real deal, huh? Come on, man. Just saying. So this next thing to me isn't overtly supernatural, but it'd be unfair not to discuss it. Okay, so far I wouldn't describe any of it as overtly supernatural, but sure, let's do this. <clears throat> Claw marks. Wow, you're right. That is... Underwhelming. <laughs> but I'm kind of interested because whoever did reach out thought it was worth sharing. Grace, it's highly likely this is all just an elaborate prank. True. But if I treated everything like that, then I wouldn't have a job. Yeah, like this is a trick to get people point, to watch all the credits. Okay. No, this is all you the piece what? of information it's that, that you, you, you that. submit. Oh my god. I just said it was weird. Don't make a big deal out of it. Oh my god. So then I've they talk you about it. You haven't done anything. I said it was weird. I've done it. I've turned you your... I've converted you to my side. You're a believer now, right? I will never be on your side. I won. I won. You did not win. This I mean, is look, a contest and I have prevailed. You have not. Look, I just mean I can see it. The lack of details in the news report and this stuff. I don't know. Whatever it means, there's merit to the idea that something strange went down. Strange. Interesting word choice. So, what are you Who saying? died of staying alive? Shut up. Emma died. Come on. No. Give me one. Max I'm died. Max had anything. probably the most you hilarious death. Given it. Just give me the succinct sound bite I so desperately long for. Okay, I never agreed to this title, but Couple I would of agree the... that for the first time ever, this case could well be bizarre yet bona fide. Ah! This is the best day of my life. And that's sad. Why? Is it not yours? No. 
So what now? Well, we gotta send this stuff to the police. They can decide whether it's useful or not. I just wish we could know more. I wish we could just... What if you don't have that evidence and it won't be presented in the credits? Well, it would be different, like, uh... What fun would that be? Sure, they would, we could they would be talking about we things there, differently. We go through what these kids went through. There's no way we'll ever really know what truly went down at Hackett's Park. Um, who the fuck even are you? I'm being genuine. That was beautiful. Thank you. You just launched into precisely the kind of content I've been trying to make. It's just the first time we've had a coherent thought on this podcast. Dangerous unidentified animals in the forest. Yep. And then, and so yeah, all of that stuff, like the stuff that you find, they, you know, submit it so that now you're seeing it. Oh, that was cool. This game is awesome, dude. This game is awesome. I enjoyed it very much. I enjoyed it, but good lord. I wonder. Man, we should do like a run where like just make it just have everyone die and see what happens, you know? Just everyone dies. That would be interesting. Just see what would happen. GG's. You make everyone survive? I'm pretty sure you can, yeah. It was tough though. It was super hard. Oh, I can get out of here. Oh, hello, crow. Hello. So we pound of flesh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if he removed it, he would have died. I think so. Bobby's weak and unable to defend himself against Chris. Oh, wow. So he could have actually defended himself. Interesting. Wow. Man, yeah, this is like so many different things that could happen. Found himself alone in the woods. Yeah, there's just a lot of stuff. Yep. Curing every living person who's bitten. Is there a way we can skip through this? That's not. Yeah, they, I mean, the game... The, the way that I, uh... Let me turn this down a little bit. The way that I lost some of my characters is that um, Emma died because I could not like understand. Like sometimes I was doing pretty good on, on a lot of the characters because they showed personality. So I, I let that kind of choose. I, I kind of went on that when I chose certain decisions and stuff like that. Um, but Emma, like I just couldn't do it. Emma was just like, didn't care about anything. So it was really hard to choose what I wanted to do. And Max, he, you know, had the choice of swimming, swimming across the river, swam across the river, made it to land, immediately got killed by a fucking werewolf. And and that was right after he got cured being a werewolf. Um, <laughs> this is so funny, dude. And yeah, it was just like, <sighs> it's pretty cool, man. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's pretty good.